can support us, completed Novel House in link below clip. Thank you for come in and love the sharing story, Chapter 1121 Rise in Game Difficulty Looking at the black iron door that had slammed shut, Xiao Sun was ravaged by a complicated cocktail of feelings. He did not expect things to develop this way, all he did was just to try to move the mirror a little bit. I really hope nothing bad will happen to the visitors that went inside. Xiao Sun was very worried that the red high heels might accidentally kill the visitors. I have no idea whether Brother Chen is inside this haunted house or not, so who should I find when this kind of accident happens? That actor brother known as Wu Jinping feels like a nice guy. Perhaps he will be able to help me. Xiao Sun was about to turn back and run back to the house where Wu Jinping was, but he hesitated for a moment. He turned to grab the handle of the iron door. Should I try to keep the door open? If the visitors are lucky enough, they might have a 1% chance of coming back the way they came. What he was doing, he was doing out of the kindness of his heart. All he wanted to do was save a route for the visitors' retreat through. Sliding down the chain that was filled with blood vessels, Xiao Sun placed it next to the door. With the chain removed, the iron door would not be completely locked anymore. He started to pull the door open, but he stopped when the door was opened a small gap. Endless black fog slithered out from the gap and started to crawl into the tunnel and the world beyond it. The black threads formed from curses seeped into the building. The people who had been harmed by the ghost fetus in its memory appeared in another form. They turned into strange shadows and wandered among the black fog. These kinds of monster had no physical form, and they would not cause any actual harm to human beings or ghosts but they would be able to evoke the sin and fear buried in the depths of people's hearts. The red high heels wanted to use the ghost fetus past to reconstruct the curse, she wanted to gradually recreate the steps the ghost fetus followed to slowly become a demon god. These shadow monsters were just a byproduct of this process. Once the iron door was open, the shadows from the ghost fetus memory started to scurry madly out of the world of the black fog. They were a part of the black fog. Unless they wanted to show themselves, they were impossible to spot. Always leave a little kindness, whatever you do. This is the best I can do given the circumstances. Xiao Sun turned to leave. The sign next to the black iron door that said, please close the door after use, flew over his head. It was like he did not see the sign at all. He hurriedly ran out from the hidden path. Just as he returned to the room, he heard footsteps coming from the outside corridor. The haunted house's actors would not make such sounds, it has to be the visitor who are coming. The faded black fog was floating out from the entrance of the hidden path. Xiao Sun looked around and thought, this is bad. If the other visitors follow the three and enter the hidden path, it will only be worse. It is not such a big deal if I am exposed, but to have everyone sent into the hidden scenario, not five minutes into the game is a very big deal. This was Xiao Sun's first time working inside the haunted house, he had no experience at all. Even though he was quite a clever person, being caught between a rock and a hard place like this, he found himself at a loss as to what to do. I should close up the hidden door first to prevent more visitors from entering the hidden scenario. After I find Brother Chen, we can enter the hidden scenario to find the three visitors from this hidden pathway. The footsteps slowly approached. All kind of sound was amplified in this scenario. Xiao Sun felt like the footfalls were falling right on his heart. He closed the door with the drawing of the red snail on it and grabbed the edge of the mirror with both of his hands. When I pushed the mirror up earlier, I accidentally triggered the mechanism. So, the way to reverse the mechanism should be to push the mirror down. He applied force on his arms as Xiao Sun grabbed the sides of the mirror and pressed it down, but both the mirror and the door showed no response to his action. What's going on? Footsteps were flying down the corridor. If Xiao Sun was not already a ghost, his shirt would probably have been drenched in cold sweat by now. Veins pulsed on his arms as he nudged the mirror harder. His eyes were wandering everywhere nervously. This is bad, this is bad. How do I even close this thing? 
As Xiao Sun moved the mirror madly up and down, more blood droplets and traces of blood appeared on the surface on the mirror. A confused face seemed to appear inside the mirror, looking suspiciously at Xiao Sunday, is the direction of the movement wrong? Is it not up and down? Holding the sides of the mirror tight, Xiao Sun attempted to twist the mirror, but as he gathered strength in his arms, the support frame that held the mirror in place snapped off instead. What the hell? Looking at the mirror that he had forcibly yanked off the wall, Xiao Sun was stunned beyond words. Subconsciously, he turned to look at the hidden pathway that the black fog was still streaming out from. The wall gradually closed and it appeared as if the door with the red snail had never appeared in the first place at all. The door outside the hidden path had been closed, but the black iron door inside the hidden path was still left open a tad. The black fog was free to leave through the gap. They crawled into the outside building and seeped through the walls to spread to the rest of the room. When one after another strange and despairing faces surfaced on the walls, it meant that the difficulty of the whole scenario was continuing to rise. What are you doing? The people from Jiujiang Medical University who were exploring on the same floor ran over. They saw the room that was covered in black fog and Xiao Sun who was holding the mirror alone inside the bathroom. To be honest, I have no idea what I am doing either. Xiao Sun was still holding the mirror. It felt wrong to put it down, but it also felt wrong to keep holding it. Where are the other people who are supposed to be in your group? They refused to listen to me and left me behind on my own. The two other groups who were looking for the rag doll's body parts on the other floors of the building heard the commotion, and they all ran over to this room as well. In less than three minutes, the first floor of the building had changed fully. A scary mannequin that looked like a pile of rotten mud was lying on the door of the room, black fog kept drifting out from inside the room and some in the groups even doubted that this was the place that they had visited earlier. Why are you guys gathered here? Where are Liang Er and Liang San, and what is going on with this monstrosity at the door? Fu Bol glanced inside the room, and he failed to see the three haunted house designers. I have no idea either. The three of them told us to stay here and try to stay out of their way. And then they appeared to have found a hidden pathway and triggered some kind of trap. After that, they disappeared. Xiao Sun purposely kept the words ambiguous. He was not a person who was good at lying. How would actual people, not one but three of us just disappeared like that? Where was the last room they were in before they disappeared? Just after they split up, three people had disappeared. This caused Ma Feng to frown deeply. They were on this floor. Of that, I am sure. Xiao Sun was very desperate at the moment. He was afraid that if he dragged this further, they might be going back to collect Liang Er and Liang San's bodies. From his perspective, the most important thing to do now was to find Chen Gu and then quickly inform the Red High Heels that there were already visitors that had wandered into the hidden scenario. The three people from your group have all disappeared, but only you remain. I can't help but feel that it is a little bit strange. Swahan was about to say something when Fu Bol suddenly walked to the few from Jiujiang Medical University. What are you doing? Fu Bol stared directly at Swahan, and his expression was dark and threatening. It was the three of you who were behind this, wasn't it? Us? He San used his finger to point at himself. Have you lost your mind? The three of us were not even close to the four of them. We also just arrived here not too long ago. Who knows whether that is true or not? That claim can only be verified by yourself now. But all I know is that it is certain that the three of you were on the same floor as the four of them. You three are the people who were closest to them. Fu Bol placed his hand on the mud mannequin next to him. When we were here earlier, this mannequin was not even here. In other words, someone moved it here after we split up and separated. Just take a look at how heavy this thing is. A single person could not have silently moved such a big mannequin and placed it here without making any noise, so it had to have been a group effort. After hearing Fu Bol's analysis, both the people from Jiujiang Medical University and Xiao Sun were startled. 
If not for the fact that you have been slandering Boss Chen's haunted house since you entered this place, I would have suspected you are the actual actors hired by Boss Chen. He San was truly speechless. Even if there is a possibility of an insider among us, the person with the biggest suspicion should be this Xiao Sunday. The other people in his group other than himself have mysteriously disappeared, is that not suspicious to you? Simply because you think he cannot move this mannequin alone, you are deciding to just overlook him like that. He San's analytical power could be said to have been honed inside Chin Ji's haunted house. Before this, he believed in the kindness in people's hearts, but after many experiences in Chin Ji's haunted house, he had caught a glimpse of the many colors of human nature. It was indeed the most complicated thing in the world. Hearing He San point the suspicion toward him, Xiao Sun sighed in relief for some reason. He was glad that someone was finally suspecting him. If he continued to fail in his role, he had already decided to quietly slip away. Being stuck with so many living humans was putting too much stress on him. You are unable to find anything to counter my claim, so you start to direct the suspicion to someone else, huh? You wish to muddy the water, to distract our attention? Do you think we will fall for a simple trick like that? From the very beginning, Fu Bol had been suspecting Zhu Han's group. In the few years he had running a haunted house, he had not encountered visitors like Zhu Han and He San. They were just visiting a simple haunted house, yet they had come up with various analyses and guides. It was like they had fully transported themselves into a horror film. With the fault of prejudice, Fu Bol always looked from his perspective to consider the problem. All the thoughts that he had were based on his own viewpoint. So, you are going to push the blame onto us no matter what? Do you have some kind of bad history with forensic doctors? While the group was arguing, the black fog inside the room thickened even further. There were even human faces that could be seen flickering inside it. Standing inside the black fog, Mr. Wong felt strangely agitated. Memories that were buried deep inside his heart kept flashing in his mind. Among them were recollections of murderers committing their crimes and victims screaming for help. The people in those past crimes appeared to have come alive, and they were reaching out toward him. Those with greater harrowing experiences in real life would have a greater influence inside the black fog. Shaking his head, Mr. Wong reached out to grab the door frame for support. Sir, are you all right? Swahan was the first to notice the strange way his lecturer was acting. I was fine when I first entered this place, but just now, I was feeling a bit wobbly. However, I am feeling much better now. That is probably related to the black fog. I am feeling a bit disturbed by it as well. Swahan purposely lowered his voice to a whisper. You feel it too? Mr. Wang was shocked. Yes. Swahan stood close to Mr. Wang. The former's lips moved slightly and his voice was so small that the others could not even hear him at all. What are you two grumbling about? Wei Chachao asked in a purposely loud voice. He had been keeping his eyes on Zhu Han and Mr. Wang. Due to Fu Bull's multiple claims, he had also begun to believe that these people from the so-called Zhejiang Medical University were actually actors hired by the haunted house. We are not obligated to share with you what we are discussing. You can continue to see us as the actors hired by this haunted house. After all, that does not affect us in any way. Swahan was quite an eccentric person, he was not that sociable. He was too lazy to argue with the group of haunted house designers anymore. He directly turned to He San and Mr. Wang and said, the sudden appearance of the black fog should be some kind of signal. It's probably trying to inform us of the danger of staying in one place for too long. As the time continues to move, the black fog might envelope the entire scenario. In other words, the chance of our survival will get lower and lower, and the difficulty of the scenario will get higher and higher. Does that mean this black fog is kinda like the concept of a poison zone in some video games? As the fog continued to spread, the movement range of the visitors will dwindle. Staying inside the black fog for too long will draw the attention of black things. He San understood his friend instantly. Now I have two predictions. 
The first is that the three missing visitors have managed to find the hidden pathway. They used the pathway to head to another location and sped up the gaming progress, and the appearance of the black fog signals the beginning of the second stage of the game. If we wish to avoid the black fog, we will also need to find the hidden pathway and enter the other scenario just like they did. Swahan used the few clues to start his analysis. But the problem is that we have just entered the haunted house. Based on Boss Chen's previous behavior, he only amps up the difficulty about halfway into the visiting time. Today's challenge is rather out of the ordinary. Then, what is your second prediction? My second prediction is that some kind of accident has happened inside this scenario, and it has triggered this event that no one anticipated. Swahan did not go and argue with the group of haunted house designers. But when he spoke, the group of haunted house designers slowly quieted down, and they started to listen to him speak quietly. Swahan had a natural talent for getting the room to listen to him. That was a sign that he would become a good forensic doctor in the future. Then, what should we do if it is the second situation? He San asked the question that was in everyone's mind. If my second prediction is correct, then we are in a horrible position. Do you still remember what I said when we first entered the haunted house? Swahan's expression was not looking so good. What did you say again? That this haunted house might really be haunted. Swahan did not wish to continue on this topic. Sir, he san, we will search for the hidden pathway in these few rooms on the left. In terms of time, the three disappeared visitors most likely found the hidden paths inside these few rooms. Skipping the meaningless argument that would only waste time, with Swahan leading the group, everyone started to look for the hidden path on the first floor. The black fog is still spreading. We have limited time. If we cannot find the hidden path within the next five minutes, we will leave this place immediately. Seeing how busy everyone was, Xiao Sun was still holding the mirror with both of his hands. His face was as bitter as a bitter gourd. He could not bring himself to say that he had already broken the mechanism that would have opened the secret pathway. Now the door outside could not be opened, and the door was not closed. The black fog kept leaking out, and that continued to increase the difficulty of the game. Five minutes later, the black fog had spread out to fill the entire subscenario. It had even floated out from the subscenario and drifted out into the street. Many half-transparent faces started to appear on the walls of various buildings. The hidden pathway is probably a one-time use only. We'd better leave this scenario now. The black fog will continue to spread with the passage of time. We're now racing against time to explore the rest of the scenario before things get worse. Swahan rushed out of the building without any hesitation after saying that. He San and Mr. Wong followed closely behind him. We should also move to the other scenarios. Shang Wan Ching Hong signaled for the rest to follow Swahan. We will ignore the issue of whether he's a haunted house actor or not for now. Even if he is, we should stick close to him to see what he will do next. This Swahan is like an NPC inside this scenario. He keeps giving us hints and telling us the progress of the game to create the emotion of desperation and urgency. Following him might lead us to the same ending as Liang Er and Liang San. Fu Bol still stood by his opinion, but he was not going to be abandoned by the rest of the group. After everyone had left the building, the child inside the picture on the missing person's article winked several times. At the same time, from the third floor underground, a child in a red shirt walked out from his hiding place. He rushed to the entrance and watched the retreating visitors. He grabbed the script that was hidden under his red shirt and slammed it angrily on the floor. I practiced for three full days, and you decided to leave just like that? The more he thought about it, the angrier he became. The child in the red shirt picked up the script again and chased after the group of visitors. Chapter 1122 How Long Till the Free Massacre Liang Er, Liang San, and the middle-aged woman from the Castle of Lost Memories continued their exploration in the world of the Black Fog. This place's visibility was extremely low, they could barely see things that were three meters away from them. Where's all this black fog coming from? 
If it was white fog, then it could be explained from the usage of dry ice machines, but it is the first time I've encountered black fog. Liang Er scratched his head. It has no smell and no taste. It appears to have no other function other than to disrupt our sense of sight. Theoretically speaking, the hidden pathway of the first sub-scenario should lead to the secret room with the first clue. This room should not be that big. The haunted house's boss probably wants us to find the body parts of the rag doll inside this black fog. The middle-aged woman analyzed the situation based on her own experience of designing her haunted house. Then we'd better start looking. Be careful not to wander too far away from each other. There might be haunted house actors hiding inside the black fog. The three stayed together as they moved forward. They walked for a full two minutes before they saw any trace of a wall. Their expression started to change. This does not appear to be a hidden room at all. This place is too big. Have we arrived at a new scenario? But how come we have not encountered a single actor? What is the philosophy behind his haunted house design? I find myself failing to understand his thought process more and more. How about we retrace our steps? I think we should regroup with the others. Okay. They all stopped moving. The three haunted house designers turned back to look, and they suddenly discovered something very scary. Was this the direction that we came from? The ground under their feet had no discerning features. They were surrounded by black fog, and there was no object of reference, it was impossible to tell where they were in relation to everything else. Wait a minute. Aren't we supposed to have another member in our team? When did that kid disappear? The longer one stayed inside the black fog, the greater the fear inside one's heart would be amplified. The three haunted house designers' hearts had started to shake like a leaf. At that moment, they heard a woman's painful and despairing scream. Nudging their feet slowly toward the screen, they switched on the flashlight function on their phones. The light was distorted by the black fog. They could see a woman who was covered in bandages not far away. Surrounded by a thick shroud of black fog, the woman appeared to be ingesting the black fog around her like some kind self-mutilating torture. As the fog rushed into her body, it tore open one wound after another on her body before it proceeded to leak out from her wounds again. The woman appeared to be searching for something inside the black fog. She used her own body as a vessel and the filtering process was incredibly harsh and painful. The black fog was being pulled toward her. As she continued to consume the black fog, black and red tattoos slowly started to surface on her body under the bandage. The tattoos were like a second layer of skin. They wrapped around her body. From afar, the woman radiated a kind of extremely grotesque beauty, but when one looked closer at the scenes that were depicted by the tattoos on her skin, everyone's heart would be gripped by fear. The black threads severed the woman's skin like knives. Blood mixed together with the black threads reconstructed a child's regrettable and painful life, his encounter with many heartless characters and surviving in human pain and torture. Inside the deepest and darkest despair, a flower of sin was blooming. The light from the flashlights hit the woman. The three haunted house designers saw the woman's wounded body under the bandages, and their heads went numb. Liang San stared at the woman's bizarre posture, and he turned to whisper softly to his older brother, What is that thing? That does not look like an actor. Is that a mannequin? At first glance, she seems like an absolute beauty, but upon closer inspection, you will realize how disgusting everything is. Just as he uttered the term, disgusting, Liang Er saw the woman's head slowly turn around. A pair of eyes dominated by curses and malice had landed on him. Liang Er lost control of his body immediately. Every piece of fatty flesh on his body was shaking. The click and clack of high heel against the ground echoed through the space. Countless faces inside the world of the black fog started to wail. The strange, smiling human heads that were formed from the curses rushed out from the rooftops. There was also a centipede-like creature strung together with human heads crawling rapidly on the wall. They rushed toward the three haunted house designers with evil intentions. 
Moments earlier, they had been complaining about the lack of haunted house actors, but just a few seconds later, everything had changed. Liang Er and Liang San had no idea where these things had come from. Their faces blanched, and their natural instinct propelled them to retreat. More and more monsters appeared. They had not even dared to imagine these monsters in their worst nightmare, they had already broken through their understanding of fear. Run. Quick. Run. The middle-aged woman was the first to react. She turned and started to race down the street. As she picked up her pace, the monsters rushed at her like a wave. There were so many of them. Liang San also started to turn back and run, but he had only taken a few steps when he heard a harrowing scream coming from behind him. He realized that his big brother was still standing where he was. I cannot move. Liang Er had no idea what had happened to his body. Ever since he said the word disgusting, he realized that his heartbeat had started to go haywire. It was as if his body did not belong to him anymore. Liang San hesitated for a moment. In the end, he stayed because blood was thicker than water. He turned around to grab Liang Er by his arm. Bro. I will carry you. Before he finished, he saw the black threads hidden inside the fog crawl into Liang Er's body, and they had started to spread toward his own body. Liang Sand was so shocked that he immediately let go of Liang Er. The folds of fat on his face were trembling from fear. The eyes that were hidden inside the fleshy face had not been so wide in his life. What are these things? Flinging his brother's arm away, Liang San staggered backward and started to run. Big brother! I will go and get people to come help you. Hang in there! Liang San could not care about what was happening behind him anymore. He chose a direction and started to run like his life depended on it. There was no object of reference in the black fog, so he had no idea where he was at all. He was surrounded by monsters, so he did not even stop for a second to take a break. Liang San, Liang San. After who knew how long, a familiar voice suddenly came from inside the fog. Big brother? Yes, it is me. Quick, come over here. The exit is this way. The voice was leading Liang San in a certain direction. The shadow of a fetus flickered in the black fog. Liang San wanted to stay away from that shadow, but he realized that his own brother's voice was coming from the location where the shadow was. He then noticed the anomaly about this situation. He wanted to turn around and run the other way, but the moment he did so, the fetus started to madly chase after him. Liang San, where are you going? It's me, your older brother. Stay away, do not come close to me. Liang San's confidence when he first entered the haunted house had completely shattered. His mental stability was shattered the moment he abandoned Liang Er to leave on his own. I really am your big brother. Have you forgotten about me? When we were playing hide and seek when we were young, you were hiding under the bed. Someone was whispering in your ears, accompanying you. Do you still remember, one night, when you snuck out to go to the internet cafe, there was a big dog that kept barking at you? Since then, you've had a fear of dogs. Actually, that dog was not barking at you. It was because it had seen me. I am your big brother, the eldest brother, that you will never shake off, Liang Yi. I died in front of you, but I have never left we will be brothers forever. The fetus shadow crawled swiftly on the ground, and it was only a matter of time it caught up to Liang San. It crawled up Liang San's body and strangled the man's neck. The face that was bloody and ghastly was hanging from Liang San's head as it stared into the man's eyes. Look closely. Look. See how similar we look. Ah. Arg. Liang San shook his head wildly like he had lost his mind. The darkest fear in his heart was recreated through the curse. It did not take long for the man to crumple in a heap with white foam coming out of his mouth. The sound of high heels echoed on the ground. The scary fetus morphed back into a curse and disappeared among the black fog. The screaming was endless. 
The middle-aged woman stumbled her way through the world of the black fog. Most of the monsters had been distracted by Liang Er and Liang San. Furthermore, she was the first to run, so she had made quite a headway in her escape. How did the boss manage to come up with all these props? What is going on inside this haunted house? The middle-aged woman had lost her composure. All she knew was that she needed to run. After running for ten minutes, a wall suddenly appeared before her. Was that the path that we used to get here? She followed the wall and continued to search until finally she found the black iron door. The door is not locked. I am so lucky. The middle-aged woman yanked back the iron door and raced up the staircase. She was getting closer and closer to the exit. I have to tell everyone about the things that happened here. This haunted house is too abnormal. She raced all the way to the end of the hidden pathway. She rammed into the door painted with the red snail, but the door refused to budge. What's going on? Strange laughter and crying came from the other end of the hidden path. Endless shadows were dancing in the black fog. The middle-aged woman knocked repeatedly on the door and cried loudly for help, but naturally, no one came to her aid. Help me. Please, someone, come and help me. Her final call for help was swallowed by the shadows. After the black fog consumed everything, it not only did not dissipate, it even thickened further. Walking down the street of the voiceless small town, Swahan suddenly stopped moving. What's wrong? Do you hear someone crying for help? Swahan turned back to look at the soundless home. It appears to come out from the building that we just vacated. Should we go back to take a look? Hisan was still quite worried about the other people. He was really concerned that a serious accident might happen. For now, I cannot tell for sure who the haunted house actor is. In these circumstances, other than the two of you, there is no need to go and risk our own lives to go and rescue other people. It will be a waste of energy to go save them, and we might even get dragged into more trouble. Swahan kept his eyes on the black fog that continued to roll out from the soundless home, and his brows were deeply creased. The speed of the fog spreading is increasing. Looks like the game will be entering the third stage very soon. The third stage? Normally, after we have obtained the key item and prepared to leave, the actors inside the scenario will be given free reign to move around to come after any and all visitors in their sights. So the third stage is also known as the Free Massacre. Swahan's voice was peppered with obvious worry. When I was challenging the Coffin Village to transport the wedding dress out, I sacrificed all of my teammates. During this third stage, brain power is completely useless. All that matters is physical stamina and luck. That will be incredibly detrimental to us. The three of us do not appear to have luck on our side, he Sam grumbled softly. Then we'd better speed up our exploration. If we fail to find any parts of the rag doll, we will only end up in worse condition. The group, including the rest of the haunted house designers, hurried to leave. None of them had suggested to go back and rescue their teammates who were screaming for help. Everyone had come to a silent consensus not to bring that up. It was as if everyone was suffering from temporary amnesia. After the black fog appeared, the whole scenario became even more peculiar. Occasionally, an eye would open on a wall, or a snickering shadow would flicker around the street corner. The scariest thing in the ghost fetus memory was inching closer to the visitors. After turning the corner, there was a very long avenue that stretched out before the visitors. The buildings on both sides of this avenue were gray in color, and some of the buildings had cracks from age. Have we been to this place before? How come I feel like this street has appeared out of nowhere? Swahan was the first to enter the avenue. Before he strode that far down the street, he noticed a person appearing from the avenue. Be careful. There is someone ahead of us. Under the dim light, the figure was wearing a red raincoat, standing straight and facing away from the visitors. She stood next to a tattered-looking bus stop as if waiting for someone. It is not raining, so why is the person wearing a raincoat? Swahan did not dare get too close. His brows were furrowed deeply, who knew what he was thinking? 
You are in cahoots with these people, so why do you have so many questions? When Fu Bol saw Zwahan acting like this, it irked him. Then again, the man already had a prejudice against these people who claimed to be from Jiujiang Medical University, to begin with. Fine, continue your act. I will stand here and see how much longer you can keep this up. When they saw the woman in the red raincoat, the eyes of Xiao Sun, who was among the crowd, lit up. He had seen this red specter in the world behind the ghost fetus door before. He knew that this was one of Qin Ji's employees. I need to figure out a way to get close to her and inform her that the first hidden pathway has already been accidentally destroyed by me and have her contact Boss Chen for me. With this in mind, Xiao Sun walked out from the group and moved toward the red raincoat. The haunted house designers were trying to find an idiot to go and test this strange figure. Seeing Xiao Sun volunteer, none of them even thought of stopping him. But when Zhu Han saw Xiao Sun walk over there, for some reason, he had a bad feeling rise in his heart. He raised his hand, but in the end, he still did not stop Xiao Sunday, carrying the hope of his whole team of his shoulders, Xiao Sun stepped onto the bus stop's platform. The other visitors stayed away from the platform, keeping a safe, two to three meters away, from Xiao Sunday, hello, I am Sun Xiao Jun. Xiao Sun lowered his voice and used his back to block the sight of the other visitors. He put both of his arms before his chest and silently pointed at himself. I have accidentally broken the hidden pathway. Seeing that someone had wandered over, the woman in the red raincoat slowly turned around to reveal her extremely scary face. Her lips were sewn shut by shadows, and when she spoke, her voice slipped through the gaps between the stitches. It was incredibly harrowing. Have you seen my child? Big sister, the hidden pathway is stuck. We need to get the boss and come over to check it. Xiao Sun did not dare raise his voice. He muttered with his lips closed. Interestingly, it appeared like he was mimicking the woman in the raincoat. Have you seen my child? The red raincoat was playing herself. Her bright red pupils were rolling in her eye sockets, and her emotions had started to fray. When Xiao Sun saw how deep the red raincoat lady was entrenched in the script, he was very desperate. If this was allowed to continue, the whole avenue would probably be swallowed up by the black fog soon. Have you seen my child? The red raincoat's voice was very scary. Blood vessels wiggled on her body. It appeared like her emotions might go out of control at any moment. Xiao Sun also did not dare pressure the red raincoat lady. After all, this was an actual red specter. He was about to give up communication with the red raincoat when he was struck by inspiration, and a thought appeared in his mind. Since she is unable to understand what I am trying to express, why don't I just lead her to the hidden pathway to take a look? That is such an easy solution. That was the brilliant idea that our Xiao Sun had. Therefore, without discussing anything with his teammates, he suddenly said, I saw your child earlier. I know where he is. Really? I can guarantee that. His tone was very sure and determined. The other visitors had no idea what he was up to. Even the red raincoat lady's expression appeared to have frozen. That was not how it was supposed to go according to the script. How would a visitor know where a red specter's child was hidden? My son is wearing a tattered floral shirt and he has a red scar on his forehead as well as a birthmark that's the shape of a maple leaf on his chest. What the red raincoat described was not part of the script. She appeared to be describing the features of her real lost son. That's right. It was him. Xiao Sun slapped on his calf. The child that I saw was the same as the one you just described. He was inside the house nearest to the entrance. You need to search the first room on the first floor very closely. When he finished, the blood vessels on the red raincoat were boiling. She had searched for multiple years, and today, finally, someone had told her that they had seen her child. She walked to the back of the platform and soon disappeared. Seeing the red raincoat walk away, Xiao Sun sighed in relief. When she sees that the hidden pathway has been destroyed and the black fog is rushing out, she will understand the severity of the situation. 
At that moment, it was Xiao Sun who did not understand the severity of the situation. He finally revealed a relaxed smile and returned to the group of visitors. Chapter 1123 White Orphanage, the woman in the red raincoat appeared at the bus stop. We should make use of this time to look around the bus stop to see if there are any clues around here. Fu Bol and the other haunted house designers started their search around the bus stop, and they soon discovered some problems. There were two human-shaped shadows painted behind the avenue's bus stop. They were in the shape of a male and a female. The two shadows were etched into the back wall of the bus stop, as if it was a snapshot of someone's memory. Underneath the bus stop, there was a puddle of water. If one looked closer, one could see the image of a male student in a school uniform and a female teacher holding a red umbrella. At the corner of the bus stop, there were words that appeared to be randomly carved out. They were uneven and titled. The person who had left behind these characters was probably emerged in some kind of juvenile yet simple happiness. Love started from the moment I met you. The last bus of the day came, but I waited until you arrived. Can I please walk you home? Reading these words, they appeared to have the ability to evoke the reader's memory of youthful love. It was innocent, unwieldy, yet uniquely blissful. Why would such characters be carved in such an eerie place? Could it be that a horrible and cruel story is hidden behind the innocence of young love? All of this beauty is just build up, and they will be brutally torn open at the last moment. The contrast will be used to create some kind of despairing effect, right? Sister Snake's haunted house appeared to have employed similar tactics before. She touched the black skull tattoo on her arm. Her mind seemed to have sunk into the memory of the past. This was a woman with a story. The style of this avenue is completely different from the other places that we have visited before, so theoretically speaking, there should be plenty of scare points. Yet, so far, we have not encountered anything remotely scary. The bad feeling in Zwahan's heart was getting stronger and stronger. He felt like this was the calm before the storm. We should stop inspecting the bus stop. We need to move on to the next location immediately. Swahan looked at the black fog that was following behind them and quickly decided to call the rest to hurry down the avenue. We need to leave this place immediately. This ghost fetus scenario has completely shattered my understanding of this haunted house. None of the experience I have collected can be used here. Why is that happening? Everything had happened a bit too suddenly. It felt like there was a pair of invisible hands that were slowly pushing them to the brink of despair from the back of the scene. Less than 15 minutes after the game started, the scenario has already entered the third stage. All the ghost actors within the four-star scenarios have started to go on a rampage. The chance of survival with just the three of us is close to zero. Swahan understood that he had basically fallen into the worst possible scenario. The few haunted house designers are completely unreliable. If they do not change their prejudice now and stop underestimating Boss Chen's haunted house, they will probably disappear in the next sub-scenario, and then what shall I do to solve this conundrum? He was using his mind so much that Swahan's forehead was soon soaked with sweat. He was now under a great deal of pressure. On one hand, he had to face an unknown and scary enemy, and on the other hand, he had to carry a bunch of dead weights and possible haunted house actors hiding among them. Facing both internal and external pressure, he really tried hard but failed to come up with a reliable solution. Everything's happening too quickly. This four-star scenario does not give me any downtime to think or even calm down from the previous scares at all. After the woman in the red raincoat left, the buildings on both sides of the avenue lost their sense of scariness and the avenue seemingly turned back to a normal street. The visitors left the avenue easily and came to the entrance of an orphanage that had a white and back color scheme. The rusted iron door was left half open. A spine-tingling lullaby drifted out from an unknown source. The orphanage looked like it had been abandoned for quite some time, but there were children's clothes hung on a clothesline to dry in the yard. There were also plenty of freshly dug holes in the ground. They appeared to be used to bury some things. Many signs of human activity could be seen around the orphanage's yard, 
but the visitors could not find the presence of any living individuals. The wind chime that hung on the awning jingled lightly as Wahan pushed open the front door of the orphanage. A rather sad tune drifted out from one of the rooms. At the end of a very long dining table sat a broken and ruined altar. This has to be a privately owned orphanage, a government-ran orphanage would not allow such an obvious religious structure within the confines of the building. Mr. Wong stared at the altar, and flashes of images from his past flickered through his mind. Some of the owners of private orphanages believe in religious karma. They set up shrines of their respective faith in their own rooms, but this is the first time I have encountered an orphanage that directly places such an altar right in the lobby of the orphanage. Walking past the long wooden dining table, Mr. Wong's expression slowly turned darker and uglier. The altar had the name Fang Yu carved in all its corners. It looked quite frightening. These are carved out by one's bare nails character by character. The deep black stains on it are blood stains. They have completely seeped into the wooden boards. This is strange. It feels like someone has spent years scratching these words out on this altar. Mr. Wong was confused. Did the boss need to go to such length just to create a prop inside the haunted house? This might not have been made by Boss Chen himself. He has provided many clues to local law enforcement on murder cases. I suspect some of the props inside his haunted house are directly lifted from murder crime scenes," Swahan whispered softly to his lecturer. This topic was considered inside information, so he was not willing to share it with unnecessary people lest they made a big deal out of it. This haunted house boss has provided many clues to local law enforcement for murder cases? Mr. Wong was so shocked that the question fell out of his mouth. I have indeed heard word on the street lately that things have been quite uneasy, and Jiu Jiang's local police station has recruited a new informant. That person is the boss of this haunted house? Sir, due to that incident, you no longer have any contact with the people at the station, so you might not know this. The boss of this haunted house is very. Swahan thought for a long time, but he did not know how to put his thoughts into words. Both of his parents disappeared mysteriously. To investigate their disappearance, he has overturned old cases throughout Jiaojiang that date back to two decades ago. I do not even know how to describe such a person. The best description that I can come up with is for normal people to keep a respectful distance away from him. He managed to help overturn old cases that date back to 20 years ago? Yes, but that is not even the scariest thing about him. Swahan lowered his voice even more. He has provided many important clues to Jiaojiang law enforcement for many heavy crimes, and they have solved many cases through him, but the case of his parents' disappearance has seen no progress at all. I suspect there is a big conspiracy behind this. The case behind his parents' disappearance is not as simple as it appears. And that is why you have been coming to visit his haunted house? Mr. Wang valued Zuohan greatly. He believed that Zuohan was one of the best students he had ever had the pleasure of teaching. He knew Zuohan was unlike the other students, he was definitely not the kind of student who would skip class for fun. I am afraid I am still too unqualified to help investigate the case of his parents' disappearance. Swahan looked at the altar before him. I cannot see through this man at all. I cannot tell even a little bit what he is thinking. Honestly, sometimes, I do not even dare look him in the eye. I tried to put myself in his shoes to analyze his psychological status and personality, and the conclusion that I arrived at sent chills all over my body. He has superb rationality and calmness in all situations. He also possesses a superhuman adaptive ability and extremely high intelligence. Is there any similar character comparison to him in our current database? No, he is like a monster. After all, he is able to come up with so many exquisite and brilliantly designed set pieces alone and can help find clues for so many heavy crimes that stumped even the local forces. Compared to him, no one has the qualification to be called a genius. Swahan's hand softly caressed the surface of the altar, his fingers feeling the grooves of the characters that were carved on the wooden board. The more that I learn about him, the more afraid I become, 
but the more afraid I become, the more curious I am. I want to get to the bottom of the truth. Actually, if possible, during the last holiday, before my graduation, I plan to apply to work here, with Boss Chen. The student with the best overall score at a medical university, coming to work at a haunted house? Mr. Wang even wondered if he had misheard his student. You are far more gifted than I am. What you are lacking is experience. If he really is as impressive as you say he is, even if you come to work here, I doubt you will find out anything useful to you. When the two spoke among themselves, a wooden door that led to one of the other rooms was pushed open, and an old man with a head of white hair shuffled out holding a thermos. He was caught by surprise when he saw so many people gathered in the lobby. Are you here to adopt the children? The old man's voice was shaking. He looked like he was in a very weakened state, as if he could faint at any given moment. The haunted house even hires someone so old to be its actor. This place sure is horrible. Fu Bol walked to accost the old man. We are not here to adopt any children. We are here to look for missing items. Have you seen this thing before? He took out the picture of the rag doll from his pocket and shook it before the old man. I have not. If you are not here to adopt the children, then hurry up and leave. This small town is not that safe. If you do not leave soon, I am afraid you might not be able to leave at all. The old man coughed and was about to leave when Ma Feng, who had been among the crowd, suddenly stepped forward. Wait a minute. Have I seen you somewhere before? After Ma Feng took over Jiang Jiu's position, to gain a deeper understanding of Chen Gu, he had spent many sleepless nights looking over the video when Chen Gu came to challenge his own haunted house. This old man before him appeared to have shown up in the video before, but he could not pinpoint exactly who he was. I have been staying here to look after the children. I have never left this small town. How is it possible that you have seen me before, or have you been to this orphanage in the past? The old man was the lingering spirit that Chen Gu had brought back from the futuristic theme park when he went to challenge the place. He had also brought back the old man's grandson, the ghost in the windchim, and the red specter in the traditional Chinese opera costume. Perhaps I've mistaken you for someone else. That is the worst mistake you could have made in this small town. The person that you are familiar with might not really be him, it could be disguised by something else. Even though they might have the same face and voice, they will be carrying a different heart. The old man suddenly started to hack horribly like the statement that he gave had crossed some kind of line, and he was being punished for it. Quickly leave this place. Do not linger any longer. Hey! Fu Bol wanted to reach out to grab the old man, but just as his arm was about to land on the old man's shoulder, the old man used a surprisingly agile and strange maneuver to evade him. No one saw it clearly. The old man slithered through the open door that he had come out from, and Fu Bol was left standing there with his hand hanging in the air. The old man did not close the door behind him, but once he crossed the threshold, it seemed like he had disappeared into thin air. A very bad feeling started to spread among the group of visitors. Fu Bol subconsciously walked toward the room that the old man had disappeared into. Standing in the lobby, one could hear the sound of children laughing coming from inside the room, but once they looked through the door, there was no one in the room at all. Only some toys were there, littering the ground. There has to be something hidden inside this orphanage. Plus, think about it. The rag doll that Boss Chen wants us to find is so old and tattered. A child from a normal family would not have owned such a toy. It is probably the toy of an abandoned child. Wei Chao Chao tried to analyze the situation and shared his analysis. The orphanage is a place where abandoned children are gathered, so there is a very high chance that the rag doll that we are looking for is hidden here. Everyone thought that Wei Chao Chao's analysis was quite reasonable. Only Zwahan kept his brows locked, but he did not anything. What? Do you have any problem with what I've said? Wei Chao Chao was a very clever person but his cleverness was often limited to a certain area. Your analysis is too one-sided. If you look at the bigger picture, 
the probability of the rag doll being hidden here is very small because we still have many scenarios that we have yet to explore. Swahan gave his own thoughts. Stop talking in riddles. What are you trying to say? I believe this orphanage is a set piece that Boss Chen has purposely built to distract us. This place is probably a trap. It would be better if we do not spend too much time here. Swahan knew that these people would most likely not listen to his advice, so after he spoke his piece, he walked away with He San and Mr. Wang and started to look for their own clues. Let's not be shaken by an outsider. We will continue to search with our analysis. I am sure we are on the right path. Fu Bol shared the same opinion as Wei Chao Chao. Splitting off into the same groups as earlier, they started to search carefully for any traces of the rag doll within the orphanage. The black fog rolled down the street and slowly surrounded the orphanage. Seeing this, Swahan prepared to leave to hurry to the next scenario, while the haunted house designers insisted on staying at the orphanage. With the split in opinion, both parties eventually separated, and each went their own way. Swahan led He San and Mr. Wang to leave while the others continued their search in the slowly thickening black fog. This place is an orphanage, but we have not seen a child until now. Wei Chao Chao stood at the door that led to the side hall where the old man had disappeared earlier. Could we have been tricked by the old man? The old man entered the side hall last. Have you checked that place? Fu Bol and Qin Guang were standing next to Wei Chao Chao. The rest were searching the kitchen and the backyard. I have looked through the room. I cannot find the old man anymore. It feels like he disappeared once he entered the room. At this point of retelling his experience, Wei Chao Chao's eyes suddenly lit up. The side hall is connected to the backyard. Our preconceived notion made us believe that he has gone to the backyard but there is actually another possibility, there might be a hidden path inside the side hall. The three of them shuffled into the side hall again. The placement of the toys was different from how they remembered it. Someone has moved the things in here. Wei Chao Chao noticed the problem immediately. Before he could add anything else, he saw a small shadow running down the hallway where the backyard was connected to the side hall. Who is that? Stop right there. Wei Chao Chao and Fu Bol rushed after the shadow immediately. They abandoned Qin Guang, who was at the back of the group. They chased after the shadow and entered the storage room that was situated in the backyard. Pushing open the wooden door, they were greeted by an old shrine table, and a strange picture was placed on the table. The old man in the picture was facing away from Wei Chao Chao and Fu Bol. He appeared to be hugging something in his arms. The back of the person in this picture looks so familiar. Qin Guang, who was left alone in the side hall, was about to go after them when he suddenly heard the sound of a plastic ball bouncing. He turned his head to look. One of the toy balls in the side hall had rolled on its own into the lobby. And the strange thing was, there appeared to be something hiding in the dark corner. The ball rolled into the darkness, and then it was kicked out again like two invisible children were playing with it. With the corner of his eyes twitching, Qin Guang left the side hall immediately and ran out to meet up with the rest of his group. After he departed, a boy in a red shirt crawled out from the corner of the room with his eyes burning. I heard from the others that scaring people is something very simple and enjoyable. How come it is so difficult for me? Why? Just as the boy in the red shirt's emotions were going astray, the door of room one of the first floor at the soundless house was heavily slammed against the door. A woman in a red raincoat walked out from the building with the fury of being lied to. Blood vessels boiled on her coat. Inside the endless black fog, a blood-red rain started to fall. Chapter 1124, Don, T, blame your brother for saving himself first, why didn't you two wait for me? Qing Guang rushed out from the side hall and caught up to Fu Bol and Wei Chao Chao while catching his breath. How can someone like you be so easily scared? Don't you do an outsider, supernatural live stream for a living? Fu Bol probably would not sit idle whenever the chance came up for him to mock someone. The so called supernatural events that you ran into during your live streams, were they all set up by yourself? 
Some of them are pre-designed by the studio, but some of them were not. Like the time you were so traumatized that you were sent to the hospital? Fu Bol was very interested in the incident involving Qin Guang, but Qin Guang obviously did not want to remember anything about it. He directly ignored what Fu Bol said and changed the subject. I just saw a plastic ball that moved on its own in the side hall. This place appears to be occupied by a few children that we cannot see with our naked eyes. Now that shows how ignorant you are. Fu Bol shook his head. I know you are a popular livestream host who is highly valued by Director Ma. Initially, I thought you would be a valuable asset to the team, but after what we have been through, I realize perhaps I was mistaken. Just standing here, I can come up with at least six methods to make a ball move on its own. It is nothing that surprising. Sometimes, we will even use the same technology on mannequins' heads to make the heads roll on their own. It will look more impactful visually to the visitors. You mean just like that? Qing Guang pointed behind Fu Bol. What? Fu Bol and Wei Chao Chao turned their heads back at the same time. They saw that the man in the picture on the shrine table, which was originally facing away from them, had changed his pose. The old man in the black and white picture had turned around. Isn't this the old man who was talking to us earlier? Wei Chao Chao was rather shocked. The man has half of his leg inside the coffin already, and the boss still has the heart to photoshop him into a black and white photo. Isn't he afraid that this thing might come true one day? The boss is really one f asterisk king heartless b asterisk starred. Fu Bol also did not expect the person in the picture to suddenly turn around. All the curse words were to cover up the fear in his heart. He had no idea how the boss managed to do something like this. At that moment, he was truly spooked. The old man's black and white picture is placed on the shrine table. That means that he has been dead for quite some time already, so the information that he gave us might be misleading. When we first arrived here, I saw many holes that were dug up in the front yard. The holes are too big for trees or vegetation, and they are too small for adult graves. Do you think it is possible that they are to bury children? That is possible. This orphanage is definitely not as simple as it appears. It has to be the most crucial location of the entire ghost fetus scenario. Orphanage, dead guardian, mass grave, this place might be where the ghost fetus is born. Wei Chao Chao and Fu Bol were so engaged in their discussion that they did not realize that Qin Guang had kept his gaze fixed on the space underneath the shrine table. Just now, a boy's head poked out from behind the shrine table, but the boy's body could not be seen under the table. It felt like the boy crawled right out from the black and white picture himself. Where is he? He was standing right next to the shrine table, but he disappeared in the blink of an eye. The three stared closely at the shrine table. At that moment, the whole scenario started to change again. Blood started to seep down from the gap in the ceiling. Blood slid down the walls and edged along the frame of the black and white picture before dropping onto the table. What is going on? Is it because we have uncovered the truth that we have triggered some kind of trap inside the haunted house? Fu Bol, Wei Chao Chao, and Qin Guang looked around. When they recovered from the shock of the supernatural events that happened around them, something else that shocked them deeply happened. The old man in the black and white picture had disappeared. All that was left inside the picture was an empty chair and a cigarette holder that had fallen to the ground. It gave the feeling that the old man had left in a hurry like he was running for his life. Have you guys played the game What's the Time, Mr. Wolf, before? In essence, one person is supposed to stand at a fixed place, and whenever he turns around, the people behind him will get closer to him. From facing away from us to turning around and then running out of the picture itself, the boss of the haunted house is playing psychological tricks on us. Wei Chao Chao tried his best to analyze the situation as scientifically as he could, but before he could finish the rest of his sentence, a drop of blood landed on his forehead. It is incredibly sticky, and it smells like copper. This fake blood is incredibly well made. Wei Chao Chao used his hand to swipe at the blood on his face. 
he realized that this droplet of blood was actually made up of countless smaller blood droplets, and each of them was twitching in his grasp. You have got to be kidding me. They spray red paint directly from the ceiling of a haunted house. The boss of this place sure is brazen. Is he not afraid of ruining the visitors' clothes? Fu Bol had more to complain about, but he was quickly stopped by Wei Chao Chao. Brother Fu, these blood droplets are very strange. When they fall on your clothes, they slide down directly, but if they fall on your skin, they will solidify almost instantly. It feels like there is a kind of force controlling them. Someone is using this rain of blood to find their prey. Bang! A giant explosion came out from the street outside the orphanage. It sounded like a door was being violently kicked down. Before Wei Chao Chao and Fu Bol could react, they saw a young boy wave urgently at them with desperation on his face. It was as if the boy was telling them to get away from this place as soon as possible. The little boy was still gesturing wildly when he was picked up by the old man. Then, the grandfather and grandson leaped over the orphanage wall and escaped into the night. The ghosts from the picture appeared again? Was the boy reaching out to us for help? Fu Bol felt like he had stumbled across some kind of instrumental clue. He immediately called after Wei Chao Chao. Quick! Chase after them. The boy might be the ghost fetus. The old man is the ghost. We have to save the boy from the evil clutches of the old man. The three rushed to the entrance of the storage room, and before they stepped out, they saw Xiao Sun walking their way. If not for Xiao Sun's swiftness of feet, they probably would have rammed directly into each other. Get out of the way. Do not stand in our path. Fu Bol shouted loudly. What's going on? Xiao Sun's heart squeezed with concern. We have found the boy. The most crucial character inside this ghost fetus scenario, we found him. What boy? That boy is our hope of clearing this scenario. Do not let him get away. Before Xiao Sun could even comprehend what was happening, Fu Bol, Wei Chao Chao, and Qin Guang had leaped out of the back door and run out from the white orphanage. Even a newbie knows it is taboo to separate from the main team inside the haunted house. How come these people are so damn stubborn? Seeing the trio slowly disappear from his line of sight, Xiao Sun did not give chase after them. Instead, he turned his focus to Ma Feng. Other people call him Director Ma in private. This man should be a big fish. I need to make use of this opportunity to try to find out what are they up to. Scratching his chin, Xiao Sun mimicked Chin Go and started to narrow his eyes. I have been living in the haunted house for several days now. This place has always been peaceful. It is like a welcoming home for ghosts and specters, but from the moment this batch of visitors showed up, I feel like the whole atmosphere of the scenario has changed. The colleagues have gotten so agitated. Sigh, it feels like these people have not come with good intentions. There is a huge problem with this batch of visitors. Raising his open palm, the blood rain dropped in the middle of his palm. Xiao Sun could sense the emotion that was inherent within the blood rain. This rain contains the emotion of fury and the intention to kill. It chills me right to my bones. It is like a knife is placed on my neck, and I could be killed at any moment. This is too scary. After he said that, Xiao Sun was about to move forward, but just as he wanted to do so, he realized that something was wrong. The blood rain dropped on his body, and it morphed into blood vessels and secured him in place. Turning around with some shock, Xiao Sun was so frightened that his soul almost departed from his body. The lady in the red raincoat with her lips sewn had materialized behind him. Her thin and branch-like arms hung limply on Xiao Sun's shoulders. The murderous intent from the red specter was overwhelming. Big sister, when, when did you arrive? Have you seen my child? The cold voice escaped from the red raincoat's sewn lips. Xiao Sun collapsed to the ground. He really did not expect to still feel the same amount of fear and shock even after he had died and turned into a ghost. The, the information was given to me by another person. They even told me that they had found that boy earlier. 
The words practically tumbled out of Xiao Sun's lips. Do you know who Fu Bol is? It was the man with the sunglasses in his pocket, and the man with the flowery shirt is called Wei Chao Chao. They fed me the information. They've just escaped through the back door. They ran down the path on the left. Sis. Do you want me to show you to them? The blood vessels slowly let go of Xiao Sunday. The red raincoat dissolved into part of the bloody rain and disappeared completely. Xiao Sun crumbled to the ground. His mind was still in a daze from the scary encounter. What have I just said to her? Patting his own face, Xiao Sun remained sitting on the ground. By then, the black fog had completely enveloped the orphanage. A drizzle of blood rain was mixed in with the black fog. Hey! What are you doing there alone? The couple from Xian High walked out from one of the rooms. The man kept staring at the door that led out from the backyard. He appeared to have seen something there. Do not ask me any questions. I just want to sit here and get some rest. Xiao Sun had some innate annoyance toward that man from Xian High, but he had no idea why. Where is Fu Bol? Wasn't he out here with Wei Chao Chao earlier? Ma Feng immediately saw the key problem. He did not care what had happened here, the most important issue was that a few of his teammates had mysteriously disappeared once again. They said that they had found a boy and that the boy is most likely the ghost fetus. Where have they run off to? Ma Feng kept his scrutinizing Xiao Sunday, get up, you need to take us to go and find them. Me? Xiao Sun already planned to abandon the game and contact Chen Ge, but Ma Feng did not give him the chance at all. Ma Feng appeared to already have started suspecting Xiao Sun, but Ma Feng was only doing this from the perspective of a normal person. After all, if he suspected someone, he would have to keep them close so that they would not have the chance to do something behind his back. As they say, keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. He was not technically wrong, but he had no idea how high a price he would pay for keeping Sun Xiaojun so close to him. Fine, I will lead you all to them, but you'd better be mentally prepared. Xiao Sun cl climbed up from the ground and led the remaining survivors to lead the white orphanage from the back door. After Fu Bol, Qin Guang, and Wei Chao Chao ran out from the white orphanage, they rushed through the black fog and raced down the street, chasing after the figures in front of them. Jesus Christ, how can this old man still run so fast? Both Fu Bol and Wei Chao Chao felt from the bottom of their hearts that Qin Ji's haunted house was more hyped up than it actually was, so they looked down on Qin Ji's haunted house. Therefore, they were not afraid of leaving the main team and moving on their own. On the other hand, Qin Guang was like an innocent lamb led astray. After blindly following these two out from the orphanage, he did not dare go back alone, so the only thing he could do was follow these two until the end. The ghost fetus scenario was more spacious than any of them could imagine. The style of the buildings on the sides of the streets had started to change again. A light stench floated in the air. After turning the corner, a staff cafeteria appeared before the trio. The old man and the boy stopped at the entrance as if hesitating whether they should enter the building or not. He's finally stopped. Fu Bol gasped hungrily for air as he slowly approached the old man. The old man was holding the boy by his hand. When they saw Fu Bol approach them, they did not react in any way. But just a few seconds later, both the eyes of the grandfather and the grandson were overwhelmed by fear. They stared at the street behind Fu Bol and immediately crawled into the cafeteria. Are you kidding me? What is this? Some kind of joke? Fu Bol was incensed. He had been led by the nose by an old man through the scenario for such a long time. The old man even purposely paused for him to catch up. Brother Fu, this cafeteria appears to be a new scenario. We should wait for the others to arrive before we go into it. Once given the reminder by Wei Chao Chao, Fu Bol did not rush into the cafeteria. After all, he was a top haunted house designer. He could see through the layout and setup of many scare points and traps with just a glance. After giving the place a quick look, Fu Bol did not notice anything too suspicious. 
Out of the confidence in his own professional ability, he did not stay to wait for the rest, but decided to enter the cafeteria directly. Once he entered the cafeteria, before Fu Bol could even say anything, he heard a loud bang, and the front door of the cafeteria was slammed shut behind him. His heart skipped a beat. Fu Bol was about to call Wei Chao Chao's name to ask him what had happened when his ears were filled with harrowing screams from both Wei Chao Chao and Qing Guang beyond the closed door. The screams tore at his heart. The sound was like pigs being slaughtered, and the screams sent chills down Fu Bol's spine. Blood vessels slipped through the gaps of the door into the room. They appeared to be looking for someone. Seeing this, Fu Bol retreated without hesitation. He stayed as far away from the cafeteria front door as he could. What has happened outside? He did not think that Wei Chao Chao would cooperate with Chen Gu to purposely scare him. To be able to make someone like Wei Chao Chao shriek like it was the end of the world, it proved that there had to be something incredibly scary outside the door. Could it be that the old man decided to escape from the orphanage because there has always been an actual ghost following behind us? Having a ghost at a haunted house was something very normal, but the ghost in question might be categorically different from what a normal ghost meant at other haunted houses. The warning that Zwahan had once given appeared in Fu Bol's mind. When he was in a crowd, he did not feel it that clearly, but now that he was stranded alone, his mind could not help but keep on straying to the conclusion that this haunted house was really haunted. There should be another exit in this building. Fu Bol walked past the dining tables and came to the back kitchen of the cafeteria. The stench was the most intense at this place. On the door of the back kitchen, there were three words written on top, House of Strange Odors. Pushing open the wooden door a gap, Fu Bol leaned on the door and looked through it. There was a mountain of meat that was moving inside the kitchen. It was a person who was even larger than both Liang Er and Liang San combined. Wearing a chef's outfit that was too small for his size, radiating an awful stench, the man kept pouring what appeared to be food ingredients into a large pot. Turning, mixing, and stirring, the chef gave the meal cooking inside the pot a taste. It appeared like it was still missing something. He took out a cleaver. After giving it a good shine, he slowly turned around. The bloodless face fixated on Fu Bol, who was leaning on the door. His mouth gaped. The chef's mouth that was covered in blood uttered, the ingredients are finally all here. With his every step, the whole cafeteria was shaking. It was like the building was moving along with this mountain of a man. Blood slid down the roof of the ceiling. The front door of the cafeteria was blasted open. Wei Chao Chao, who had lost consciousness, lay limply on the ground. A woman in a red raincoat walked into the cafeteria. The chef was confused. He waved the giant cleaver in his hands as his fingers knocked lightly on the chopping block. Blood vessels rolled. The furious red raincoat dragged the half-alive Wei Chao Chao and stopped at the entrance of the back kitchen. Her bloodshot eyes stared right at Fu Bol. Being surrounded by two red specters, Fu Bol hugged the doorframe, and his legs gave way underneath him. He knelt on the ground, and he almost peed himself from fear. Humming a song, adjusting his watch, Chen Gu had finished his makeup and was waiting at the entrance of the ghost fetus scenario. To prevent an accidental encounter with the visitors, he purposely waited for quite some time and ensured that there were no more visitors left waiting at the entrance before he entered the scenario. As the thick chains were removed, Chen Gu held the comic and inched open a gap of the black iron door. He was about to push the iron door open further when a sheaf of black fog drifted out. Hmm? When the door was fully open, Chen Ji's eyes slowly widened. Endless black fog enveloped the streets fully, and blood rain fell like there was no tomorrow. The voiceless small town was like a scene from an apocalypse. Clang! The chain in his hand slipped to the ground. Chen Ji's first reaction was to lock up the black iron door again. What is going on? Have the people from the cursed hospital infiltrated this scenario when I wasn't looking? Chapter 1125 You deserve a bigger stage about 10 minutes prior, the ghost fetus scenario was still relatively peaceful. 
Chinga only went to put on some makeup and hurried to the other scenarios to get some other employees, and when he returned, the world had completely changed. The moment the door was opened, Chinga even thought for a split second that he had returned to the world behind the door. His brain moved quickly, and many possibilities entered his mind. In the end, the figures of those two visitors from Xian High appeared in his mind's eye. There has to be some problem with that couple from Xian High. Could the change to this scenario be related to them? Initially, Chingu suspected that they were unique visitors, but now he believed that things were not as simple as he imagined. Before they cause more trouble, I have to go and locate them. Summoning his employees, Chingu held the comic and rushed into the scenario. To prevent the black fog from continuing to spread, he even had Xiao Xiao guard the black iron door, telling her that no matter who came, she had to keep the door closed. The black fog had completely enveloped the voiceless small town, and it was continuing to spread to other places. Pale human faces appeared on the walls of the buildings down the streets. When they saw Chen Ge, they kept making these horrible screams. It sounded both like a cry for help and a plea for mercy. The closest hidden path to the world of the black fog from the entrance is the soundless home. Don't tell me some of the visitors were so unlucky that they somehow stumbled their way into the hidden scenario through that sub-scenario? Chen Ge took out his own phone and called Tong Tong's number. He soon got Tong Tong's reply. When he saw Tong Tong's message, Chen Ji's expression became confused and befuddled. The place has not been infiltrated by outsiders? If that's the case, why did the scenario turn into a state like this? Tong Tong appeared to be incredibly busy with something else. The messages that he sent to Chen Gu were succinct and simple. Or have they successfully evaded Tong Tong's surveillance? Chen Gu knew the chance of that was very slim, but after completing the Black Phone's trial missions so many times, Chen Gu was trained to see things from the worst possible scenario. That was how he was always prepared. Knocking on one of the doors, Chen Gu whispered outside of it. Brother Peng, are you in there? The wooden door creaked open. Wu Jinping appeared at the door with his hand over his bruised forehead. Boss? Why are you here? You have entered the scenario as well? Why are you injured? Chen Ji's tone changed immediately. There had never been an accident where his own employees were injured in his own haunted house albeit the injury in this case was just a bump to the forehead. It's fine, it's fine. I was too nervous when I opened the door, and I accidentally rammed into the door. Was it because someone was purposely blocking the door? Chen Gu was a very astute person, and he was very familiar with those haunted house designers' dirty tricks. Boss, you can ignore this small injury. Just now, a series of horrible screams came from inside the scenario. I am not kidding you, it sounded like I was right at a slaughterhouse. You'd better go and take a look. I am very worried that something serious has happened. Okay, but you'd better stay here and do not go anywhere else. I will be back in a minute. The black fog on the street thickened by the second. Chinga ran without stopping to the soundless home. He first glanced at the missing person's report by the entrance. The boy in the picture had gone missing. Where has Tong Tong disappeared to? Entering the building, Chen Gu confirmed that this was the place where the black fog originated. He pushed open the door of the first room. The scene that greeted him was a room that was soaked in blood. It felt like a rain of blood had fallen right inside the room. After he found the mirror that was left on the ground, Chen Gu tried to communicate with the lingering spirit of the student from the school of the afterlife that resided inside it. He had the student open the door of the red snail for him. Inside the hidden path, the black fog ebbed and flowed like a palpable wave. A middle-aged woman was lying supine on the steps. Due to extreme shock, she was totally unconscious. The black fog can invoke the deepest and darkest fear inside a living person's heart. She stumbled her way into the world of black fog without even experiencing the one-star scenario. The fact that she could run so far is already a miracle in and of itself. 
Chen Good dragged the middle-aged woman out of the scenario and had the lingering spirit of the student hurry and go call the doctors from the underground morgue. Tell them to stop scaring people for a moment. We need them to get over here to examine the situation. I believe we have an emergency on our hands. There might be several people that are unconscious. Bringing the other employees, Chen Gu came to the bottom step of the hidden pathway. He picked up the chain that blocked the door to stop it from closing completely. Someone purposely used this as a stopgap to prevent the door from closing, he did not want the door to close. Why would he do something like that? Pushing open the black iron door, Chen Gu stepped into it. Chen Gu did not need to wander in that far to see that all the mannequin monsters inside the world of black fog had gone berserk. Endless curses and twisted memories clung to their bodies, turning these mannequins into different kinds of items of possession. It was as if they had all come alive with their own will. What is going on? The ghost fetus scenario recorded the entire life of the ghost fetus. All his memory and curses were being handled by the red high heels. The fact that all the curses and memories had gotten out of control meant that the emotions of the red high heels were currently a little bit unstable. Chin Gu called the red high heels name softly. Perhaps she had heard Chin Ji's voice. The black fog appeared to calm down slightly, and the monsters that were covered in curses stopped rampaging. Chin Gu cut his way forward and soon saw the red high heels in person. The bandages on her body had fallen off quite a bit, and her skin, that was tattooed with the curses, was exposed. The woman possessed a breath-catching beauty about her, one that would be called a tragic beauty. At that moment, the red high heels was standing in the middle of the black fog. A small figure was blocking before her while behind the small figure were two unconscious fatties. Why is Tong Tong together with Liang Er and Liang San? Chen Gu quickly hurried over. After some asking around, he realized that Liang Er and Liang San had accidentally stumbled into the hidden area not five minutes into the start of the game and encountered the red high heels, who was experiencing the ghost fetus former memories. Initially, the red high heels was too busy to even care about them, but the two brothers walked toward the red high heels themselves and even started to critique her appearance. If their comments were positive, like saying how beautiful and captivating she was, perhaps she would have let them go peacefully. But as fate would have it, Liang Er directly called the red high heels something disgusting. The reason for the red high heels' death was still a mystery, but she appeared to be a woman who was obsessed with beauty when she was alive. Even in her bloody heart mission, there was a hint given by the black phone, Am I beautiful? One could say that Liang Er was extremely unlucky. Of the many words in the English language, he had chosen the one that would perfectly anger the red high heels. It was little wonder that he ended in the state that Chen Gu found him. The difference between a top red specter and a normal person was still too large. The red high heels did not even need to do anything, and the curses in the black fog would automatically seek out the people who had angered her and evoke the deepest and darkest terrors residing within their hearts. In other words, Liang Er and Liang San were knocked out by their innate fear. During the whole process, the red high heels had done only one thing and that was to turn her head to look at them. After knowing the whole process, even Chen Gu thought that Liang Er and Liang San truly were lucky in their own way. He gave Liang Er and Liang San a quick inspection. Thankfully, the red high heels did not intend to harm them she just wanted to teach this pair of siblings a lesson. After consoling the red high heels, Chen Gu had her continue to stay in the world of the black fog while he left the scenario through the hidden pathway with Tong Tong. Tong Tong was truly given a fright of his life earlier. The kid thought that the red high heels was going to murder the brothers, and that was why he had stood before them to stop her from doing so. To be able to open the hidden path inside the soundless home, there has to be a real impressive character among this batch of visitors. Tong Tong, did you manage to see who opened the hidden pathway? Brother Xiao Jun. Son Xiao Jun? Yes, yes. Chen Gu was as confused as he could be. He had not told Xiao Sun the location and the method to open the hidden pathways, 
but Sun Xiaojun had magically managed to open the secret pathway within five minutes of the start of the game and sent the visitors from his team into it. Is this the power of the cursed seed? After hearing the description of what Tong Tong saw, Chen Gu could take a guess at Xiao Sun's intention. He only had goodwill in his heart, but the result that he caused was probably something that Xiao Sun himself did not expect. A butterfly in the Amazon rainforest might flap its wings several times, and perhaps two weeks later, a tornado would ransack South America. Xiao Sun was the person with the powerful butterfly effect. The young man himself was a simple-minded person, but it was also this naivete that enabled him to do something incredibly scary with serious repercussion without even intending or knowing it. I appear to have underestimated the potential of the cursed seed. No wonder the black phone specifically warned me about him. After all, even the demon god Ghost Fetus eventually gave up on Xiao Sunday. Walking out from the building, looking at the black fog that slowly enveloped the whole Ghost Fetus scenario, Chin Gu did not feel as nervous as before. If anything, a new plan was hatching in his mind. The cursed seed and the cursed hospital, how come I feel like they are natural enemies of each other? Xiao Sun had indeed caused a certain degree of damage to the scenario, but Chen Gu would not blame Xiao Sun because this was his own fault. As the manager, he had to first reflect on his own mistakes. Everyone had a position that was suitable for them, it was the same for Xiao Sunday. If Xiao Sun only knew how to destroy and create ill will to both his friends and enemies, then the ghost fetus would not have left him in the world behind the door where he was hiding in. It was my mistake for underestimating Xiao Sun's potential. He deserves a much bigger stage for his talent to shine. Walking down the street, Chin Gu continued to move forward. When he arrived at the Haunted Avenue, Chin Ji's heart skipped a bit. The Haunted Avenue was the only scenario left behind from Yu Jian's world. Chin Gu also had no idea why this was the only locale that was left from such a large world. Only after some time had he realized that it probably had something to do with Zhang Ye. This avenue was the street that he and Zhang Ye had been walking on in Yu Jian's world. They walked on this street to go home, and they bade their last farewell on this street. This bus stop had recorded every lovely moment that they had shared. The visitors won't have gone to destroy the words and pictures carved on the platform, right? This sub-scenario had a special meaning for Chen Gu. He led Tong Tong and the other employees to rush into the black fog. When they passed the bus stop, they only saw a platform that was covered in stained blood and a drizzle of bloody rain. The memory with Zhang Ye has not been destroyed, but a big problem appears to have occurred to the red raincoat. Chen Gu did not dare stay for long, lest something worse happened. Chen Gu hurried to the white orphanage. He opened the hidden door directly and sighed in relief. Xiaobu was hiding inside the hidden room at the White Orphanage making blood dolls. This specter who was from Liwan City that could unleash the power of a top red specter was not angered in any way. Have you seen Sun Xiaojun? Chen Gu whispered to ask. Xiaobu stood up from the red blanket that she had placed on the floor. She put down the doll she was making and shook her head confusedly. Then that's fine. Keep on doing what you're doing. Seeing Xiaobu in this state, Chen Gu wanted to go over to ruffle her hair. Sometimes, Chen Gu would have these illusions about Xiaobu like thinking she was his own daughter or thinking Xiaobu was very cute, like Xiao Xiao. As he was about to leave, Xiaobu reached out to grab Chen Ji's sleeve. The girl showed Chen Gu the blood dolls that she was making. The faces of the two dolls kept on changing until they took on a similarity of the two visitors that came from Xi'an High. The male and female stood next to each other, and the man appeared to be talking to himself. The evil spirits have gone out of control, and blood rain continues to fall. As I expected, no living person can reform the departed, not even their son. The man's expression was chilling as he kept repeating this sentence. The man had probably said something else, but Xiaobu had only recorded this sentence. Xiaobu, where did you hear him say this? Sitting back down on the red carpet, Xiaobu changed into a more comfortable posture. She leaned down lazily in the corner, and her finger went up, pointing at the roof above them. 
The couple probably did not expect a top red specter to be able to reign in her presence so perfectly and was playing with dolls down in the hidden room at the bottom of the white orphanage. Understood. Chinga nodded and then led the other employees out. Sun Xiaojun had accidentally hit the target this time. There were indeed people with malicious intentions hidden among the visitors, but Xiao Sun had done things that these people would never have the guts to do. The visitors were gathered at the entrance to the cafeteria. Blood rain fell on their bodies. Ma Feng, who had understood the severity of the situation, had Sun Xiaojun walk at the front of the group. Earlier, we heard horrible screams again. Fu Bol and Wei Chao Chao are both top haunted house designers. What is it that they could have seen that would cause them to scream like that? Shang Guan Qing Hong had been given a lesson by Chen Gu before, and he was also the first to persuade Ma Feng to leave when they realized that they were not going to enter school of the afterlife, but instead the ghost fetus scenario. Unfortunately for him, Ma Feng was quite a stubborn person. You will have to ask him. He was the last person to be together with Wei Chao Chao and Fu Bol. Ma Feng and the other visitors turned to look at Xiao Sunday, to be honest, I really did not intend to harm anyone, but somehow, things have led to this state, Xiao Sun said with a bitter smile. I also have no idea why. Since I was young, whenever I tried my best to do something, every kind of accident will happen. When I was in primary school, my mom promised me that as long as I got a good result in my finals, she would take me to the biggest water park in Jiujiang, and I did the best that I could. But that year, an earthquake happened in eastern Jiujiang, and the water park closed. During secondary school, to help me with my studies, mother bought me a computer. But when it was almost time for the results to be released, a big fire engulfed the school, and the brand of the computer that my mother bought me later went bankrupt. I somehow managed to survive all that until I finally got to university. I have a passion for music, but of all my idols, one of them retired from the industry because he was exposed to be a junkie, the second one was forced out of the industry due to humiliation because he was exposed to be a cheating the asterisk starred, and the third one mysteriously disappeared. He still has not been found. I have understood many things. In the end, I quit university to pursue my dreams in music. I did not want to rely on anyone and kept my distance from everyone else, but in the end, I found myself moving into a sigh, never mind. I do not want to burden you with my sad story. After hearing Sun Xiaojuan's life story, some of the visitors were shocked, but there were also some who thought that he was just making up stories. The couple from Xi'an High stood at the back of the group. The female's expression was rather spaced out. She held onto the man's arm tightly like she was joined at the arm to him. The man was radiating a chilling presence. He kept looking around him and kept stealthily moving the hand that he kept inside his pocket earlier out into the open. Upon closer inspection, one could realize that there was a deep wound on his palm, and buried deep inside his wound was an eyeball. Lowering his head, the man whispered softly as if he was reporting back to someone. Rampage, bloodlust, anger that covered the sky, curses flying everywhere, a red specter, cannot be controlled fully. Your worry is unfounded. From the opening of this haunted house, who knows how many human souls have been used as sacrifices. The doctor was worried that he'd found another path for himself, but actually, this place is no different from our hospital. It is just the appearance that has changed. The child still has not grown up according to his parents' expectations. He has already become the version of himself that his younger self hated the most. Chapter 1126, Patient 101, the male visitor from Xian High kept his head lowered as he quietly moved his palm around the surroundings as if he was letting the eyeball hidden deep inside the wound of his palm observe the set pieces around him. The black fog with the curse drifted freely, and the blood rain filled with malice and hatred slid down the ceiling. Everywhere, one could see haunted faces that pleaded for mercy as they desperately tried to escape. This was a perfect scene lifted right out from the apocalypse. If it is as you guys predicted and all the specters are staying at the haunted house willingly, then why are all the lingering spirits in the black fog crying and shouting for release from this place? 
I suspect this haunted house is using the red specters to enslave the other lingering spirits and baleful specters. He's using part of the visitor's souls as bargaining chips to trade with the red specters. After the red specters consumed the fear and feelings of the visitors and they were sated, the man used these red specters to stabilize the weaker ghosts through brute force. This kind of brusque and underhanded method is even worse than ours. The eyeball in the wound on the man's palm turned several times. The eye appeared to have seen everything it wanted to, and it silently sank deep into the man's flesh. Then the wound slowly recovered on its own, leaving behind only a bloody thin scar. Why would the doctor think that people have the capability of reforming red specters? How could these monsters that feed solely on negative emotions and were formed from hatred, pain, and despair be reformed? They hate everything that is good and valuable in this world, and their favorite pastime is destroying everything that is bright and positive. Lifting his head up, there was a trace of excitement that crossed the man's eyes. Looking at the ghost fetus scenario that had sunk into chaos, his thin lips slowly curled into a malicious smile. This is what a haunted location should look like. The boy that once was has probably been drawn way too deep into the abyss of darkness. He is unable to separate himself from enjoying the sin on this side of humanity anymore. The man grabbed his girlfriend's hand. The latter was like a puppet without a soul. They stood at the back of the group, and the man used a kind of gaze that was filled with pity to look at the other visitors who were still trying their best. A ticket price of 40 RMB is honestly not that expensive, but the real cost of visiting this haunted house is not the money, but your own life. When they leave this place, perhaps something else will have possessed their bodies, and then they will die from some kind of accident. No one will even think of linking their misfortune to this visit to the haunted house, and no one will even help them report their deaths to the police. These are things that the hospital has done in the past. Ha ha ha. The dragon slayer has eventually been corrupted to become a dragon. It is only inevitable. The male visitor from Xian High appeared to have obtained the information that he needed already, so he prepared to leave. This place made him feel incredibly uncomfortable, so the plan was for him to quietly sneak away before he was exposed. The doctor should have continued my medication after I have risked so much to enter the tiger's den to provide for them such valuable information, right? At that moment, the male visitor was only thinking of himself. He had no intention of warning the other visitors of the supposed dangers inside Chin Ji's haunted house. The distance between this couple and the larger group of visitors gradually widened. When Ma Feng and the rest's attention was placed on Xiao Sun, the two of them turned and walked away directly. The black fog thickened by the second. The man's eyes swept over the flickering human faces that appeared on the wall. He seemed to have been reminded of his former self, but there was no sign of pity in his eyes. If anything, they were filled with deep seated disgust and condescension. Hurrying his foots, when the couple walked past the white orphanage and came to the haunted avenue, they slowly noticed that something was not right. The screaming human faces in the black fog had disappeared, and the surroundings were eerily quiet. It felt like something scarier than the ghosts was hiding inside the black fog, and the presence of this threat prevented the cursed human faces from daring to cry out loud for mercy. They were too scared to do so. Have I been exposed? The man yanked his girlfriend before him. He used his fingernail to scratch open the wound on his palm as if trying to communicate with that eyeball. But before he could summon and awaken that eyeball, a figure slowly appeared from the black fog. He was wearing a uniform that was tattered and covered in blood stains, and his face was covered in very light makeup. The makeup was expertly applied so that it enhanced the handsomeness of the man's facial features but as the man looked longer, he realized that it was a face of a dead man that was staring back at him. A very bad feeling arose in the man's heart. He hid one of his hands behind his back and adjusted his expression so that he looked no different from the other normal visitors. Honey, be careful. He acted like he was trying to protect his girlfriend, but in reality, he was using the woman as a human shield. 
Away from view, strands of black threads were crawling on his arms to travel into the woman's body like worms. The man in the fog finally walked to stand before them. When the face could be discerned clearly, the man's nervousness only hiked up further. To cover up his anxiety, he volunteered to speak first. It is so rare to see the boss entering the scenario himself. Your haunted house is so famous, but the number of employees is so low. The number of employees here is not low, but I would not mind someone lending me a hand. Chin Goat stood before the couple. The woman's expression was no longer as spaced out as before. As if a puppet coming back to hug, she hugged the man's arm with clear apprehension on her face. Looks like the two of you have worked out the argument. Inside the haunted house, you can experience fear that you will not have the chance to experience outside of this place. When facing the danger together, you will be able to tell for sure whether a person is truly reliable or not. Therefore, if you want to tell whether your partner really cares about you or not, bring them on a trip to the haunted house, Chinga said with a smile, revealing his white, shiny teeth. He flipped through the comic in his hand as he casually walked past the couple. The man's heart kept on racing until Chin Gu walked past him. His heart practically dropped down to his stomach, and his eyes became as wicked as before. He had no idea why he was so afraid of Chin Gu, but he did not dare to show it in person. He only dared to silently curse the man in his heart. He lifted his feet. Just as he was about to move away, his palm suddenly started to leak with blood. The eyeball that was hidden inside the wound was spinning wildly out of control as if urging him to leave as soon as possible. The man still did not notice that anything was wrong. Chin Gu, who had just brushed past him, suddenly stopped moving. He turned around and stared at the male visitor with a smile. As I mentioned earlier, when facing danger together, you will be able to tell for sure whether a person is truly reliable or not. So, have you faced any real danger today? The maddening tone, the horrifying smile, after Chin Gu finished that sentence, one baleful specter and red specter after another walked out from the black fog. Only then did the man realize that Chin Gu had kept all of the specters inside the comic. When he walked past him earlier, he had been casually dropping one specter after another along the way, and the male visitor found himself surrounded by multiple baleful specters and red specters. The man had focused all of his attention on Chen Gu, so he did not realize that he had fallen into a trap until this very last moment. This man is too vicious and cunning. The man lowered his head to look at his palm. Urgency and desperation were plain in his eyes, but to his consternation, just as he turned his focus to his palm, the eyeball in his palm imploded on its own. The blood slid down his wound. The man stood stunned for quite some time on the spot. Only moments later did he realize that he had already been abandoned. The hospital had already obtained all the information that they wanted. To prevent the man from exposing more secrets about the hospital, they actively shattered the eyeball and cut off all the possible clues that might lead back to them. The decision was surprisingly cruel and resolute, everything was probably planned before the man was sent into Chin Ji's haunted house. Now that eyeball had shattered, the man had lost all his back up. His support had been cut off. Cold sweat kept pouring out from his forehead. What do I do now? Surrounded by multiple baleful specters and red specters, he was not used to this kind of special treatment. Since the eyeball had abandoned the man, all he could do was find a way to save himself. Fighting Chin Gu head-on was a way to death, because he knew Chin Gu was being protected by a demon god, so the only chance of survival that he had was his identity as a normal visitor. Many witnesses had seen him walk into the haunted house, the image was captured by the cameras, and the other visitors of the same group all knew of his presence. If he suddenly disappeared without a trace, the other visitors would notice. All he could bet on now was that Chen Gu did not dare commit a murder directly inside his haunted house. He had transformed part of his consciousness inside the curse and hidden it deep inside his brain. This way, even if Chen Gu had another specter take over his body, he still had a chance of survival. These things were taught to him by the cursed hospital, but it was a Hail Mary solution, 
It was something that he would not use until he was sure there was no other solution. Boss Chen, what are you doing? Why did you suddenly call over so many employees to come after me and my girlfriend? Have we done something to anger you? The man pulled out the phone from his pocket and switched on the video recording function. He aimed the camera at the man and ghost around him. I will have video evidence if you dare lay a finger on us. The man was entering the haunted house as a normal visitor. He had no idea how he was exposed, but the only thing he could do now was continue to act in his role as a normal visitor. He could only hope that Chen Gu merely suspected him but did not have any actual evidence that he was a spy sent over by the cursed hospital. If it was only a suspicion, no sane person would go so far as to kill someone to protect their business secret, right? Seeing the man raise the camera to take a video of them, Chen Gu smiled even brighter. He really did not expect someone from the cursed hospital to resort to something as ridiculous as this. If I really touch you, do you plan to pretend to get injured? Chinga had Tong Tong sneak into the man's phone. After making sure that the man was not connected to the internet and live streaming, Chin Ji's expression softened slightly. I hope that this is only a misunderstanding. Please move out of my way. We do not wish to continue this tour anymore. The man's hand that was holding the camera was shaking. He was trying desperately to keep his composure, but being surrounded by so many baleful specters and red specters, he found that it was almost impossible to do so. You have purchased a ticket, but you've decided to stop the tour just like that, huh? Is it because you think my haunted house is not scary enough? Chen Gu used Ding Yang vision to scan the couple up and down. He wished to find more things related to the cursed hospital on them. The man was temporarily stumped. He thought for a long time before he said, it is because it is too scary that we do not want to continue the tour anymore. Even a ghost thinks that a haunted house is scary? I have no idea what you are talking about at all. What nonsense is that? The man's tone became desperate. He realized that the baleful specters and red specters were slowly approaching, and they had systematically surrounded him and his girlfriend. If you do not let us pass, I will. I will call the police. Sure, go ahead. I will give you the chance to call the police now. Chen Gu wanted to apply as much pressure as he possibly could to see what the cursed hospital would do. But the man had only taken out the video camera to take evidence and now threatened to call the police on him, these actions had made Chen Gu quite speechless. A ghost that was cruel and heartless that had hurt who knew how many people was now playing the victim? That was truly a joke. Cold sweat slid down the man's forehead, and his eyes were bloodshot. He gritted his teeth. In the end, his finger moved swiftly on the screen, and he called the emergency number. You really made the call? The dial tone only rang twice before it was picked up. Before the person on the other line could say anything, the man shouted, Sir, hurry to New Century Park's haunted house in western Zhejiang. I am being held against my will by the haunted house's boss. He is physically threatening his visitors inside his haunted house. This man is a veritable villain. He completely ignores the authority of the police, and he is proud about it. My name is Cha Wen. You must come and save me. Please remember that my name is Cha Wen. The man listed the crime scenes and the culprit within a few sentences. He even repeated his name multiple times, probably hoping that would put a stop to Chen Ji's dark intentions. This time, not just Chen Gu, but even the surrounding baleful specters and red specters expression had turned confused. They all stared at this man who called himself Cha Wen. I have already called the police. The police will be here in a minute. If you let me go now, we will call this even, but if you insist on continuing with this bullying, there will be hell to pay. I will have the police shut this place down. Don't you regret it then? The man waved the phone in his hand like it was some kind of protective talisman. At the same time, he did not forget to guard the girlfriend behind him. After all, he was playing the role of a loving boyfriend, he had to make the acting convincing. Are you sure you have dialed the correct number? Chen Ji's chilling voice drifted into the man's ears. 
how could I get just three digits wrong? The man was about to argue back when he realized that something was wrong. There was no reply at all from the other side of the line. Hello? 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 Several seconds later, a child's young voice came from the phone. I am sorry, the number that you are calling is currently unavailable. Please try again later. Sorry. Hearing the child's voice, an epiphany instantly struck the man. He quickly dropped the phone from his hand. The phone landed with a thud on the ground. The boy's voice was still coming out from it. Looks like you are nothing more than a chess piece who has already been sacrificed. You are not that valuable to the hospital. Chingu waved his hand and had the red specters around him move together to apprehend both Cha Wen and his girlfriend. He then sent Zhang Yi right into their bodies. With Zhang Yi's help, many things that would require much persuasion and energy to complete could be done with a much easier method. Several minutes later, Zhang Yi crawled out from the man's head. He had brought some very important information for Chen Gu. This man and woman were truly a couple from Xi'an Hai. The man's name was Cha Wen, and the woman's name was Hua Mimi. They were common citizens. There was nothing wrong about them, but due to some unknown reason, Cha Wen was possessed by Patient 101 from the cursed hospital. Patient 101 was being told to do these things by his attending doctor. Zhang Yi looked through the memory of Patient 101, and he realized that this patient had a very deep understanding of the cursed hospital. He had stayed at that hospital for almost 20 years. To protect himself from being sacrificed or eaten by others, one could say that the man had no bottom line. The patient knew many hidden secrets at the hospital, and he was smart enough to use that knowledge as protection for himself. Many other patients and doctors were related to him. Patient 101 was a veritable treasure trove for Chin Gu, but unfortunately, someone had already tempered with patient 101's memory. When the eyeball in his palm exploded, the memory of patient 101 had started to disperse at a rapid pace. The man himself probably did not realize it. Before the cursed hospital sent patient 101 over to Chin Ji's haunted house, they had already prepared to abandon him. That was why they had set up so many things. Even though he only got pieces of the patient's memory, it was already quite valuable for Chen Gu. The hospital was far scarier than he expected. Patient 101 had stayed at the hospital for two decades already, so the hospital itself might have existed much longer than that. No one knew when the hospital was first built, and no one knew what it began as. Too much time had passed since then. Patient 101 only remembered, at the time, the hospital director wanted to build a place without pain and despair. He treated the doctors and the patients as family, but one day, the hospital director changed. He tore off the faces of his own children and gave them the name Non-Smilers. He then proceeded to trap his other family members behind the door and made all those who had comments about his ideology into medicine. Chapter 1127 The birth of an actor before the memory of patient 101 was wiped away, Zhang Yi still managed to scour some things. For example, the workers at the cursed hospital could be delineated as day shift doctors and night shift doctors. The day shift doctors were people who were not normal while the night shift doctors were ghosts that treated the patients. The cursed hospital had a lot of day shift doctors but only 10 night shift doctors. This number had not changed in a very long time until a few days ago. The most experienced night shift doctor had disappeared in Jiujiang. According to rumors, that specific doctor had accompanied the hospital director when he came to Jiujiang 20 years ago. He was one of the hospital director's most trusted confidants. To investigate the reason behind that doctor's disappearance, the cursed hospital had stopped at nothing. They had infiltrated Jiujiang through many different methods. Most of the people from the cursed hospital who had been spotted in Jiujiang were there to search for the missing night shift doctor, but there was also a very small portion of patients who had unique powers who were given other missions, like this patient 101. His unique power was his ability to keep his presence hidden. 
even a red specter would not be able to tell that he had taken possession of a normal person. Other than that, he could tell whether a person was lying or not based on that person's presence, and through the same presence, he could triangulate the target's location. In other words, he was a walking lie detector and GPS tracker. Due to his unique power, he was given this heavy task by his attending doctor. The doctor had him disguise as a visitor to come visit Chin Ji's haunted house and infiltrate the deepest part of the haunted house to see the real situation in Chin Ji's haunted house. Actually, the cursed hospital was already as careful as they could be. This could be seen from the steps that they had taken just in case things went wrong. The moment the eyeball exploded, all of patient 101's memories had started to silently disappear. If not for the fact that Chen Gu possessed Zhang Yi, this half-red specter who could read and delete people's memories, he probably would not have gotten any information related to the cursed hospital. Overall, it is not a complete loss. Even though patient 101 has collected some information for the hospital, he has also exposed the information about the cursed hospital to me. It is an even trade. Chen Gu was about to have his employee yank patient 101 out of Cha Wen's body when Zhang Yi revealed yet another important nugget of information to Chen Gu. The patient's garb and the items that he carried with him when he left the cursed hospital were hidden at Cha Wen's rented apartment in Zhejiang. He had a feeling those things would perhaps be helpful to Chen Gu. At the moment, Chen Gu could not draw himself away from the haunted house. He was worried that the cursed hospital might send other people after him, so he had to stay guard at the haunted house. Otherwise, if the red specters really got into a battle with those people, things would only get worse. At the end of the day, he was running a business. He was not going to risk his visitors' lives. He could not leave the haunted house, but it did not mean that he could waste any time in going to get those items. That was because the cursed hospital might react right after patient 101 was exposed, and they would send their own people to retrieve those items. After some brief contemplation, Chen Gu had Zhang Yi give the address of the apartment to Bai Chiu Lin, and then Chen Gu had the latter go to the apartment immediately to grab the items left behind by patient 101. Initially, Chen Gu wanted to send Men Nan on this mission, but he failed to find the boy in the scenario. Therefore, due to the time constraint, he had to leave the mission to Old Bai. With the items from patient 101 and parts of the memories that Zhang Yev managed to coax out from patient 101, perhaps I could try to remake a new patient 101. Chen Ji's eyes were shining. The cursed hospital prioritized the deletion of the memories that were related to the cursed hospital first while the everyday habits and little details of patient 101's life were wiped out at the end. By then, Chinga had already had a full understanding of patient 101's personality. All the patients at the cursed hospital were only given a number and no name. In other words, this patient 101 could be called Zhang San or even Li Si. Hell, he can even be called Sun Xiao Jun. It would be very hard for Sun Xiao Jun to take over the role of patient 101 perfectly. First, he had to have superb acting skills and extremely powerful mental acuity. Furthermore, there would not be a script to follow, so he would need to have the ability to react to the changes around him as well. These were skills that Sun Xiao Jun did not possess, but coincidentally enough, these were the skills that Chen Gu and the other haunted house actors specialized in. Looks like I will need to give Sun Xiao Jun some intense training and try my best to turn this coal into diamond as fast as I can. Chen Ge had great expectations of Sun Xiao Jun. After all, Sun Xiao Jun was someone who was given approval by both the black phone and the ghost fetus. Chen Ge himself had also experienced how uniquely talented Sun Xiao Jun was. As long as he was placed at the right place, Sun Xiao Jun could unleash an effect even larger than a red specter. The memory of the original patient 101 was fading. Chen Gu did not plan to kill him. He temporarily removed him from Chao Wen's body and then trapped him for now. The rest of you should take Chao Wen and his girlfriend to the red high heels. Tell her to remove the curses that are still inside their bodies. Seeing Cha Wen and his girlfriend as they were carried away, Chen Ge also sighed with lamentation. 
with just a small payment of 40 RMB, you will be able to be granted the service of a top red spectre to have the curse taken out of your body. If that is not a steal, I do not know what is. After Cha Wen and his girlfriend left, Chin Gu immediately resumed his project of finding Sun Xiao Jun. Ol Zhou, Duan Yu, and the other experienced employees followed closely behind him. The professional team had now officially taken over the game. Did you guys hear any voices? Xiao Sun, who was surrounded in the group of visitors, suddenly turned back to look. There appeared to be a cry for help that came from the darkest part of the black fog. Stop trying to distract us. A moment after Ma Feng warned him, Shang Wan Ching Hong pulled lightly on his shirt. CEO Ma, I do not think he was lying. I heard someone cry for help as well. It appeared to come from behind us. After Shang Wan Ching Hong said that, the group of visitors realized that something had happened. They turned back to look and realized that two more people had disappeared from their entourage. When did the couple disappear? Now, Ma Feng was really panicking. Minus, the three people from Jiujiang Medical University, their group of twelve only had four people left. When the others disappeared and how they disappeared, the survivors had no idea at all. We have been keeping our eyes on Sun Xiao Jun so much that we forgot to check behind us. Is it possible that the haunted house employees used that opportunity to come after the two of them? Shang Guan Ching Hong tried to analyze their situation. Ever since he entered this place, he had gotten a very bad feeling about this place. As his teammates started to be plucked off one after another, that bad feeling was slowly turning into reality. The method of disappearance of the couple is different from how Fu Bol and Wei Chao Chao disappeared, Sister Snake said with a darkened face. The people that disappeared earlier, be it Liang Er and Liang San or Fu Bol and Wei Chao Chao, they disappeared after they had left our line of sight, but that couple appears to have disappeared into thin air while they should have been steps away from us. It is incredibly difficult to make two living adults disappear without a trace at such a close distance to the other visitors, unless of course they chose to voluntarily leave on their own. What do you mean by that? I suspect the couple from Xian High are actually actors hired by the haunted house. Sister Snake tried to rake her memory and said, Do you still remember this detail that was mentioned in the files of information regarding this haunted house? There was a couple that died horribly inside this place, and their souls are still wandering around the various scenarios inside the haunted house and have been refusing to leave. But according to my memory, the surname of the male victim is Zhou and he is slightly older. When we entered the scenario, I purposely sneaked a look at the disclaimer forms of that couple from Xian High. Neither of them have the surname Zhou. The disclaimer forms are meant for the visitors. It could be tempered with by the actors. As an actor at this place, they could fill in any information that they want. Who can tell if they have used a fake name or not? Sister Snake managed to keep a cool head. This went to show how mentally stable this woman was. Then what about Sun Xiao Jun? What should we do about him? Now that there are only four of us left, of course it is best that we do not stray from each other. Sister Snake stared at Sun Xiao Jun for a very long time. Her scrutiny caused Sun Xiao Jun to wilt under it. What we need to do next is find the people from Jiujiang Medical University and try to meet up with them as soon as possible. But didn't Fu Bol say that they are quite possibly actors hired by the haunted house? After they departed, people have continued to go missing in our group, so the people from the university probably have nothing to do with their disappearance. Furthermore, think back to the words that the forensic students and doctor have been trying to tell us from the very beginning. Their intention was to unite the group, but they were sorely misunderstood by Fu Bol and Wei Chao Chao. Sister Snake finally got it now, but it was already too late. If we still wish to clear this scenario, we can only make this bet. If the forensic students are actual visitors, then we still have a chance of clearing this scenario. But if they are also actors hired by the haunted house, there is nothing else we can do but the surrender to our fate. When the nine people entered Chen Ji's haunted house earlier, their pride had practically been palpable, but twenty minutes later, 
the most prideful among them had already been taken care of. We have not stumbled across any scare points, but the visitors have disappeared one after another. Are we messing around in a haunted house, or is the haunted house messing with us? Ma Feng's brows were tightly knitted together. Ever since the black fog rolled into the street, his brows had not relaxed even an inch. A four-star scenario is literally the most difficult scenario at this haunted house, being messed with by it is totally normal. Sister Snake appeared to have accepted their hapless situation. Since we are already in this unfortunate state, there is no point complaining. It is meaningless. Earlier, when I was thinking back to what the forensic students said at the beginning of the game, I realized something very important. What did you discover? Is it related to the exit? Shang Guan Qing Hong immediately sidled over to her. The student called He San compared this black fog to poisonous fog in games, and staying in the black fog for too long will cause bad things to happen. Now think about it. The first team to disappear, Liang Er and Liang San's group, was the first to encounter the black fog. The couple that was originally behind us and the disappearance of Fu Bol and Wei Chao Chao probably had to do with the fact that they stayed in the black fog for too long as well. Sister Snake was coming up with her analysis with the little clues that they had. The black fog represents literal misfortune. If we do not wish to end up in the same fate as them, we'd better stay away from the black fog. Then, let's not waste time and hurry on to the next scenario, Shang Guan Qing Hong urged desperately. The black fog is continuing to spread. In the end, the whole scenario will be covered by the fog. There is no escape. Now, the only way that we know to proceed in this scenario is to search for the hidden pathways. Liang Er, Liang San, and the woman disappeared in the first building, so they must have found the hidden pathway, but the pathway could only be used one time. Therefore, we need to find a new pathway. Sister Snake sighed. The black fog is just the first challenge. Perhaps the real game will only begin after we enter the hidden pathway. The difficulty of this haunted house is indeed over the top. It is definitely not for normal visitors. Stop grumbling. We should start departing to go look for the hidden pathways and the medical university students now. Ma Feng glanced at Sun Xiaojun, who was standing to the side with a blank expression on his face. You should come with us as well. Oh, okay. The remaining four visitors hurried to leave the cafeteria because this place was slowly being enveloped by the black fog as well. Thus, they decided to skip exploring the cafeteria and hurried down the street. One had to admit that due to various reasons, these few visitors had made the best decision. Not long after they departed, the cafeteria entrance slammed open with Wei Chao Chao and Fu Bol being tossed out and landing on the ground unconscious. Behind them trailed a woman in a red raincoat, a boy in a red shirt, and a fatty wearing a red school uniform and a chef's hat walking out from the cafeteria. The three people were harboring a pot of fire in their hearts as they rushed toward the surviving visitors. After about half a minute, Chen Gu and the other experienced employees arrived at the scene. They sent a few people to carry Wei Chao Chao and Fu Bol to the underground morgue while the others chased after the three enraged red specters. The black fog was spreading at an incredibly fast rate. To prevent themselves from being consumed by the black fog, the visitors had decided to skip a few scenarios that they encountered along the way and came to the end of the voiceless small town. At the end of the dim street, to the left was a maternal and childcare center that was half buried underground while an apartment building that was painted fully back was on the right. These two subscenarios were respectively the scariest building in the world behind Wuxing's door and the scariest building behind Ying Tong's door. In comparison to these two buildings, the soundless home could only be considered a beginner's tutorial. Which one should we choose? Quick. We need to come up with a decision before the black fog rolls over. Ma Feng turned to look at Shang, Guan Qing, Hong, and Sister Snake. The two could not come to a decision either. Normally hospitals are places with the most intense in energy. We'd better pick the apartment building on the right. The three of them soon reached a consensus, 
and they had Sun Xiao Jun lead the way. Do you guys want to reconsider this? We still have something. Xiao Sun knew the place that they were heading toward was actually the subscenario called the Spire of Darkness. This subscenario was very unique. Just like how the soundless home could absorb sound, the Spire of Darkness could absorb light. Once they entered it, they would slowly lose their power of sight, and they would experience despair in the deepest depths of darkness. Even Chen Gu had almost died in this scenario, much less these hapless visitors. It was because he knew this sub-scenario was more dangerous that the kind and careful boss Chen had purposely filled the spire of darkness with an exorbitant number of lingering spirits and baleful specters to protect the safety of the visitors. Most of the baleful specters and lingering spirits that he had obtained during his ghost fetus mission were placed in the spire of darkness. That way, even after the visitors lost their sight and could not see anything, they would not trip and fall, accidentally injuring themselves. When they sank into darkness, every visitor would have several lingering spirits following closely behind them. This was your choice. It has nothing to do with me at all, Sun Xiao Jun grumbled under his breath and was the first to enter the spire of darkness subscenario. The dark corridor appeared to have no ending. A strange moldy substance came off from the corners of the walls, and occasionally, one could even hear the calls of cats. The voice-activated lights above them flickered on and off, and the entrance behind them blurred out of view. Did you guys notice that the light inside this building is slowly weakening? Sister Snake looked at the light that came out from her own telephone screen, and she noticed something weird about it. Perhaps it is your mind playing tricks on you. Stop wasting time on that. We need to hurry to find the hidden pathways. Ma Feng and Shang Guan Ching Hong opened all the doors that they passed. They put their entire focus into the search for the hidden pathways, such that they did not notice that the calls of the cat beside their ears were getting louder and louder as if warning them that something extremely dangerous was approaching them. The iron door that led to the staircase was locked, without anyone noticing. The voice-controlled lights in the corridor flickered a few times before they suddenly went off completely. Chapter 1128 Little Game in the Dark The voice-activated lights went out, and the whole building was plunged into darkness. When Ma Feng walked out from the room with his own phone, he was given quite a fright. He stomped his feet and cried out, but the voice-activated lights above them in the corridor did not light up again. Raising his phone, he aimed the flashlight on his phone at the locations where the lights should be, and he noticed the light that came out from the screen of his phone was slowly turning dark. What is going on here? A figure was approaching him in the dark. Ma Feng lowered his voice and turned back to ask, Sister Snake? No, it is me, Sun Xiao Jun. The familiar voice rang out beside him, but the appearance of his teammate did not give Ma Feng any sense of safety or consolation. If anything, it only made him even more agitated. Did you notice that the light from your phone is gradually getting dimmer and dimmer as well? Ma Feng reached out one hand to lean against the wall. The darkness amplified the anxiety that he was trying desperately to hide. So that has been happening to your phone as well. The screen is getting dimmer and dimmer too. Looks like there is something wrong with our sight. That spooked me for a second. I thought something has gone wrong with my phone and I would have to go and buy a new one. After hearing what Sun Xiao Jun had to say, Ma Feng's brows creased even deeper. Among this group of visitors, none appeared normal. Using his own memory, he held his phone and swiped the light around him to look for the figures of Shang Guan Ching Hong and Sister Snake. With every turn of the phone, the light from the screen dimmed a degree further. Brother Ma, Shang Guan Ching Hong, I think we'd better leave this scenario as fast as we can. Sister Snake walked out from the room next to him. I really did not dare imagine that someone would make a completely dark scenario inside a haunted house. This has already gone far over the limits for a normal haunted house visitation. It is more like a test for the visitor's threshold of mental and psychological stress. We have all underestimated the haunted house boss insanity. Sister Snake warned them as she walked back along the way that they came in. She did not wish to stay in that subscenario for even a moment longer. 
But if we abandon our original plan of finding a hidden pathway in this subscenario, it means we will have to go to the maternal and childcare center next door. As mentioned earlier, the hospital is the place with the strongest in energy because it is the location where most people die. After all, the haunted house boss must have his reasons for placing these two scenarios at the end of the street. It probably means that the terror levels of these two sub-scenarios are roughly equal to each other. Shang Guanqing Hong also exited from the room behind Ma Feng. He appeared to be looking for something earlier. Furthermore, we have already spent some time inside this scenario. When we reach the other scenario, perhaps the black fog will have already arrived at these two places, and the level of difficulty will only increase further. Horror that you can see, and horror th. At you cannot see cannot be compared at all. You guys had better listen to me. Sister Snake showed the side of her that made her the boss of the second most popular haunted house in the country. No matter what Shang Guan Qing Hong said, she had made up her mind that she was going to leave this place. Even though Shang Guan Qing Hong held a different opinion to Sister Snake, at a time like this, he was more willing to lean toward Sister Snake's experience and instinct. After all, she was more experienced than he was. The three led Sun Xiao Jun and retraced their steps. The lights from the screens of their phones had slowly weakened to a point where it could only light up about one to two meters ahead of them. After taking a few steps, it was as if the battery of their three phones ran out at the same time, and the light died without warning. Darkness fell completely, there was not even a trace of light. The bodies of the three visitors appeared to be frozen, and they stood fixed where they were. Do not panic. The four of us should hold each other's hands. The exit is not far away from here. I know that for sure. We need to leave this place as soon as possible. At that crucial moment, Sister Snake became the linchpin of the group. Actually, since she entered Chin Ji's haunted house, she had not said much. That was because she had been closely observing Chin Ji's haunted house, and the more she observed, the harder her heart palpitated. Be it the method of the tour or the placement of the scare points, Chin Ji's haunted house was immensely unique from the other haunted houses on the market. In other words, he was walking a path that other people could not replicate even if they tried. Sister Snake also understood why Chin Ji's haunted house had gotten so popular online, but the epiphany had arrived a little bit too late. Do not wander about and do not scare yourself. Everyone, reach out and hold on to each other. The human psyche will become weakened and more helpless when surrounded by darkness. The four of us must not be separated from each other. Sister Snake was very assertive, and she gave her orders directly. I hope everyone can understand that we are only visiting a haunted house, no danger will occur to us. That is guaranteed. So, what we need to do now is not scare ourselves. Even though Ma Feng was not used to getting orders from others, in those circumstances, he still obediently did what he was told. He reached out as Sister Snake had ordered and grabbed the wrist of the person next to him. We have to get used to the darkness. Because our sense of sight has been deprived, the other senses will be heightened in its place. The haunted house's boss might use other methods that are not common on the market to scare us, like the use of voices or touch. Sister Snake had already grabbed the hands of the people next to her. Who is on my left? It is me. Shang Guanqing Hong's hand was slick with cold sweat. He was rather embarrassed by it, but Sister Snake was not someone who would mind something like that. So, who is on my right? That would be me, Sun Xiaojun answered softly. The four confirmed their locations like that. They stood in a single file. Sun Xiao Jun was at the far right of the line, and Ma Feng was on the far left. We should stay closer together and walk out of this place in this formation. When we arrived at this place, I purposely looked around the place. The boss probably worried that the visitors might trip and accidentally injure themselves, so the corridors are relatively clean. At least that is something that we do not need to worry about. We only need to firm up our courage and walk forward toward the exit. 
The few visitors listened to Sister Snake's orders and started to head toward the exit, but they only walked for a few steps when something scary happened. Did you guys hear that shrill calling of what sounds like a cat? The sound appears to have been there since we entered this place, but now it appears to be getting closer and closer to us. The moment Shang Guan Ching Hong said that, he suddenly felt something brush against his feet. The brush of silken hair caused goosebumps to appear all over his body. His body instantly froze to the ground. Someone just touched my leg. The four of them were holding each other's hands, so if one of them stopped, the rest of them had to stop as well. Are you sure it was a person? Perhaps you accidentally kicked something. It felt like human hair. It was real. I swear to you. Surrounded by darkness, Shang Guan Ching Hong did not know what had brushed against him at all. Based on the feeling that came from his leg, many scary images instantly started to fill up his mind. Do not stop moving. We need to keep on pushing forward. The exit is not far now. Sister Snake yanked Shang Guan Ching Hong along by his arm. It was just a brush of your leg, so why are you so scared? And stop the senseless screaming. Compared to Sister Snake, Shang Guan Ching Hong was like a newly married daughter in law who was being lectured by her new mother in law. Even though he felt so wronged, he was not going to pick this moment to argue with Sister Snake, because, deep down, he knew that Sister Snake was right. The sound of the cat's calling was getting louder and louder in their ears. Beneath the cat's calls, there were other sounds mixed in, like the sound of the doors creaking open and the sound of someone's nails trailing past the metallic stair banisters. I feel like this cat's call is urging us to run. Perhaps we are currently surrounded by several cats at this moment. Sun Xiao Jun had started his habit of running headfirst into an analysis at the wrong moment. This is the first time I have heard of a haunted house employ cats as actors. Sister Snake shook her head. She could not see anything in the dark. The meowing of the cats was probably recorded before the scenario was released to the public. There are at least 10 surround sound speakers installed in this scenario, and the reason for their placement is to play the seemingly approaching shrieks of the cats to apply pressure to the visitors, creating the illusion that something dangerous is slowly approaching the visitors. The thing that brushed up against Shang Guan Ching Hong earlier was probably fake cat fur. The intention behind the boss design is to increase the sense of authenticity. After losing the sense of sight, the world will appear less real, and we visitors can be more easily misled, so at this moment, we need to be as calm as possible. Even though the four of them kept telling themselves to calm down, in reality, they had been making very slow progress. In comparison, one could realize how courageous and uneasy it was for Chin Gu when the man challenged the real door himself. How come we have not reached the exit yet? I remember the exit is not that far away from where we were. Shang Guan Ching Hong's legs were shaking. At his age, he could not suffer too many surprises anymore. Currently, his forehead was covered in cold sweat, and he was close to his breaking point. In the darkness, we will slowly lose our sense of distance, time, and direction. All we can do now is firm our resolve and make sure that it is not shaken as we continue our way forward. That is the only thing that we need to do. Sister Snake kept encouraging the others, but in reality, she was also repeating these same encouragements to herself. The refusal for the exit to appear slowly wore down the visitor's hope. Despair began to corrupt the visitor's hearts. The visitors became more and more fragile, and right at that moment, the extremely shrill wail of a cat rang out between the shoulders of Shang Guan Ching Hong and Sister Snake. It was like the cat had used the last moment of its life to scream as loud as it could to warn the rest of them before it was dragged away and slaughtered in the worst way possible. The sudden scream caused Shang Guan Ching Hong, who was already on the verge of a mental breakdown, to jump up from fear. He screamed along with the cat's wail, and then his body instinct kicked in, and he let go of his teammates' hands so that he could use his hands to cover his own ears. Do not let go of your partner's hands. Sister Snake was given quite a scare as well, but she swiftly collected herself. Then she turned to yell at Shang Guan Ching Hong. It felt like the cat died on my shoulder. 
Zhang Guanqing Hong took a deep breath. He waved both of his arms around before he found the arms of the people next to him in the darkness. Stop with the unnecessary commentary. Quick, grab our hands and stay in the arrangement of the group. We need to keep moving forward. Sister Snake's voice was laced by anger, but her fury was more of a way to hide the fear in her heart. But I've already grabbed onto your hand. Once Shang Wan Qing Hong said that, everyone was startled, and then an indescribable horror started to envelope every single one of them. You, have already grabbed onto my hand? Sister Snake raised her hand right before her eyes. Then she suddenly whipped her body around, but she could not see anything. Be careful. There is a haunted house worker standing next to us. At that moment, the person who was caught in the most difficult position was Shang Guanqing Hong. He was caught between a rock and a hard place. He did not know whether it was correct to let go of the hand or not, and the question that was on his mind, the million-dollar question, was, whose hand he was holding? With his Adam's apple trembling, Shang Guanqing Hong asked softly, What? What should I do now? The air around them seemed to freeze. None of the four visitors dared to speak. In the end, it was Sister Snake who was the first to recover. We keep moving forward. Now, only by moving forward did they have a hope of leaving this place. Once they had lost their direction, it would really be all over. You mean you wish for me to hold on to this arm whose owner we do not know and continue to walk like this to the exit? Shang, Guanqing, Hong's heart was about to jump out from his chest. He could the chills coming from the palm that he was holding. It was not the arm of a living human, it felt more like a frozen piece of meat sold at the supermarket that happened to have the shape of a human arm. That is the only thing we can do now. Just have some patience. You can do it. Ma Fong also opened his mouth to console the man. He had his hand on the wall and slowly nudged his feet forward. The darkness made us lose our sight, but even if we cannot see anything, the location of the exit will not change, so as long as we ensure that we do not get disrupted by external disturbances, we will eventually get out of this place. Once Ma Fong said that, the fingertips that he had been using to trace the wall felt a sudden chill. It felt like he had touched a piece of ice that was embedded into the wall. Hmm? His bent his fingers and traced the part that was protruding out of the wall. This arc and this sense of touch, it feels like a nose and a mouth. There was a frozen face on the wall. His fingers bounced back like they were shocked by electricity. Ma Fong subconsciously darted away from the wall and sidestepped the unknown horror, but the corridor was only so wide. This meant that he immediately bumped into Shang Guan Qing Hong. At that moment, Shang Guan Qing Hong was like a string pulled taut. He was holding onto a ghost's hand inside a completely dark haunted house. His current fear level needed no description. He trained all his focus on that hand. The slightest movement would cause the man to crumble, much less being suddenly bumped into by Ma Fong. These two men whose combined age added up to more than 80 screamed at the top of their lungs. The sound of tumbling echoed in the darkness. It did not sound like four people were walking in a line, it sounded more like four blind people were surrounded by a group of people. Among the pushing and jostling, Sister Snake was knocked to the ground. Her heart tightened with apprehension and fear. Sitting on the ground, her hands gripped her clothes tightly as she tried desperately to confirm their location and the direction that they were supposed to be heading in. She did not mind the argument, she did not even care about the fact that a ghost was among them. As long as they knew the correct direction to the exit, they would eventually leave this place. But after the series of knocking around, Sister Snake's only hope was vanquished. Sitting on the ground, she felt like the exit could be on her left, but a moment later, she felt like the exit was actually on her right. It really is all over now. Ma Feng and Shang Guan Qing Hong were also panicking. They were screaming Sister Snake's name loudly, and they reached out to search about them in the dark. Sister Snake, is that you? Shang Guan Qing Hong had long released the hand he was holding. He did not dare move too brashly lest he bumped into the possible haunted house workers who might be standing next to him. 
Hearing Shang Wan Ching Hong's question, Sister Snake could not even bring herself to answer. All she wanted to do now was curl up in the corner and slowly melt into the darkness alone. There is no light around us at all. We cannot see anything. Theoretically speaking, the haunted house workers should not be able to see anything either. Is it possible that they have night vision goggles on? At the end of the day, Ma Feng had experienced many big events in his life. Even though he was caught by surprise, he tried his best to use his knowledge to try to find a solution. If we can grab the googles from the haunted house actors, this scenario will be a breeze for us to solve. Brother Ma, is it really moral to swipe other people's equipment during a haunted house tour? Sun Xiaojuan's flat voice drifted from not far ahead of him. Of course. When the boss of this haunted house came to our theme park, who knows how many things he stole from us. Speaking of the past, Ma Feng gritted his teeth in anger, and that diminished quite a lot of the fear that surrounded his heart. The four of us mustn't separate from each other. Come over here and hold my hand. Ma Feng reached out toward Shang Wan Ching Hong and Sister Snake. Moments later, two chilly hands grabbed Ma Feng's wrists. Before he could react, there was another cat's scream. All the doors in the building were slammed open. Ma Feng felt a powerful force pulling on both of his arms, and before he could resist, he was forcibly dragged behind one of the open doors. Arg! Brother Ma? Brother Ma! Shang Guan Ching Hong immediately shouted in the direction that Ma Feng's scream came from. He turned to search at the position where Ma Feng was standing earlier. His fingertip touched some soft skin and something that was sticky like blood. Brother Ma? His hands reached out horizontally, and Shang Guan Ching Hong realized with a shock that a monster that was impossibly large was standing before him. He did not dare speak anymore. His fingers were shaking. He silently moved one of his hands to under his nose, and he got a whiff of a strong blood smell. Who, is this? Chapter 1129 Face-to-Face -face Encounter His legs could not stop shaking. Shang Wan Ching Hong knew that the person covered in blood before him was definitely not Ma Feng. It was a monster, a monster whose body was much larger than a common person's. As the smell of blood intensified, his body instinctually started to retreat. When the level of mental pressure that he could suffer reached its limit, he screamed at the top of his lungs for Sister Snake to run before he turned around and raced away as fast as he could. At the same time, someone pulled on Sister Snake's arm. Since Shang Guan Ching Hong had just screamed her name, she made the natural connection that it should be Shang Guan Ching Hong who had dragged her to escape together in the darkness. In the darkness, she could not see anything, Sister Snake could only hear the continuous sound of heavy breathing and loud footsteps coming from Shang Guan Ching Hong. She did not have the time to think over the whole situation before she was dragged up from the ground and was half pulled and half shoved, stumbling through the corridor in an unknown direction into the darkness. Hey! Do not just run in any direction. We need to calm down and confirm our location first. Sister Snake also wanted to remind Shang Guan Ching Hong that they still had other teammates that were left behind, but Shang Guan Ching Hong was already scared out of his wits. When a person lost the protection of light, their heart would become extremely fragile, and the sting of fear would be greatly amplified. Shang Guan Ching Hong half crawled and half rolled down the corridor. Curiously, whenever he was about to ram into the wall or trip on something, a pair of hands appeared to block before him to prevent him from getting injured. Normally, one would easily come to the conclusion that there was someone trying to protect him in the dark, but the current Shang Guan Ching Hong did not have the capacity to think anymore. He stumbled into the darkness, and suddenly, a pair of hands materialized out of thin air to try to stop him. The man who did not know the truth only got even more frightened. All he did was change direction and continued to run even faster. Shang Guan Ching Hong did not dare to even stop for a moment. It was as if he had told himself, as long as he could run fast enough, the ghosts would not be able to catch up to him. After being blocked, or rather protected, more than ten times, Shang Guan Ching Hong finally felt his hands grab the banister of the staircase, 
and he stopped moving. There is a staircase in such a dark place? Shang Guanqing Hong did not dare imagine what would have happened if he accidentally tripped on the steps in the darkness. His heart was in total panic mode. His trembling fingertips holding the banister, Shang Guanqing Hong did an action that no one would have imagined the man could have done. He sat down on the ground, reached out with both of his hands, used one hand to grab hold of the edges of the steps, and slid down the steps one by one. The boss of the largest haunted house in Xi'an Hai, Shang Guanqing Hong, who had seen so many big and small incidents in his life, had resorted to this kind of method to move down the stairs. At that moment, even the hands that had been helping him, protecting him, had stopped appearing. When Sister Snake heard the strange noise, which was Shang Guanqing Hong using his butt to shuffle down the steps, she raised her voice to ask, Shang Guanqing Hong, what are you doing? I am going down the stairs. In such a dark environment, going deeper into the building was definitely not a wise choice. Sister Snake was very against this idea, but she had no better one to counter it. Therefore, she grabbed the banister, half squatted down, and started to nudge downward. During the whole process, someone was kind enough to keep a hold of her arm. Her teammate had been protecting her to stop her from falling. Sister Snake was very slow moving down the stairs. She could not be blamed because she needed to be extra careful due to the sudden loss of her sense of sight, but throughout the whole process, the hand was firmly holding her. Thank you so much, Ching Hong. I had no idea you were such a caring person. Sister Snake was slightly younger than Shang Guan Ching Hong. At the beginning, she had a very low opinion of this boss of the haunted house from Xi'an Hai. But who knew, at the most dangerous moment, Shang Guan Ching Hong would not abandon her and run away on his own but stay at her side to protect her and guide her by every single step. That honestly had touched her heart and changed her opinion of the man. What are you talking about? Why would you suddenly say something like that? Moments later, Shang Guan Ching Hong's voice came up from the lower floor. Shang Guan Ching Hong was moving faster than Sister Snake. Using his own unique method, he had already shuffled his way down to the next floor. Hearing the direction from where Shang Guan Ching Hong's voice came from, Sister Snake's face turned pale almost instantly. She knew then that the hand that had been holding her did not belong to Shang Guan Ching Hong. The shaking arm grabbed hold of the hand that had been holding her. The hand was cold, and the chill traveled up Sister Snake's arm and froze her heart but her hand continued to move downward. She appeared to have touched some kind of fabric. She believed it was the edge of a skirt. The skirt was sticky with what felt like blood, and among the various sensations was something akin to animal fur. Before Sister Snake's hand moved away from the dress, she felt something tingly next to her ear. It was as if someone's hair had brushed past her ears. With a shiver, Sister Snake was about to reach out to touch her own ear when a cold breath blew past her earlobe. When I first lost my sight, my best girlfriend also accompanied me down the stairs like this. Once upon a time, I really thought she was my best friend in this world. The bitter and eerie voice drilled into Sister Snake's ears, causing her scalp to go numb and her whole body to freeze. My best friend cooked for me and took care of me. We were the best of friends who shared everything in the world. There was no topic that was off the table. I even wanted to opt out of my relationship to give her a chance with Amin. I thought she was the most caring and most beautiful girl in the world. I regretted accepting Amin's confession when we were at school. I liked Amin, but I knew that she loved Amin. She deserved him more than I did. The woman's voice echoed in Sister Snake's ear sentence by sentence. The voice got closer and closer to her until it felt like someone was leaning on her back and was talking to her with her lips directly placed next to her ear. Aming eventually left me because I believed he had found another girlfriend. All I had left was my best friend. She was very nice to me. Even though she had moved on from Aming and found a new boyfriend, she was still willing to come over every day to take care of me. I felt so sorry toward her but she did not mind all the bad things that I had ever done to her. She even said that she was willing to be my eyes. 
our relationship became better than before. I shared every feeling that I had with her, and we even recorded everything that we did inside the diary. We had taken all kinds of pictures. Every time, my best friend would help dress me up, putting me in the most beautiful dress and helping me with the latest makeup trend. She said that I was still the most beautiful girl in the school, just like when we were still studying together. I was so thankful to have met such a good friend, until that day. The woman's voice was pierced through with spine-chilling coldness. That day, she came home very late. She appeared to have taken one too many shots. She used the spare key that I'd given her to open the lock to my room and said that she wanted to take me for a walk. I could smell the alcohol coming off from her, so I advised her to please take a rest. It was not wise to go wandering out in her current state. But she cut me off very rudely. She forced me out of the room, dragging me along with a powerful force. I resisted subconsciously, but who could have known that it would only anger her further? She reached out to grab my hair and pressed down against my body. She told me that she had lost her love that day and warned me not to go against her wishes. That scary tone was completely different from the best friend that I knew. It was like I was dealing with a completely different person. After leaving my house, she forced me to go up the stairs. I was very afraid, but she kept a firm hold on my arm, just like how I am holding you now. Sister Snake felt a powerful grip holding her arm, and her body was gradually being pulled forward. She refused to tell what she intended to do until we reached the rooftop. She suddenly yanked on hair and leaned into my ear and told me many different things that I will never forget. She said that she hated me. She'd hated since we went to school together, and even at that moment, standing on the rooftop, she still hated me. I did not know why she hated me that much until the moment she pushed me down the stairs, until I reopened my eyes and saw myself lying there bleeding out on the stairs, until I saw the diary that recorded our lives together. It was not filled with sweet words as I imagined, every page was filled to the brim with the repetition of die, 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 go to hell and die, you bitch. The dresses that she put me in was the ugliest I had ever seen, and the makeup that she applied to me was more suitable for a clown. Only then did I realize that we were actually not good friends. I was willing to befriend this girl who was ostracized and ugly because I believed she could compliment and highlight my natural beauty even though I had gone blind. On the other hand, she was willing to stay with me because she was planning to slowly transform me into a monster that would become uglier than her. Sister Snake's face was slowly being lifted. At that moment, Sister Snake's body was pulled taut like a string. She could sense that in the darkness, there was a face that was coming close to her own. By the way, I forgot to tell you the most important detail. That day, she said she had lost her love because it was Ah Ming's wedding day, but the bride was neither me nor her. Ha ha ha. The shrill and sorrowful laugh boomed beside her ears. Sister Snake felt that there were many hands grabbing at her, attempting to pull her deeper into the abyss of despair. Do not come any closer. Help me. Help me. Enveloped in the world of darkness, she could not see anything. The endless fear around her heightened the darkness in her heart that was even darker than the darkness around her. Sister Snake's pleas for help rang out for several times before she slumped to the ground unconscious. Shang Wan Ching Hong, who was downstairs, had no idea what happened. When he heard Sister Snake call for help the first time, he did not move up the stairs to help her but slid faster down the steps. His jeans were torn from friction and his ass was burning, but he did not mind it at all. His heart was completely dominated by fear. He felt like there were arms and dead people everywhere around him. An unconscious yelp escaped from his lips. Shang Guan Ching Hong had never felt such despair before. He crawled aimlessly in the darkness. He could not see anything light, and he had no idea what was around him. There was no hope and no sense of direction. He could not even tell where the hell he was. Just how big is this place? Let me out. I do not want to play anymore. I give up on my tour. Help me. Let me go. Horror toppled Shang Guan Ching, hung over. 
He collapsed onto the ground and started to cry, but to intensify his despair, all he could hear was the echo of his own voice. No one showed. There was no flickering light signaling help. It was as if he had been thrown into the depths of the ocean, and he was slowly sinking. Shang Guan Ching Hong suddenly felt the air being cut into his throat, and there was a huge pressure on his chest. He sobbed and cried like a baby until his voice was hoarse. Eventually, an arm that was as thin as a wooden stick knocked him out. A normal person would not last longer than three minutes in this kind of despairing darkness. How did the boss end up rescuing Ying Tong from his world behind the door? Not only did he not crumble under the pressure of the ever-present darkness, he even managed to successfully evade the pursuit of a merciless killer. In fact, I believe he even swung his hammer once at the killer. Mr. Wood tried his best to keep Shang Guan Ching Hong, who had lost his mind, under control. After he triggered Shang Guan Ching Hong's self-protect mechanism, which was fainting, Mr. Wood faded again into the darkness. Sister Snake and Shang Guan Ching Hong's horrible wails came one after another. Ma Feng leaned behind the door and did not dare even move an inch. Compared to the horror inside this haunted house, the haunted house at the futuristic theme park was indeed like child's play. This kind of authenticity was something that was impossible to replicate even with the latest technology. Should I give up? Gripping his fingers, Ma Feng hesitated. Ma Feng was an extremely prideful person. He was never going to willingly admit that someone was better than him. Brother Ma, we can go out now. The ghosts appear to have left already. Sun Xiaojuan's voice appeared beside Ma Feng. When the batch of ghosts came earlier, it was actually Sun Xiaojun who had yanked Ma Feng into the closest room. Xiao Sun, how did you know that there would be ghosts coming? I predicted that through the calling of the cats. I have been wondering why there has been a constant repetition of the cat's calls, and the sound was getting closer and closer. It felt like something or someone was chasing after those cats. Sun Xiaojun used his softest voice to give his own analysis. I get it now. Ma Feng sighed in relief. I really did not expect that all the top haunted house designers that I invited with me would be no better than a normal visitor like yourself. Xiao Sun, perhaps we all misunderstood you earlier. How shall I put this? This haunted house is very scary. It is best that you do not target it in the future anymore. Xiao Sun was a kind-hearted person. He believed that if he could persuade Ma Feng to surrender and drop his grudge against New Century Park's haunted house without the use of violence and make Ma Feng realize his own mistake, that would be a good thing for the haunted house because it would mean one less enemy to deal with. Listening from your tone, you appear to be very familiar with this haunted house. Are you really an employee here? Ma Feng kept his head lowered. His eyes were hiding the most venomous look, but his voice was warm and kind. I do not work here, but I like to visit this haunted house, so I am quite familiar with this place. If you promise not to purposely target this haunted house in the future, I can help you find the way out of this place. With regards to clearing this scenario, I can tell you, you can give that up now. That is basically impossible at this stage. Xiao Sun was being very honest. This haunted house is too scary. Even if you gave me the courage of ten men, I would not return again. The boss of this place is a genius. To be able to expand his haunted house to this state, I, Ma Feng, can do nothing but surrender to his superiority. Even though that was what he said, his eyes belied what his real thought was. Ma Feng knew that with the night vision goggles, the haunted house actors might be able to see his expression in the dark, so he purposely kept his head lowered when he spoke. Okay, then I will try my best to bring you out. You have to stay close to me. About ten seconds later, Xiao Sun opened the room door. The ghosts have already left, quick. We'll move by keeping our back to the wall. Once we run into any potential danger, we will hide inside the closest room. The two of them moved down the corridor by keeping close to the corridor. Just as they were about to reach the staircase, the calls of the cats returned, 
so Sun Xiao Jun hurriedly grabbed the panicking Ma Feng and rushed into the room next to them. Once the cat's calls disappeared, the two walked out from the room and entered the staircase. This process was repeated several times until they successfully arrived at the second floor basement. When the cats returned with their meowing, Sun Xiao Jun and Ma Feng were already very experienced. The two of them found the nearest room and went hiding inside it. This scenario appears to be difficult, but once you get the theory behind it, it is very simple. When the cats call, it means that the ghosts are coming. At that time, we only need to go hiding inside the nearest room. A derisive smile appeared on the corner of Ma Feng's lips. Now, we only need to wait for the cats to stop calling, and then we will be safe to leave this place. That is correct. Sun Xiaojun nodded. And those ghosts appear to be barred from entering the interior of these rooms. Bang! Once Sun Xiaojun said that, the door before them was being pushed open. In the darkness, the two were startled into inactivity, their bodies frozen. Ma Feng did not even dare to breathe. He slowly squatted down and nudged away from the front door, down the wall. He did not tell Xiao Sun what he was doing. He then noticed that there appeared to be another door behind him. He entered it silently, leaving Xiao Sun as bait for the ghost that had just entered the room. His palm felt the presence of a bed and dresser. Ma Feng crawled onto the ground and decided to hide under the bed. The sounds of the cats did not weaken but instead had gotten more urgent. The ghost appeared to have entered the room. Unable to see anything, Ma Feng did not dare call Sun Xiaojuan's name either, he stayed under the bed alone. The cat's calls came closer and closer until it felt like they had followed him into the bedroom and were ringing out right before his face. How come I feel like Xiao Sun was wrong? The cats do not appear to warn us that the ghosts are coming close but are instead helping the ghosts by exposing our location. Several seconds later, the cat's call suddenly disappeared. Ma Feng was still lying under the bed. He slowly nudged his body and crawled out from under the bed. Suddenly, something scratched his ear like he had brushed against something. He turned his head around and reached his fingers toward it. He found hair twined around his hand. He touched a cold human face. The person was tied under the bed, and Ma Feng was looking face to face at him. Chapter 1130 Let Me Faint, Please Ma Feng's trembling hands lightly held that cold face. The strands of hair fell on his eyes and lips. The authenticity of the sense of touch made his heart skip a beat. The blood trickled down the strands of hair and fell on his eyelashes. At that moment, he felt like he was not inside a haunted house but was in an actual horror story. To escape the murderer, he was forced to hide together with the murderer's victim. The coppery smell of blood permeated the air, and the sound of suppressed breathing could be heard echoing in the quietness around him. Ma Feng had no idea where the killer was. Perhaps the monster covered in fresh blood was just squatting beside him, waiting for him to come out from underneath the bed. Nudging his body with difficulty, Ma Feng slowly moved his hands away from the presumed dead body. He was about to leave this place when suddenly someone yanked off the bed board. This caused the ropes that held the body to loosen, and the dead body that was strapped under the bed fell directly on Ma Feng. Ah! The limbs of the dead body were twisted into strange angles, and the blood splashed all over Ma Feng's body. The first close and direct contact with a dead body snapped the rationality of Ma Feng's mind. Ma Feng's first instinct was to crawl out, so he pushed his hands against the floor and tried to get up. In the nervousness of the moment, he forgot that the bed board had been moved earlier. Once he lifted his head, his head rammed directly into the board of the bed. The loud bang caused the whole bed to tremble. Ma Feng's mind was a blur. Just as he was about to collapse again, he felt someone reach out to steady him. Brother Ma, are you all right? Xiao Sun held the edge of the bed with one hand, and his other hand supported Ma Feng. He had been given a fright earlier as well. Holding his head, Ma Feng's lips were trembling. He was silent for a very long time. The fear that was brought on by the darkness was indescribable. 
He was unable to see anything, and that caused even everyday things to bring him immense terror. Should I give up now? Ma Fong gritted his teeth and then yanked heavily on his hair. He then used his eyes to sweep the darkness around him. Perhaps that Chin fellow is currently hiding inside the surveillance room watching me. I am sure he is keeping his eyes on me. Seeing how flustered I am, oh, how hard he must be laughing. He is waiting for me to give up, waiting for me to beg him to bring me out of this place. His fingers curled into a fist. Ma Fong was not satisfied with that thought. Brother Ma, you can do it. Even though the challenge of this haunted house is a bit difficult, trust me. We still have a chance of escaping from this place. Sun Xiao Jun felt rather sorry looking at the bruise on Ma Feng's head. If he did not go and move the bed board earlier, the dead body would not have fallen on the man. Brother Ma, please do not give up. Life is like a cup of tea. The first few sips might be bitter, but it won't be bitter forever. Are you trying to console me? Ma Feng forced his face to squeeze out a smile. Don't you worry, I will not be defeated so easily. The two of them supported each other and found their way into the living room by walking along the wall. But before they could even get out from the house, the sound of the cat's shrill calls came from the corridor. Why is it happening again? What is coming this time? Ma Feng was sweating bullets. He leaned his back against the wall and swiftly found his way to another bedroom. This time, he pushed the bedroom door open silently and slipped right through it before closing the door behind him. From the beginning, I should not have trusted anyone. I will be much safer inside the room alone. Ma Feng could not care less about the safety of Xiao Sunday. He squatted behind the door and held his hand over his mouth, waiting silently for the cat's cries to disappear. He waited for a whole minute. Cold sweat slid down Ma Feng's forehead and down the tip of his nose, before finally reaching his chin. Not only did the cat's calls did not disappear, they started to appear inside the bedroom he was in, and the shrieks only got louder and more varied, as if more than one cat had snuck into the room with him. Why? How did they get in? Ma Feng felt like he was being surrounded by cats, and the cats were being cruelly tortured. Their wails were spine-chilling and harrowing. He wanted to go to the corner of the room to hide, but when he moved his feet, he realized that the feeling underneath his shoes was soft and cushiony. This room appeared to be carpeted. A bad feeling arose in his heart. Ma Feng reached out to touch the carpet underneath his feet. The cat's fur was matted together with blood and formed squares of ghastly evidence of what had happened inside this room. The whole room appeared to be filled with the remains of the cats that had been murdered there. Chills crawled up his spine to the top of his head. Ma Feng brushed his hands madly against his body. He desperately wanted to brush away the cat fur and blood that had stuck to his fingertips. His disgust and annoyance appeared to have instigated the angry spirit of these dead cats further. The resentment gathered inside the room. The cat's furs that were placed under his feet suddenly started to move. Cats that should have been dead appeared to crawl out from the sea of fur. Their eyes blinked in the dark. The wounds that were left on their bodies by their torturer were leaking body. Ma Feng felt his body was slowly sinking as the cats jumped on him. He felt like he was about to be swallowed by the bodies of these dead cats. Save me. Save me. Help. Xiao Sun. Save me. Endless darkness swallowed him. One dead cat after another leaped onto his body. They pressed heavily against him. He screamed loudly for help. Ma Feng had lost all composure. Every cell inside his body was pleading for mercy. Bang. The room door was pushed open, and a pair of hands dragged Ma Feng out from the pile of cats' bodies. Brother Ma, why did you run into that room on your own? Xiao San asked nervously. The Ma Feng before him was like a completely different person from the Ma Feng that first entered the haunted house. The prideful glow in his eyes had disappeared, and only fear and anxiety were left on his face. I. 
Ma Feng spat out the cat's fur inside his mouth. He collapsed to the ground. He waved his arm weakly in the direction where Xiao Sun's voice came from. I was just searching for a random room to hide in. Then, you were indeed quite lucky. Xiao Sun knew the secrets of this room. This house should be the house for Ying Chen and his brother, Ying Tong. The first room that Ma Feng hid in was Ying Chen's bedroom, and the second room that he tried was the room where Ying Chen tortured those poor cats. Now, Xiao Sun did not dare let Ma Feng stay in this place anymore, because the third room that was left unexplored should be Ying Tong's bedroom. That room had some very scary dolls inside it. Brother Ma, how about we leave this place first? This house is not that safe. Xiao Sun was trying to help Ma Feng out of the kindness of his heart. He was hoping that through his show of kindness, he would be able to ameliorate the relationship between the futuristic theme park and New Century Park. How about, actually never mind. We can just stay here. The higher the pedestal one placed one on, the more devastated one would be when the pedestal was knocked down. This was the first time Ma Feng had felt so helpless and lost in his life. It will be more dangerous if we stay here. Xiao Sun grabbed Ma Feng by his arm. If we stay in one place, nothing will ever change. Only by continuously moving forward will we have a chance at survival. Inspired by the passion and honesty in Xiao Sun's words, Ma Feng bit on his lips. He was reminded of his former self who would never throw in the towel. Some strength returned to his body, and Ma Feng slowly crawled up from the ground. You are right. A good sword is formed after being sharpened thousands of times. It might be painful now, but once everything is over, looking back, all of this will be valuable lesson. That's the spirit. Xiao Sun nodded heavily in agreement. The cat's calls have already stopped. Let's use this opportunity and start moving. The two carefully moved out from the room and slowly moved while keeping close to the wall. That room was too dangerous. I hope we never come back to that place. At the end of the day, Ma Feng was now the head of a theme park. Even though he was not looking the part with cat fur all over his clothes, he managed to quickly adjust his attitude and mind. I also do not wish to come back to this place again. Xiao Sun and Ma Feng soon arrived at the mouth of the staircase. With one on the right and the other on the left, one holding the stair banister and the other touching the wall, they walked adjacent to each other down the stairs. You need to slow down. I cannot keep up with you. Ma Feng walked very slowly because he was afraid of tripping. However, Xiao Sun ran very fast as if the darkness had no influence on him at all. The staircase is the most dangerous territory. There are no rooms nearby for us to hide in, so we need to pick up our speed lest we are surrounded by goes. Before Xiao Sun could even finish his sentence, the cat started meowing on the corridor from the upper floor as if this whole thing had been rehearsed before. Have you been jinxed in your previous life? Ma Feng's mind that had just stabilized itself started to crumble again. He grabbed the banister of the stairs. He did not dare move back up the stairs, but the idea of going further down the stairs scared him as well. He felt alone and helpless and grabbed the banister tightly like it was his last lifeline. We must not stay here. We need to leave as soon as possible. Xiao Sun helped Ma Feng move down the stairs. He originally was not that desperate, but he soon noticed that it appeared to have started raining inside the building. Sticky blood slid down the roof of the building, and a cloud of despair floated up from the lower floor. Sister Raincoat? If he ran into other ghosts, he would at most be given a fright, but Xiao Sun had no idea what would happen if they ran into the red raincoat. We need to go. Now. Hurry. Even at that moment, Xiao Sun was a man of his word. He knew it was very unsafe to leave Ma Feng on the staircase alone so he wanted to bring Ma Feng with him. But the problem was, earlier, he was dragging Ma Feng down the stairs with him, but now that he sensed the red raincoat was coming up the stairs, he changed his direction and wanted to drag Ma Feng up the stairs. 
Unable to see anything, Ma Feng had no idea what Xiao Sun was up to at all. He felt his body being turned around. His left leg tripped on his right leg, and he fell onto the stairs and rolled down the steps like a sack of potatoes. Brother Ma? Xiao Sun reached out to shield Ma Feng's head from knocking into the corner of the wall. Seeing that the red raincoat was coming, Xiao Sun had no choice but to go into hiding. Wait for me here. I. With stars floating before his eyes, Ma Feng lay supine on the stairs. He raised his arm and wanted to surrender when an extremely eerie and cold presence overwhelmed his body. The chill soaked into his bones. Ma Feng found himself unable to speak. His face was green, and his arms were shaking greatly on their own. Bloody raindrops fell on his body. Ma Feng felt someone step over him. This one step made him feel like his body was about to splinter into pieces. Cowering inside the cold and dark staircase, surrounded by darkness and unknown ghosts, Ma Feng could feel hot tears stinging his face. He could not control his emotions. The feeling arose from the depth of his heart. I cannot play this game any longer. It does not matter how embarrassing it will be anymore. I need to leave this place. After that extremely cold presence disappeared, Xiao Sun's voice appeared again. Brother Ma, are you all right? I do not think I am all right. There is this thought in my mind. I think I want to. Ma Feng wanted to give up, but he would not voice that intention out loud and ask Chen Gu to come help him. The man had always been proud and headstrong, he could not cross the threshold in his mind. Brother Ma, actually, you have done very well. Xiao Sun was able to see the current state that Ma Feng was in. After being subjected to so many heavy mental blows, Ma Feng was still able to communicate normally with him. This was out of Xiao Sun's expectations. I once read in a book that you will be able to see how powerful a person really is at the lowest point in their life. Brother Ma, you are one of the staunchest and strongest people I have ever met. Once Xiao Sun gave him such praise, Ma Feng found it even more difficult to voice his intention to give up. He could only nod silently. Brother Ma, believe me, we can escape from this place. At the end of the day, the worst result is nothing more than failure. Some people are waiting for failure, and some look down on failure, but others still cannot escape from failure even though they have given it their all. In this kind of environment, how we see things is the light within every single one of us. If you allow the failure to knock you down, you have no one but yourself to blame, but you need to understand that only you yourself can prevent yourself from being overwhelmed by the failure. Brother Ma, believe in yourself. I know you can do it. On the staircase, there was no nearby room for them to hide in. This was the most dangerous place, so Xiao Sun wanted to bring Ma Feng away from this place as soon as possible. In this cold and dark world, Xiao Sun's words of inspiration were like a ray of light that shone into Ma Feng's heart. Ma Feng, who was lying on the ground, was reminded of his younger self. The headstrong personality actually hid the sense of self-doubt in his heart. He needed to find a way to use his own weakness, only then he would be able to fly further and higher. His finger grabbed the iron banister, and Ma Feng slowly crawled up from the ground. Defeats is the fee that you have to pay in order to achieve success. This is just a small hurdle in the road. There is nothing to worry about. Brother Ma, I know you can do it. Xiao Sun gave Ma Feng a thumbs up even though he knew that Ma Feng would not be able to see it. The staircase is not safe. We need to go down to the next floor. They reached the next floor successfully. Ma Feng felt like his soul had reached the state of nirvana. When he stepped on firm ground around, he could feel his heart becoming stronger. There is no difficulty that can knock me down, and there is no hurdle that I cannot overcome they will only make me stronger. With a bruise on his head, his mind abuzz, and his body almost shattering, Ma Feng held the wall and limped forward. These few lower floors should be quite safe. Shush! When Ma Feng heard Xiao Sun say that, he almost jumped out of his skin. Whenever you say something like that, something bad happens. 
refrain from giving your own opinions anymore. Sometimes, you need to learn to keep your thoughts to yourself. All right, fine. Someone used to tell the exact same thing. Looks like it is really my fault. Someone used to tell you the exact same thing? Yes, but now I am the only sole survivor of that incident. Everyone else in that building has died. Xiao Sun accidentally let slip the truth. When he realized that, he quickly covered it up with a few dry laughs. That was just a joke. Don't take it too seriously. Xiao Sun's words caused Ma Feng's heart to crawl with anxiety. He silently moved away from Xiao Sunday. Just as the two separated from each other, the shrill cat's calls appeared in the corridor again. Not this again. Whenever Ma Feng heard the meowing of cats, he could feel his legs turning into noodles. He pretended that he was strong, but actually, his inner defense had been shattered into pieces. Don't just stand there. Find a place to hide. Xiao Sun urged the Ma Feng. The latter sought aimlessly in the darkness when his arm knocked into something that appeared like a closet. He did not consider why something like a closet would appear in a corridor. He directly opened the door and went hiding inside it before the cat's calls came closer. Closing the door, Ma Feng hugged the brooms and mops that he found inside the closet and held his breath. The shrill cat's calls and heavy footsteps appeared at the same time, they were heading toward Ma Feng. They came closer and closer. Ma Feng gritted his teeth to stop himself screaming. His face was twisted due to extreme nervousness. Please don't come here. Please don't come here. Please don't come here. Perhaps God had heard his prayers because the cat's call slowly moved away. Ma Feng's heart fell back down to his stomach, but just as he was about to let go of the breath he was holding, those strange and heavy footsteps did not disappear with the cat's calls. After they had walked away, they turned back before finally stopping before the closet. The sound of falling footsteps had disappeared. Ma Feng held his pose and did not dare move. After a whole minute, he slowly reached out, intending to push open the closet door, but before he touched the door, he heard a loud bang. The closet door was yanked open, and the chilly winds surged into it, carrying with it the stinging smell of blood. Ma Feng's body lurched back instinctually, causing the back of his head to knock into the wooden board behind him. The mops and brooms clattered noisily to the ground. Ma Feng curled up his body. He felt like a mountain of flesh had stopped before him, and he would be crushed the next second. The pressure made him feel like he was being asphyxiated. The already dark and despairing world started to spin, and his consciousness reached its limit. Is it finally over? At that moment, Ma Feng felt the sweet nectar of salvation. He stopped resisting and peacefully closed his eyes. Brother Ma? Brother Ma? Xiao Sun's voice rang beside his ears like a drum. Ma Feng felt someone pinch the top of his lips. He was forced to suck in a reviving breath, and his eyes flew open again. You frightened me. I thought you really fainted. Xiao Sun helped Ma Feng up. Brother Ma, the corridor is not safe. We cannot stay here for too long. Xiao Sun, Brother Sun, can you please put me down? Please. I am begging you. Chapter 1131 Some friends are only meant to live in your memory, Brother Ma, if you have anything to say, we can go inside this room next door first. It is too dangerous for us to stay outside here at the corridor. Xiao Sun grabbed Ma Feng by his arm and forcibly dragged him to the other end of the corridor. Stop, stop. Let me just think about this first, I believe we better. Ma Feng was dragged weakly away by Xiao Sunday. He had lost even the last bit of energy to resist anymore. With his head buzzing and the world spinning, his body aching and his eyes stinging, he was overwhelmed by the desire to curl up in the corner and cry. Brother Ma, there is no need for you to say anything. I can understand you perfectly well, but we have already reached the deepest part of the scenario. This is most likely the last subscenario of this haunted house. Do you really want to give up now? 
Won't that make all of our previous effort and the sacrifice of our other teammates a waste? Xiao Sun held Ma Feng by his collar. God will not deliver us unto a situation that we cannot overcome. Perhaps we are just that one final step away from victory. Ma Feng's lips were pursed together. He looked at the darkness surrounding him numbly. Everything and anything could be hidden inside the darkness, monsters, ghosts, unknown danger, and of course, the exit. Strength gradually returned to his body. A small flicker of fire returned to Ma Feng's eyes. Those who don't believe in miracles will never create a miracle. The boss of the haunted house probably also thought no one will be able to escape from this place, but think about this, isn't the purpose of a haunted house for visitors to visit it? Is there a haunted house in this world that really cannot be cleared and escaped from? Xiao Sun's words were filled energy, and they helped give Ma Feng a direction. Gritting his teeth, Ma Feng also thought it was such a waste for him to give up now. He rubbed his buzzing head and slowly opened his lips to say, Xiao Sun, let go of my arm first. I can walk on my own. Using the wall as support, he slowly stood up. Ma Feng gradually sought his way down the corridor. There will be a door at an interval of every three meters. We will stick along the wall. The moment we hear the cats, we will enter the nearest room. Once we enter the room, we will shut the door, and one person will block the door with his body while the other searches for the hidden pathway inside the room. We will cooperate closely and utilize the advantage that we have to its maximum potential. Okay. Seeing Ma Feng with hope again, Xiao Sun felt tears pricking his eyes. It was so inspirational. In that moment, he was reminded of his living self that would never give up no matter what the world had thrown at him. Xiao Sun, who had always believed he was just a normal character in this world living a normal life, would often read inspiration and self-help books, using the lessons inside to give him the energy to push forward another day. You reap what you sow, Brother Ma. I am sure we will definitely find the way to the exit. Xiao Sun and Ma Feng found support in each other, the two continued their difficult journey down the corridor. All the games had their way of solving them, Ma Feng was blessed with a brilliant mind and a gifted talent. Other than the flaw in his personality, he was truly a very capable person. With the aid from Xiao Sun, even though he had not gotten used to the darkness, he had still figured out the rhythm to the movement of the ghosts. After being scared five more times, he and Xiao Sun finally arrived at the bottommost floor of the Spire of Darkness. Along the way, Ma Feng's body gained many new wounds. Other than the pain from his body, his soul was tortured even further by the most cruel and harrowing experience. Whenever Ma Feng was at the edge of losing his consciousness, Xiao Sun would immediately appear beside him to resuscitate him. He would revive to the sound of Xiao Sun, calling his name, causing him to flutter between the line of nightmare and reality. With the large breath of stubbornness inside him, Ma Feng stuck it out until the end. After entering the last room at the most bottom floor of the building, Ma Feng gave a very long sigh. Even Xiao Sun sighed along with him. This is very difficult. I believe even a ghost would not be able to escape from this scenario. This is the last room, so the hidden pathway has to be here. We need to inspect this room closely. Ma Feng's voice was wispy and airy. If there was light, one would see that his face was blanched, and his lips were purple. He looked just like the workers at the haunted house after Chen Gu had put makeup on them. The two entered the room, they had just found their way to the bedroom door when they suddenly heard a man's voice coming from the entrance. You are going to be the ninth person that I will kill. Let me think, what should I take from you? Nose? Ears? Never mind, I think I will settle with your eyes. I know you have been searching for the hidden pathway. Actually, that exit is hidden inside my house, in the bedroom where all the cat's bodies were. Do you feel despair coursing through your veins? I have already told you the location of the exit, but you will never return to find it. How I wish I could see your expression now. After the man said all that, the sound of something being slashed by a knife rang out inside the bedroom. Then, blood leaked out from the gap in the door. 
Ma Fong felt there was something sticky pooling around his feet. The murderer is giving us a hint. The exit is hidden inside the room with all the cat's bodies. Ma Feng's face was indescribable. The exit was inside the room that he had once hidden in, but he had been led by Xiao Sun all the way to the bottommost floor of the building. He felt the breath catch inside his throat. Ma Feng was about to faint from fury. He stumbled a step back, and his shoes squished loudly as he stepped on the blood. Who is that? The man's voice echoed inside the bedroom, and it was swiftly followed by the wailing of the cats. Knowing that they had been discovered, Ma Feng and Xiao Sun started to race toward the exit like crazy. We have to the go back to the room with all the cats' bodies. Being chased by the ultimate crazed murdered, the scenario of Spire of Darkness had officially entered its most intense and horrifying moment. The cat's calls reverberated against the walls as Ma Feng and Xiao Sun raced down the corridor like their lives depended on it. Ma Feng's heart was palpitating, this was the most intense moment he had experienced in his life. I can't do it anything. My legs won't carry me further. This is where I die. Brother Ma, believe in yourself. I really cannot run anymore. Do not stop. We can do this. I know we can. Xiao Sun's voice kept coming from in front of him. By now, Ma Feng had completely lost his sense of direction. Xiao Sun's endless encouragement was the path that he had been heeding along the darkness. Following Xiao Sun's voice, Ma Feng activated all the potential that he had inside his body. He tried his best to keep up with Xiao Sun's speed. The crazed murderer was just right behind him, following them like a shadow. Now, leaving this scenario through the hidden pathway was the only chance they had at survival. The sense of pressure that pressed down on him could not be described in words. There was only one thought left in Ma Feng's mind, run. After moving up and down the stairs so many times, Ma Feng's muscle memory had remembered the height of each step. Even without looking, he was able to prevent himself from tripping when running up the stairs. Keep on going. Do not be afraid of the darkness. After all, eventually, the darkness will fade away, and sun will rise for another day. Humans are creatures with endless possibilities. We must not give up on this gift that is provided to us. Trust and believe. Many of life's failures are people who did not realize how close they were to success when they gave up. The human language was unique in the sense that it was capable of granting enormous energy. Ma Feng, whose body was shaking and whose mind was flaking somehow, found his way back to the top floor of the building with Xiao Sun's endless encouragement. He raced like the wind. All the other unimportant thoughts in his mind were left in his wake. His spirit appeared to have joined to both of his legs. There appeared to be no more Ma Feng in this world, all that remained was a pair of legs that kept on running in search of the exit. Ramming the door open, Ma Feng and Xiao Sun rushed into the room, stuffed with cat carcasses. The two of them turned the room upside down looking for the exit as if madness had taken over them. The calls of the cats became shriller from the corridor. The whole scenario appeared to be changing. The walls started to crack as the building started to shake. Mouths started to gape on the ground like they would swallow the visitors at any moment. Various strange voices also began to appear. The voice that scared Ma Feng and Xiao Sun the most was one similar to Chen Jie's coming from outside. They did not hear clearly what the voice was saying because all their attention was focused on the search. They moved the carcasses of the cats away like this was the only thing that they knew to do in this world. In the endless darkness, there was suddenly a flicker of a very faded light. That pushed Ma Feng to move even faster. I can see it now. I think I see the exit. Moving the guts and the intestines of the cats away, under the carpet that was sewn together by death, there was a hidden ray of light. The ray of light shone into the room through the gap of the hidden door. The edge of Ma Feng's eyes were wet, and tears were churning in his eyes. It's light. There's light. He reached out to grab the door handle of the hidden door and used every ounce of energy that was left inside him to pull it open. 
Thank God I did not give up. Every sacrifice will lead to a reward. The pain and tragedy that I have experienced will become the reward that destiny gives me. Gritting his teeth, Ma Feng was already coming up with ideas to mock Chen Ge after he got out from his place. Ma Feng lifted the door open. The weak light chased away the darkness. He extended both of his hands like a flower that had bloomed proudly in the dark. There is no real despair in this world. No matter how many difficulties we have to endure, no matter how many hurdles we have to overcome, as long as there is a seed of hope in your heart, then eventually, there will come a day where you will be able to overcome everything and have flowers bloom in your life. The inspirational quotes that Xiao Sun had learned from the self-help books echoed perfectly with the feeling inside Ma Feng's heart. He followed the light and ran down the corridor. He had never run as fast as he did in this moment. Running down the stairs, an iron door that was painted black appeared before him. After going through so many ordeals, Ma Feng dragged his wounded body and stopped before the black iron door. What is failure? It is nothing but a step to head towards success, what is success but having treaded all the roads that led to failure? When only the last road is left, that will be the road that leads to success. Removing the chain from the door, Ma Feng used the energy in both of his hands and pushed the iron door before him open. It's finished. Everything is finally over. Tears that were filled with various emotions slid down the corner of his eyes. This was a man who had never shed a tear in his life, but at that moment, he could not help himself. Bang! The black iron door slammed against the wall, and Ma Feng also took a good look of the scenario behind the door. The rolling black fog rushed at his eyes until he found it difficult to keep them open. The tears of joy were blown dry almost immediately. His legs buckled, and Ma Feng crumbled to the ground. Why? A simple question was more than enough to express the cocktail of emotions that Ma Feng was currently feeling. Hope collided with despair as all his anticipation morphed into a fog of darkness. Looking at the dark fog before him and the flickering ghost light that floated in the black fog, Ma Feng felt his sight slowly pull away. It was as if he was going through an out-of-body experience as he stared dumbly down a direction. Brother Ma. Xiao Sun pressed lightly on Ma Feng's shoulder. When a specter wanted to materialize their body into corporeality, it required a continuous exhaustion of negative emotion and accumulated resentment, so most specters chose not to waste their resources on having physical interaction with living humans, but Xiao Sun felt like Brother Ma needed the support of physical touch at that moment. This experienced entrepreneur had encountered a large hurdle in his life. At that moment, he needed as much help and encouragement as he could get. The hidden path leads to the hidden scenario. We have discovered the source of the black fog. This also means that we are already very close to the exit. Xiao Sun grabbed Ma Feng by his shoulders and shook the man repeatedly. Brother Ma, you need to pull yourself together. Don't worry, I am fine. The calculation and cunningness had already disappeared from Ma Feng's eyes. All that remained was numbness. Brother Ma, are you sure you're all right? I am worried about you. Xiao Sun felt like Ma Feng was currently in a state of suspended shock. He was hoping that he could change the prejudice that the futuristic theme park held toward the new century theme park through Ma Feng, but before the prejudice could be corrected, the leader of the futuristic theme park was already at the edge of insanity. Brother Ma, just remember how many adversities we have conquered to reach this place. It is such a waste for you to give up now. I was also hoping that it would be the exit behind the previous door, but perhaps the boss realized that, so he purposely designed this last scenario so that people would break down just as they flew through what they assumed to be the final exit. Xiao Sun did not know exactly what he was saying. All he wanted was to help Ma Feng regain his confidence. No matter what, we cannot stop moving now. Ma Feng appeared to have been given too many inspirational talks, and he had had enough TED Talks for a while. He sat down on the ground with a dumb expression on his face. He wanted to faint, but he could not, he wanted to move, but he could not gather energy anymore, 
He wanted to leave this place, but he knew that was a wish unlikely to come true. So, what else could he do but sit there and wait for the end to come? Brother Ma. Do you really think there is a scenario that will be scarier than one that deprives you of your sight? We have just escaped from a completely dark scenario. That building was placed in the deepest area of the small town, so obviously, it was the scariest scenario. Therefore, we might be both figuratively and literally one step away from victory. Xiao Sun turned to logic in his persuasion. Ma Feng slowly lowered his head. His hands moved instinctually to his ears. He had already raised his hands, but suddenly, he realized how dumb that would seem. The only one who is helping me is Xiao Sunday. Perhaps he has taken me as his only reliance in this place. If I fall here, then he will not be able to survive any longer on his own. He has helped me so much, I cannot disappoint him now. He felt a grip on his arm. Ma Feng turned his head subconsciously to look, and Xiao Sun's honest face entered his eyes. What is wrong with me? Since when did I become so proud of myself that I started to resist a helping hand from another person? Ma Feng hated the person that he had become. He gathered the last spirit that he had to grab Xiao Sun's hand and slowly stood up. The cross-section of the two scenarios is the most dangerous. We might be attacked by ghosts from both scenarios at the same time, so we'd better hurry up and leave this place. Xiao Sun also did not know where the exit of this scenario was. In fact, perhaps the exit of this scenario had not even been designed yet. Clearing this scenario is already impossible. We should find a place to hide and survive for the time limit of 60 minutes tour, and it will all be over. 6. 60 minutes? Ma Feng's legs weakened, and he almost tripped again. We have already been in here for 40 minutes already, 20 minutes is not that long. Xiao Sun looked around and made his decision based on his memory. There are man-eating monsters hiding in the black fog. The only safe place in this world is the apartments. So, we only need to hide inside the apartment building and hold out for the remaining tour time. I will listen to you. Ma Feng's spirit was half missing, as if the half was scared away and had not returned. Just like that, he was dragged by Xiao Sun and raced in the black fog. Cursed faces appeared in the fog. Ma Feng's facial muscles were going crazy. Occasionally, he could not control himself and started laughing. Looking at the scary monsters around him, he slowly forgot where he was and who he was. At the moment, he only had Xiao Sun, who was running beside him. His heart went out toward this young man. In this tragedy of a tour, Xiao Sun was the only person that he realized he could rely on. Along the way, they had seen many scenes taken right out from hell. Finally, Xiao Sun carried Ma Feng through the black fog and came to the apartment. Pushing open the entrance of Jin Hua apartment block A, Xiao Sun led Ma Feng into the corridor. I know one room that is definitely safe. I am 100% certain that there will be no ghosts there. We can rest there until the end. Xiao Sun led Ma Feng into his own room. Once he pushed open the door, they heard strange noises coming from the corridor. The other neighbors are coming. Please do not make any noise. Xiao Sun pushed Ma Feng into the room while he hid at the door and paid close attention to what was happening outside. The room they were in was very neat and clean, and it looked perfectly normal. Ma Feng finally sighed in relief. He dropped to the ground and noticed the posters of many singers pasted on the walls. His eyes moved around until Ma Feng's eyes landed on a picture frame. Inside it was a young man carrying a guitar. He felt that the young man in the picture looked very familiar, so he forced himself to crawl toward the table. When he picked up the frame, a death certificate slid down from behind the picture. Sun Xiao Jun? An indescribable horror instantly swallowed Ma Feng, his whole body was shaking. Chapter 1132 Destiny, Jiujiang Medical University, the person that he had been relying on was the actual culprit. Ma Feng's trembling hands had trouble even holding the death certificate firmly. The words kept shaking in his eyes. 
It was a piece of paper as light as a feather, but in his hands, it felt as heavy as a mountain. It directly crushed Ma Feng's heart. He had been trying so hard to escape from death, but in reality, death had been holding his arm and dragging him along. He had been trying to run away from Ghost, but a ghost had been closely following beside him, unwilling to part with him. This unexpected twist cut off the breath in Ma Feng's lungs. He turned slowly to look at Xiao Sun, who was leaning at the door, looking outside, and his mental support at that moment shattered into withering powder. The blood in his veins appeared to have frozen as Ma Feng's world collapsed. The world spun, and he collapsed heavily to the ground. Before he drifted out of consciousness, he could still hear the consistent voice calling him. Brother Ma, Brother Ma, Brother Ma. Xiao Sun tried his best to shake Ma Feng's body, but Ma Feng gave him no response at all. Perhaps Brother Ma had lost all hope in this world. We are already safe now. Big Brother. We have gone through so much to finally arrive at a safe room. Why would you choose this important moment to faint? Xiao Sun had a bitter smile on his face. He could be certain that this room was 100% safe, and no other haunted house ghosts would be hiding in this room because this was his own room before he died. So, what am I supposed to do now? This does not feel like a normal fainting. At least it is not one that I can resuscitate him from normally. Should I take him to the underground morgue to be checked by the group of doctors? But I am not familiar with them and that old doctor always looks so stern. With a human life on the line, Xiao Sun did not dare hesitate too long. He picked up Ma Feng and prepared to walk out from his room. But before he took any steps, the phone in Ma Feng's pocket suddenly rang. Xiao Sun reached into Ma Feng's pocket and took out the phone. He glanced at the caller ID, the caller who was calling was Qin Guang. Hmm, this name is rather familiar. I believe he is that famous streamer. He entered the haunted house alongside Ma Feng. Xiao Sun was about to answer the phone when he suddenly hesitated. I could use Ma Feng's phone to answer this call, but how am I supposed to explain that Ma Feng is currently unavailable to talk to him? I cannot explain why Ma Feng is currently unconscious. This will create an easy misunderstanding that it was me who knocked Ma Feng out. Even though I am actually a worker here, I am not going to take the blame for the deeds that I did not do. Xiao Sun not only did not knock Ma Feng out, he even resuscitated the unconscious Ma Feng multiple times. No matter what, he was not willing to shoulder this blame. After giving it some thought, Xiao Sun decided to end the call and then send a message to Qin Guang. I am currently hiding inside a room. There are people wandering outside the door. I am not available to answer your call now. Moments later, Qin Guang replied with the following message. I am now with the students from the medical university. Where are you guys now? This haunted house is very unsafe. We have a feeling that this place is really haunted. Seeing Qin Guang's reply, Xiao Sun's brow hiked up so high. We have been exposed? Who has been so unprofessional? If the visitors find out the haunted house is really haunted, then who would dare come here again? This is such a trouble-filled day. I have to find a way to salvage this situation. He held on to the phone and stood contemplatively for a long time before he eventually sent another message to Qin Guang. Me and my teammate have found a hidden pathway and entered the hidden scenario. What about you guys? We are also inside the hidden scenario. The medical students found me and saved me. They found the hidden pathway inside a sub-scenario that had the heart as the theme, and now, I am currently hiding with them inside an apartment building in the hidden scenario. Xiao Sun stared at the words on the phone screen. He really did not expect Qin Guang and the remaining visitors to have also entered the hidden scenario. Can you tell me exactly where you are now? Are there any unique and conspicuous buildings near you guys? The entrance of the building marks this place as Jiu Hong Apartments Block 2. The whole building is abandoned. Instead of rental rooms, it is filled with hospital rooms. It is extremely scary. You guys, stay where you are. 
I will head over to meet up with the rest of you as soon as I can. After Xiao Sun finished sending that message, he immediately ran out from the room, but when he was halfway out the building, he ran back again. It is too unsafe to leave Ma Feng in the room like this. His condition is a bit different from everyone else's. I'd better bring him along with me. When I run into the other employees, I can hand Ma Feng directly to them and have them take him to the doctors for me. Xiao Sun's idea was good. He carried Ma Feng out of his own room, but the strange thing was, even though the haunted house, especially the hidden scenario, had an exorbitant number of ghosts and monsters, Xiao Sun failed to encounter a single one of them. It was as if they were purposely trying to avoid him. This Ma Feng truly is one hell of a lot of trouble. No one is willing to come too close to him. Inside the hidden scenarios Jiao Hong Apartments Block 2, He San, Zuohan, and Mr. Wang were standing together. They surrounded Qin Guang, who held the phone in the middle. Look closely at the messages that Ma Feng sent. Does this sound like the tone of Ma Feng? Even a person like myself who has not known Ma Feng for that long can see the problem, and you're still dumbly asking me why. Swahan shook his head. The person who's holding the phone is no longer Ma Feng. But this is definitely Ma Feng's phone number. Qin Guang still did not quite believe it. How could you be so stubborn even when the reality is placed right before you? Then, how about you explain why he insisted on sending messages with you when he could have easily answered the phone and talked to you? Perhaps it is like he said, it is not that convenient for him to talk now? Wrong. It is because that employee who is very good at mimicking voices is not with Ma Feng yet. When that actor arrives, he will use Ma Feng's voice to misdirect you. Swahan waved his hands. Stop dreaming of the impossible. A large batch of haunted house employees already know our location. If you do not want to be scared until you faint, you'd better stick close to us and leave this place immediately. But what if that really is Director Ma and he comes over here and can't find the rest of us? Qing Guang was slightly worried about Ma Feng's ire. I will tell you this one last time. We are allowing you to come with us out of kindness. In fact, you were begging us to take you along so stop giving us so many complaints and so much trouble. Swahan shoved a rag doll's head toward Qing Guang. Take this and do not lose it. Do I really have to take this with me? Qing Guang held the rag doll's head with both hands, and the unwillingness was plainly written on his place. Do you know how much trouble we went through to find the rag doll's head? Naturally, we have to take it with us at all times. He San did not have any affection toward Qing Guang's group. If not for the fact that Zuohan found Qing Guang somewhat useful, he would definitely not have taken Qing Guang with them. We not only have to bring it with us, we need to treat it with sufficient respect. Zuohan's voice had always been direct and cold. When he was assessing a problem or a situation, he could accomplish the impossible where he would not factor in personal feelings. Even if those other visitors had once mocked and chided him, as long as he believed he could get some use out of them, he would forego the past and take the person in with them. The core of his thinking was, as long as the person was useful to him and could improve his current situation, then they were someone worth keeping around. After clearing the coffin village scenario, Swahan had a deep-seated sense of fear toward any items that they were tasked with finding inside the haunted house. He also knew that around the end of the visitation, all the monsters inside the scenario would go on a rampage, and they would first target the person who held the quest items. The reason he kept Qin Guang around, to put it more plainly, was because he wanted to make Qin Guang's death more valuable. Walking to the entrance of Jiu Hong Apartments Block 2, Sua Han signaled for Qin Guang to walk ahead. The rag doll head that you are holding is a kind of protective talisman. As long as you are holding it, you will not be attacked by the monsters in the black fog. Whether it could protect the bearers from the attacks of the monsters in the black fog or not, Swahan did not know, but he had indeed done an experiment with it. The rag doll's head truly could disperse the black fog. Qing Guang walked at the front of the group with some skepticism. But strangely enough, he did notice the black fog moving away from him. 
The black fog appears to be afraid of the ragdoll's head. Why would a phenomenon like that be the case? This scenario is called ghost fetus. Could the ragdoll be the ghost fetus itself? Swahan started to analyze the scenario using his past experience. The haunted house boss is a master of psychology. The way he knows how to utilize and evoke the fear in people's hearts is masterful. I cannot use a normal person's perspective to try to predict and assess Boss Chen's way of thinking. Swahan touched the tip of his nose while he kept his gaze glued to the head of the rag doll. The quest for this tour is to find all the body parts of the rag doll. If the rag doll really is the ghost fetus, if we do manage to find all the body parts of the rag doll, doesn't that mean the visitors will have voluntarily collected and summoned the scariest monster inside this scenario? When he reached this conclusion, Swahan felt a chill run up the back of his spine. Boss Chen wants the visitors to personally release the demon in this scenario with their own hands. He had known that it was impossible to clear the scenario from the very beginning. The thought of what he assumed Boss Chen intended to do chilled him to his core. The fear that this scenario brought him had far surpassed the fear that he had experienced in the other scenarios. And the worst thing was, he knew full well that this was not even the scariest part of the ghost fetus yet. They were in for a bigger and scarier surprise. The difficulty of a four-star scenario is truly out of this world. This time I will treat this as a scouting journey. I already know the location of one of the hidden pathways. That is a great discovery already. It will make the next visit so much easier. Swahan and the other visitors walked out from Jiu Hong Apartments Block 2. With the rag doll's head as protection, they were not attacked by the strange things floating in the black fog and successfully reached the entrance of Block 1. Block 2 is filled with strange sick rooms as if the whole building is meant to house some mad individuals. Is it possible that this whole residential area is a private mental asylum? The background story of the ghost fetus was very obscure. Swahan could only conduct his analysis through the clues that he had found. Jiu Hong Apartments Block 2 actually had many clues hidden inside, but the thing that confused Swahan was that the clues they had found could not be linked into a complete and reasonable chain of events. This was not entirely Swahan's fault. To not expose the secrets between the ghost fetus and the cursed hospital, Chen Gu had purposely taken away some of the important clues that were originally present inside the replicated scenario. What the visitors could see were the things that Chen Gu allowed them to see. But just through these scraps of clues, Zhuahan and Mr. Wang still managed to hypothesize certain things. Assuming that Jiu Hong Apartments Block 2 is a mental asylum, it housed some very strange patients. But even stranger than that is the fact that the doctors there did not seem like they wanted to treat their patients at all. If anything, there was evidence that they had been trying to aggravate their conditions, pushing them deeper into the abyss of madness and despair. The hidden scenario is the core of this scenario. The appearance of this private mental asylum at this place proves that this locale is very important to the ghost fetus. Our main character of this scenario perhaps completed its final transformation here. If the rag doll is the ghost fetus, then finding all of its missing parts will be akin to summoning it. In that case, the difficulty of the scenario will increase to an impossible level. That is definitely not the best way to solve this scenario. Swahan's eyes subconsciously glanced toward the rag doll's head, and he noticed that the eyeball inside the head appeared to be looking back at him as well. His heart suddenly started to race. Swahan managed to discern a trace of melancholy and loneliness in the ragdoll's eyes. Finding all the parts of the ragdoll and bringing it out of the scenario is certainly a suicidal mission. The real way to clear this mission is perhaps to reform the ragdoll and help it achieve salvation. Swahan's brain was spinning wildly, and many thoughts were colliding in his mind. Mr. Wang valued Swahan greatly so he moved over to ask softly, what are you thinking about? Swahan silently whispered his own analysis to his lecturer. The latter listened to everything and kept silent for a long time. The only thing he did was slow down his pace until they were further away from Qin Guang. Then, Mr. Wang whispered back, Swahan, do you know what my biggest impression of this tour is? 
what is it? The sense of authenticity. Mr. Wong's expression turned very serious. Everything feels so real. I have been a part of the investigations of many heavy crimes. The feeling that this place gives me is similar to when I was at actual crime scenes. You suspect there has been an actual murder committed here? Swahan was very clever. Once Mr. Wong voiced his opinion, he was able to grasp his lecturer's thoughts almost immediately. Correct, and there must have been more than one murder. Mr. Wong took a deep breath. The set decoration of this place and the words left behind by the innocent victims, they are all dripping with a bloody sense of authenticity. This is something that you would not have experienced unless you have been to the front line before. But if there have been so many murders committed here, Boss Chen's haunted house would have been closed a long time ago. From how I see it, he should have copied the murders that he had helped solve perfectly inside his haunted house, and with some amazing artistic skill, he has achieved this current environment that we are in. Hopefully, I am only overthinking it. Mr. Wang walked at the back of the group. He rarely had the chance to engage with his students in this kind of situation. Sir, if you are really that interested in this place, we can come over for another visit in the future. Swahan wanted to lighten the atmosphere. He was afraid that Mr. Wang might be reminded of the bad things from the past. I am afraid there won't be a chance for that anymore. Soon, I will need to go to Xian Hai. You still cannot let go of that case? Swahan, do you know what the most important thing for a forensic doctor is? Find clues to help decide the cause of death from the science of pathology and provide law enforcement with the most effective support through the construction of a strong evidence chain. You are right and also wrong. Mr. Wong pointed lightly at his heart, but he did not elaborate. Swahan did not press for details either, but he did memorize the words Xian Hai. If possible, he wanted to give his lecturer a hand. The remaining four visitors entered Jiao Hong Apartments Block 1. The dark corridors were permeated with a light stench. Every house had a bowl of white rice before the door, and a pair of chopsticks were stuck vertically inside the bowls of rice. Before we explore this scenario, I need to warn all of you. We are two-thirds into the visitation hour. Soon, the scenario will welcome its third stage, and all the ghosts in this scenario will go berserk so we'd better be mentally prepared for it. After saying that, Swahan led the others into the building. Soon after they had gone in, the blood rain rinsed the outside of the building. In the black fog, many red shadows started to appear. The visitors inside the building had not realized those anomalies. Qin Guang, who was hugging the rag doll's head, was walking at the front of the group. After he realized that the head could chase away the black fog, he had been treating it as a treasure, hugging it tightly against his chest. This time, I am quite lucky to have run into a group of experienced players who are willing to take me with them, but I wonder how things are over there with CEO Ma. He opened one door after another, and no accidents happened. That caused Qin Guang's courage to grow. When he came to the third floor, a strange noise came from the first floor. It sounded like someone had accidentally kicked over the bowls of rice that were left in front of the rooms. Chapter 1133 Truly, the older the ginger, the spicier they are. Did you guys hear some strange noise? Qin Guang held the rag doll's head and stood guardedly at the door like some kind of protective talisman. The mission that Zuhan had given him was to stay as a guard at the door because the rag doll's head that he was holding could chase away the black fog and prevent the ghosts from getting too close to them. This excuse had successfully convinced Qin Guang. Earlier, when they were walking through the black fog, he had realized that the rag doll's head indeed had that function. Now, if anyone else asked him to hand over the rag doll's head, he would not surrender it easily. Just stay outside the door and do not move randomly away. If you see any ghosts coming, yell to warn us. Swahan and the other people from Jiujiang Medical University were searching inside the room. The real reason he wanted Qin Guang to stand outside the room was because he wanted to use Qin Guang as bait to distract the ghosts and monsters so that when the real threat arrived, their main target would be Qin Guang. Okay. 
Just as Qin Guang answered, he heard that strange noise again. The noise came from the bottom floor. Slowly turning his head, Qin Guang stared at the mouth of the staircase. The flaking walls had white calligraphy of the word bliss inverted on them. The floor was littered with banknotes, and a bowl of white rice were placed before each room. This whole building felt like a mass grave, and it was the home for a whole building of dead people. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. I am just visiting a haunted house. I have been to real haunted locations before. There is no reason for me to be afraid of these fake things, right? Qin Guang tried his best to console himself. But once the emotion of fear appeared, it would grow and spread like wild grass. The more he tried to convince himself, the more his brain would move toward that direction that he had been trying to avoid. Qin Guang could not stop his eyes from wandering to the mouth of the staircase. Since no one had passed by that place for a long time, the sound-controlled lights at the corner of the staircase went off on their own, and the whole corridor sank into darkness. TSK. This is quite scary. Sucking in a cold breath, Qin Guang curled voluntarily backward. For some reason, he had a very bad feeling in his heart. It was as if his natural instincts were urging him to lead this dangerous place. Qin Guang turned around to ask Zhu Han, how much longer do you guys need to search inside there? The latter's answer floated out from the bedroom. We are almost done. After getting the reply, Qin Guang felt more comforted. His current condition was like a child who did not dare sleep on his own. After a fixed period of time, he would call out to see if he would get any response from his parents to check and see whether his parents had left him alone in the bedroom or not. Once his heart returned to his stomach, a faded cold light suddenly shone on his face, and the sound-controlled lights at the corner of the staircase suddenly switched on. Someone has gone past the staircase? But I did not see or hear anyone? He stared fixatedly at the corner of the stairs, so he did not notice the blood that had started to leak out from the gap in the wall. However, he did notice that the black fog was slowly spreading inside the corridor. The black fog has entered the building? His heart started to race. It appeared like someone was moving inside the fog. Training his focus, Qin Guang stared directly at the corner of the staircase. Just as he blinked, a child's face suddenly poked out from the corner of the stairs. What the f asterisk ck? Holding the rag doll's head, Qin Guang stumbled back in panic, causing his body to knock into the room door. What is going on? Swahan and he San quickly ran over when they heard the commotion. There was a child at the corner. He appears to be tailing us. Qin Guang hugged the rag doll's head tightly as his eyes kept staring at the mouth of the stairs. He San summoned his courage to move to the mouth of the stairs. He could not see the aforementioned child. Is it possible that you were hallucinating? He is not lying. It is true that someone was inside the stairwell earlier. Swahan pointed at the voice-controlled lights. The lights inside the stairwell are on. That means that someone has indeed been here. We need to pick up our pace. It looks like Boss Chen is not going to give us much more time. Swahan had personally experienced how scary it would be when the ghosts of the entire scenario went on a rampage. That was a memory that he did not wish to revisit. Go to the next room now, hurry. Swahan had conspicuously picked up speed. Qin Guang did not dare stay outside the room alone, so the four of them entered the room together to search for any possible clues. The time is running out. Swahan was sweating profusely, and there was an unbridled anxiety in his eyes. Next to him, Mr. Wang noticed this emotion appearing in Swahan for the first time. Clearing the scenario was almost impossible, Swahan was already starting to consider how to escape. Of the team of four, only He San and Qin Guang were still trying their best to search for clues. I've noticed something strange. Whenever we come across a family with a child, they will ultimately get into some kind of tragedy. He San found a family portrait on the windowsill. The adults' faces had been preserved, but the child's face had been scratched away. 
There appears to be a ghost that desperately wishes for the love of a family inside this building. He is envious of those families with happiness and bliss. The happier the family is, the worse their ending will be. Your analysis is a bit too one-sided. If you ask me, I think the ghost we are dealing with is rather innocent. Even if he represents evil, it is a seed of evil, the kind that is just growing. Swahan stared at the picture he San was holding. Just like how some children like to go tear off the wings of dragonflies or sneak up to stray cats and dogs to beat them, yes, their actions are reprehensible, but that also explains at the same time that they have not been given correct guidance in their lives. Swahan placed the family portrait where it was found. Do you guys still remember Johang Apartments Block 2? The building that looked like a private mental asylum? Senior, why would you suddenly bring up that place? The styles of these two buildings are completely different. Block 2 is more like a mental hospital while Block 1 is a normal residential building. Hisan was rather confused. Think back closely to what I said earlier. The ghost inside this building is a monster that has not achieved a mature self-construct. If he runs into the correct people, perhaps he might repent and turn into a good ghost. But the despairing truth is that the sub-scenario that we visited earlier was a mental asylum. He was not only not given the correct treatment, he was misguided by these people down a deeper path of darkness. Swahan had finally figured out the connection between the two buildings. Based on my analysis, there should be a part of the ragdoll's body inside each building in this hidden scenario. In the process of finding all of its body parts, we will have to experience the whole life story of the rag doll and watch how he drops into the dark abyss step by step and becomes the version of himself that he hates the most. We have just found the head. Based on what you're saying, this means we still need to go to another four buildings? Ching Guang felt slammed by a fist of despair. The haunted house would not have given us a mission that we cannot complete. Therefore, after giving it some thought, I believe the true mission of this scenario is not to find all the body parts of the rag doll and bring them out, but to experience the life story of the rag doll ourselves and figure out a way to reform him, help him rebuild a correct self-construct, or at least make him see kindness enough to let the rest of us go," Swahan said confidently. The mission is so positive and inspirational? Ching Guang had trouble accepting a statement like that. Of course, this was not the man's fault. After all, a haunted house always gave people the first impression of being a scary place, especially Chin Ji's haunted house. It was meant to reach into the depths of your fear. Who would have expected such a ghastly appearance to hide such a warm and gentle core? The rag doll's body parts can chase away the black fog. The haunted house boss wanted us to find the body parts for two reasons. One, it forces us to experience the previous life of that ghost and two, the body parts themselves are a kind of protection for us, aiding us in completing our mission. The boss of this haunted house is very brilliant. Every mission that he arranges has a deeper meaning behind it. Once he heard Swahan say that, Ching Guang's hands that held the rag doll's head curled around it even harder. He did not realize that Swahan's words were a mixture of truth and falsehood. Swahan purposely let slip this information so that Ching Guang would listen to their orders more obediently and more willingly. There were not that many visitors left. Therefore, Swahan started to value Ching Guang even more. If this was another moment in time, he would not even have thought of communicating with Ching Guang because they were completely different individuals. It was clear that Swahan was not as active as before during the search for clues. Mr. Wang's attention though was more placed on his observation of Swahan. Of the team of four, only He San and Ching Guang were seriously looking for clues inside the haunted house. Entering the bedroom, Ching Guang, who was hugging the rag doll's head, got close to the bed. He noticed that there was a layer of something black on the bedsheets. It looked like some kind of ointment. What is this? He pulled back the mosquito net to look inside it. Amid the black material, there was an outline of a living person. The empty space still had some very small characters written on the bedsheet. Ching Guang stepped onto the bed with his shoes on. 
He squatted down on an empty spot, not polluted by the black material, took out his phone, and aimed the light at the bedsheet. Today, it returned again. It stood at the door. I have no idea what it was up to. It appears to wish to enter the room. It looked like my child who has passed away, or at least, it looked familiar from behind. My family saw it as well. I am not hallucinating, it really exists. Whose family does the child belong to? How come it appears at the corridor whenever midnight falls? Just reading the words left on the bedsheet, Qin Guang felt the hairs all over his body stand up on end. There is a ghost child living inside this building. As he continued to read, Qin Guang felt a chilling presence getting stuck in his throat, like he had just swallowed a large ice cube that refused to melt. He was focused on reading the messages when the shadow that was formed from the light of his phone suddenly flickered. Qin Guang turned back to look. He San, who was closest to him, was standing at the door of the bedroom, but he did not appear to be interested in entering. It was not that medical student. I was squatting here and have not moved. Could it be a trick of the mind? Qin Guang did not dare stay too long inside the bedroom. He straightened up, and his forehead knocked into the top of the mosquito net. It buzzed with pain. He reached out to scratch his head and subconsciously lifted his neck to look. At that moment, there were many faces leaning on the mosquito net above his head. The pale faces were all imprinted on the outside of the mosquito net. The clear facial features started to sink inward. All the faces were all staring at him. The scariest thing was that he had no idea how long they had been staring at him. Arg! Qin Guang collapsed on the ground. Footprints started to appear on the strange black material. It felt as if the ghosts that were previously outside the mosquito net had crawled inside it. Help! Help me! Hugging the rag doll's head, Qin Guang was like a bull, gone berserk as he rolled off from the edge of the bed. His body was entangled inside the mosquito net, so when he fell, he yanked off the net that was fixed to the ceiling. He screamed madly as he rushed toward the bedroom door. He San was frightened by the sudden scream from Qin Guang. When he recovered himself, he saw Qin Guang charging at him like a crazy bull. The two tumbled to the ground. Qin Guang, who was entrapped inside the mosquito net, rolled on the ground. He did not seem to have recovered from the sting of fear. Quiet down. Swahan had no idea what Qin Guang had seen, but from Qin Guang's over-the-top reaction, he knew that the last stage of the ghost fetus scenario had already started. Since Qin Guang was holding the mission item, he was the first one to be attacked. Swahan signaled toward Mr. Wang, and the two of them worked together to extricate Qin Guang from the mosquito net. There were ghosts. I saw many ghosts. They were inside the mosquito net. Qin Guang screamed loudly. His face was pale, and he was so frightened that his lips were purple. I have experienced supernatural events before, and this was even more intense than last time. I am not lying to you. This place is really haunted. I cannot be sure whether ghosts exist in this world, but I know that most of the time, ghosts only apply some kind of psychological signal on their victims, so what you need to do now is take deep breaths and try to stand up with the rest of us. Mr. Wang's voice was commanding and assuring, his words slowly helped Qin Guang calm down. The rag doll's body part is not inside this room. Let's prepare to leave. Compared to Mr. Wang, Swahan was a much colder in person. He was the first to leave the room and enter the corridor. The black fog had already shrouded the entire corridor. There were many children's bloody handprints that appeared on the walls, and it was worth noting that these bloody handprints were still wet as if the children had just crawled over the wall earlier when they were searching inside the room. It is the same scenario, but it gives off a completely different feeling from when I first entered it. Mr. Wang's brows were creased together. Honestly, some of the crime scenes that I have been to were not as scary as this place. The scarier stuff is waiting for us. Swahan dragged Qin Guang to his side. Currently, we are inside the hidden scenario, or in other words, the last scenario of this whole visit. 
the exit should be at the deepest part of this scenario. If we are separated from each other, try to run toward the deepest part of this scenario. Do you understand? Understood. Qing Guang felt that Zhu Han was being very righteous and fair toward him. He shared all of his information with him and did not purposely hide anything from him. Since you are the one holding the rag doll's head, you have to be especially careful. Whether or not we will be able to escape from this place is heavily dependent on you. Swahan still had some other words to give Qin Guang when another change occurred in the corridor. The black fog suddenly thickened, and the sound of high heels clacking echoed inside the building. Someone is coming. It's coming from the lower floor. Swahan perked up both of his ears. All the buildings in the ghost fetus scenario were inverted compared to the actual world behind the door. The first floor was closest to the ground, and the fifth floor was at the most bottom level of the building. The sound of high heels clicking against the ground directly exploded in their minds. Swahan shared a look with Hisan. They were reminded of another legend inside Chen Jie's haunted house. There was a scary red specter who would appear randomly inside the haunted house. No one knew what she looked like, but before everyone fainted, they could clearly remember hearing high heels clicking against the floor. We need to retrace our steps. We have to abandon this building. We need to leave immediately. Swahan's tone turned urgent. The four of them immediately rushed as fast as they could out of the building. The monsters in the black fog appeared to have realized that they had been discovered, so they did not try to hide their presence anymore. The sound of crying and laughing appeared at the same time, doors were all pushed open, the banknotes on the ground were lifted off the ground by an unknown draft, and strange, eerie background music rang inside the cramped corridor. The four visitors raced up the stairs. Inside the black fog, at the corner of the staircase, several red shadows slowly appeared. What are those? Swahan could feel his body start to involuntarily shake. He did not even know why he was so overwhelmed by fear. The sound of footsteps behind him got closer and closer, and the red shadows before them became clearer and clearer. Blood rain fell on their faces. A face with her lips sewn together by threads was the first to appear before the visitors. Have you seen my child? Blood rain slid down the red raincoat. Before she finished, another large, rotund man in a red shirt walked out from beside her. The man was dragging a large cleaver in his left hand and dragging an unconscious, dead body, covered in fresh blood in his right. Fu Bol? Seeing Fu Bol, who had turned into a prop of the haunted house, Qin Guang's eyeballs almost fell out from their sockets. His heart skipped a beat, and he almost keeled over. Just as these two red specters appeared, a child's giggling appeared from above the visitors. Raising their heads to look, a child covered in fresh blood was crawling on the ceiling, dragging a whole lot of doll parts behind him. Why are you leaving so soon? Stay and play with me. Blood fell rightly on Qin Guang's face. He was standing at the front, and at that moment, the three red specters were surrounding him. His legs were weakening. Qin Guang did not know what to do. The footsteps coming from the underground finally arrived. A pair of red high heels floated out from the black fog. She appeared to be the queen of the curse, followed by an entourage of strange monsters. Behind you! Behind you! Qin Guang shouted. The high heels were only several steps behind Swahan. They were already in a deep quandary. Everyone was on the brink of collapse. Behind me? Swahan's reflexes appeared to have slowed down. It was as if he had just realized something, and he turned to look behind him. Through the black fogs, Swahan happened to connect with the pair of eyes that were filled with curses. His heart squeezed. Even though he was already mentally prepared, Swahan still felt his scalp go numb. But the biggest difference between him and the normal visitors was that he had a superhuman determination. His brain worked quickly, and Swahan came up with a solution almost instantly. When a person receives a horror more than their normal threshold, they will enter temporary shutdown, and their body will react accordingly. 
When a normal person receives overwhelming shock, the first problem will arise with their circulation system. Their coronary artery will shrink, causing the loss of blood flow to the rest of their body, which leads to heart palpitations, high blood pressure, lack of breath, heart agitation, and difficulty of breathing. Related knowledge flashed across his mind, Swahan grabbed his chest, and like a landed fish, his pupils rolled back in his head, and his body fell like a fallen tree. This was an unresolvable problem, so Swahan decided to fake passing out. This was a plan that he had come up with from the beginning. He purposely had Qin Guang hold the rag doll's head to distract the actors and told Qin Guang to run toward the deepest part of the scenario. After Qin Guang had led everyone away, he would retrace his steps and leave from the hidden pathway. His body was careening backward. Before Zwahan fell, he suddenly heard a heavy thud beside him. His eyelids flickered slightly open, and Zwahan realized that Mr. Wang had already fainted. His face was unnaturally red, and his expression was one of pure pain, and before he fainted, he even used his hands to press against his brain. When a person is in shock, their internal hormones will go out of balance. The symptoms of this include a red rash on the face following the rise in body temperature and blood pressure. At the same time, shock will trigger a reaction in the human being's nervous system. The symptoms include dizziness and headaches, and a small percentage of people will even react with projectile vomiting. From a medical perspective, Mr. Wong's fake fainting was obviously more professional. Truly, the older the ginger, the spicier they are. When Zwahan and Mr. Wong fainted at the same time, he sang caught up to the idea and reacted almost instantly. But just as his hand went to clutch his chest, before he could fall, he felt a pull on his arm. Quick, let's go. This is our chance. What the? Let go. After the red high heels showed up, the three red specters had obviously slowed down. They seemed to be afraid of the current red high heels. Qin Guang used this opportunity and forcibly yanked He San through the three stunned red specters. The two raced like their lives depended on it. The three red specters and red high heels all then gave chase after them, running out of the building. Chapter 1134 In that moment, I believe I saw my lecturer after the few red specters left, the black fog in the building not only did not disperse, if anything, it only thickened further. The scary laughter of children echoed in the corridors, and countless monsters weaved from curses, crawled on the walls. Without the presence of the red high heels, this scenario appeared to be even scarier than before. Once those red specters show up, the only thing left for us to do is clean up. A woman wearing a flower pattern dress walked over. There were two men following beside her. One of them looked to be in his forties, and he always had a smile ready for those around him. Miss Dress, Mr. Wood, looks like you too will also have the chance to experience the joy of this job. We are given the chance to scare the visitors, and from that, we will be able to gain negative emotions from them. It helps us in the process and will give them an experience that they will never forget. The boss is really a genius, only a genius could come up with a brilliant idea like that. Miss Dress, who was in the flower pattern dress, was very impressed by Chen Go. There are many other brilliant qualities about our boss, but the most important thing is that he treats us with sincerity, and he really sees us as one of his family. The middle-aged man walked to Zwahan's side. Whenever a new scenario is open to the public, there will be a group of visitors that serve as the first sacrifice. I actually have quite a good impression of these students from the Jiujiang Medical University. What can I say? They have just come at the wrong time. Brother Zhou, is it really okay for us to scare the visitors like this? I am afraid that something will really happen to them. The rather numb Mr. Wood turned to look the two fainted visitors, and he was earnestly feeling pity toward them. They will be fine. To prevent this kind of problem from happening, the haunted house has the most professional medical unit, and all the fainted visitors get sent over for inspection before they are sent out of the haunted house, the middle-aged man who was referred to as Brother Zhou said proudly. We even have a professional medical team at this haunted house? 
yes, they reside in the underground morgue. We will be going there now. The medical unit was based in the underground morgue. This sentence was rather contradictory, but since Miss Dress and Mr. Wood were both new employees at the haunted house, they did not press for more details. The three employees worked together to pick up the two fainted visitors. After they took the visitors out of the apartments, there were carts moved over from the underground morgue waiting for them outside the apartment building along with the other workers. All the workers appeared to be very familiar with this process. They adroitly moved the fainted visitors onto the carts and moved to the fringe of the ghost fetus scenario. This time, the number of fainted visitors is rather high, so the group of doctors have personally come from the underground morgue. With the directions from Brother Zhou, the two fainted visitors were sent into one of the buildings. Be careful over there. Do not accidentally bump their heads. The haunted house workers pushed open a wooden door. There were no lights in the room, but once they entered it, the surrounding temperature dropped instantly as if they had entered a fridge. Dr. Wei, would you mind holding back your presence? You're going to give the visitors a cold. Brother Zhou reminded the good doctor softly. More students from Jiujiang Medical University? The old man's voice came out from inside the room. Hearing this voice, old Zhou had a better smile on his face. The other haunted house workers were reacting normally, but one of the fainted visitors started to shudder and shake. This time, we not only have a student from Jiujiang Medical University, we also have a lecturer from the university. Brother Zhou pointed at the fainted visitors and then took a step back. A lecturer? What is going on? Even a lecturer has abandoned their job to come and do this nonsense? Dr. Wei in the white lab coat and three other doctors walked out from inside the room. The four pairs of eyes skipped over Zhuahan, and they all focused on Mr. Wang. Wang Qingji? When he saw Mr. Wang, the name practically fell out of Dr. Wei's lips. Just as he said that name, the fainted visitor's body shook violently. The always stern and severe Mr. Wong flipped open his eyes. When he saw Dr. Wei, his eyes reddened almost instantly, and he croaked out with melancholy and shook. Sir? Sir, sir? Swahan, who was still pretending to be unconscious, slightly opened his eyes. He was too curious about this development. Being recognized by his own student, Dr. Wei's original anger halved. The old man did not say anything for a long time. Seeing Mr. Wang crawl down from the cart, Dr. Wei said, You have the wrong person. He turned around and disappeared into the room. Sir. Mr. Wang chased after Dr. Wei. He knew that Dr. Wei was not of this world anymore. After all, he had personally sent his dear teacher away but now he had encountered his respected teacher again inside the haunted house. The people from the past reappeared before him. Mr. Wang did not have any fear in his heart. He merely wanted to chase after Dr. Wei. The overly long time he had spent faking his unconsciousness made his legs a bit numb. Just as Mr. Wang stood up, his arms were held back by others. Let me go. He struggled as he yelled the name of his lecturer. At that moment, he was acting like a child calling after his parent. No wonder he is a lecturer at a respected university. His acting is so good that he managed to trick all the ghosts. Mr. Wood grabbed Mr. Wong while Ol Zhou's hands lightly pressed on Mr. Wong's head. He did not use much force, but Mr. Wong's body slowly crumbled to the ground. Peace returned to the room. After Mr. Wang had really fainted, Dr. Wei walked out from inside the room. The old man had a conflicted expression. He squatted before Mr. Wang and studied him for a long time. Of all my students, he is the most like me. In fact, he is even more serious and stubborn than I am. You'd better find a way to make him lose this part of his memory, or he will spend the rest of his life visiting this haunted house until he finds out the truth. Are you sure you want to do that? You are his respected teacher. This would be a very good memory for him to have as a keepsake. Ol Zhou still thought that it was better to ask for a second opinion. Keep what sake? When I was alive, I did everything that I could. 
I have already taught them everything that I know, so I have no regrets. Dr. Wei waved his hands. The living should look forward. It is understandable to be melancholic for a while, but drowning in the sorrow of the past will only drag them back. Okay, then I will go and get Zhang Yi. Ol Zhao and another employee went to summon Zhang Yi, while Dr. Wei's eyes slowly moved away from Mr. Wang to look at Zhuahan. He shook his head lightly. You perhaps might not know this, but this is actually the third time you've pretended to faint before us. Zhuahan knew perfectly well that the elder's words were meant for him. His eyelids were shuddering. He resisted the great fear that was growing in his heart and forced himself to keep his eyes closed. Dr. Wei looked at Zhuahan's youthful and energetic face, and he slowly reached out to touch his head. You are the most talented child that I have ever encountered. You have all the qualities to be a very good forensic doctor. There is nothing more that I can teach you. I only hope that you will remember this, always insist on the truth. The dead cannot speak, so we forensic doctors have to help them voice their regrets. The old man was suddenly reminded of Chen Gu. Now that I think about it, that is also exactly what Boss Chen is doing. Could it be that the entwined interaction between the haunted house and Jiujiang Medical University was already written in the stars? New Century Park's haunted house had a very good relationship with Jiujiang Medical University. That was a well-known truth. Their relationship was so good that there were people online who suspected that Qin Ji's haunted house hired the students from the university to act as his ghosts. Similarly, we are all helping the dead who can't speak seek their justice. Perhaps this is why both parties can understand each other so well. Dr. Wei did not use much force on his palm, but Zhuahan felt a chill on the back of his neck, and he slowly lost consciousness. Making a living person faint without them realizing it was not that difficult for a ghost. At Qin Ji's request, this had already become a skill that all the workers at the haunted house had mastered before they started working. Moments later, Ol Zhou returned with Zhang Yi, and the latter started to work on hiding parts of the visitor's memory. Let me go. Please let me go. He San struggled as hard as he could, but probably due to highly strung nerves, Qing Guang only had one thought in mind, and that was to run. He did not hear He San's pleas at all. The two broke through the barrier formed by the red specters and ran out of Jiu Hong Apartments Block 1. The whole hidden scenario was shrouded in black fog. They could not tell the direction at all. Qing Guang and He San did not dare stop. They did not even have a chance to take a breath before they took off into the black fog again. Swahan said that the exit is at the deepest part of the scenario. Now that I have the rag doll's head, the ghosts do not dare get close to me. If I am truly surrounded, I can sacrifice this student from the university and use him to distract the ghosts so that I can escape. Qing Guang was racing like his life depended on it. He felt like he still had a chance of escaping. Hey! Watch where you're going. It's pointless to just barrel aimlessly in here. He San yelled urgently, but Qing Guang was already beyond hearing any advice. This popular host who had left the hospital once again found his mental state at the edge of a breakdown. He did not wish to be sent back to the hospital just two days after he left it. When a person was under the great pressure, their inner potential would be invoked. Their adrenaline level rose, greatly improving their physical capability. Qing Guang and He San, both of whom did not like to do sports that much normally, somehow fought their way through the fog with the red specters chasing after them. Another building appeared before them, Jin Hua Apartments Block A, we're at a dead end. There is no way we are going into that building. If we are surrounded inside a room, then it will be over for us. He San raised his voice to warn Qing Guang. He had just said that when he saw a figure walk out from the building. Both parties were startled when they saw each other, and it was Qing Guang who was the first to recover. You are. Xiao Sun? Oh my, there are other survivors. Sun Xiao Jun was very surprised. He wanted to say something else when he suddenly felt the boiling fury in the black fog. A few red specters materialized in the black fog, 
and this army had stunned even this haunted house employee. What the? What have you two done? Without saying anything, Xiao Sun turned back and ran, crawling back into Jin Hua Apartments Block A. When creatures ran into danger, they would display a sheep effect. Wherever the leading sheep went, the group of sheep would follow. Only Qin Guang saw Xiao Sun run back into the building. He dragged Ti San and chased after him. The three kept running down the stairs. The building appeared like it led directly to hell. They passed one floor after another, but they still had not reached the end. He San's mind was filled with despair, but there was no way back. All he could do was keep following Xiao Sun and Qin Guang down this road to hell. Brother Sun, where are you leading us? Qin Kuang slowly realized that something was wrong. This staircase kept on going downward like it had no ending. I have no idea either. Also, why are you two following me? Sun Xiaojun was just a baleful specter, he was also afraid of red specters, especially after he had accidentally offended one of them. So, just like that, two visitors found themselves chasing a ghost down to the bottom floor of Jin Hua Apartments Block A. Along the way, they did not dare stop because there were too many abnormal neighbors living in this building, and the way they looked at the visitors was like they wanted to eat them alive. The blood trickled down the banister and the walls. The black fog surged down the stairs, and the three visitors had nowhere else to run. What do we do now? We have nowhere else to go. I already told you we should not go inside the building. You guys are too stubborn to listen to me. Get into the room. Quick. Go and hide. The tour is almost over anyway. The three visitors pushed open a random room. They held their noses and mouths as they went hiding inside. What is it? After closing the door, he Sans group realized that they found themselves inside a room with no furniture but multiple sets of old, boxy television sets. The television sets were placed together, and just the sight of them made one feel quite pressed. This feels so weird. The room suddenly became very quiet, and the footsteps outside the corridor disappeared. It was as if the room that they were in was forgotten by time. The air froze, and the sound of static appeared. The television that was placed right in the middle suddenly came on. The faded light fell on the three visitors' faces. The black and white static flickered, and one could see a black shadow that was slowly walking toward them. When the screen returned to normal, a child's face was showing on the screen. The child's gaze appeared to pass through the screen and stare directly at the three visitors. His face slowly opened into a smile as his body slowly retreated. Then, the scenario that appeared on the screen shocked everyone. The three visitors appeared on the screen, and at that moment, the child was sitting among them. He's right here. Qin Guang pointed at the empty space before him. There was nothing there, but the television was clearly showing a child standing there. It should be some kind of reflection. Before he San could finish, all the televisions got switched on at the same time. The static sound tortured the nerves of the visitors. After the screen stabilized, the three visitors saw something scary that would scar them for life. Each television was broadcasting extremely gory and scary images, and these images were taken inside the haunted house. Some of main characters shown were their once teammates. It was so suffocatingly real, but that was not the scariest part. It was as if all the killers, ghosts, and red specters had made a promise, they all seemed to notice that someone was watching them at the same time. Their bloody heads slowly turned around at the same time, and the crazed eyes stared at the three visitors beyond the screen. The eyes filled with blood, madness, and sadism stared right at the visitors. The expressions of the ghosts and murderers slowly changed. It was as if they had found new prey. They dragged their weapons of choice and slowly walked toward the screens. They got closer and closer to the screens. The scary faces stuck to the screens. Just as the three visitors were about to faint from shock, the television sets in the room suddenly all got turned off. The light all disappeared from the room, and the three visitors collapsed to the ground. 
They gasped heavily for air like they had just been given a second lease on life. But before they could recover, the television sets all turned on again, but this time, only the victims were left on screens. The killers and ghosts had disappeared. Where, have they gone? He sand stammered. At that moment, knocking came from behind them. Dong dong dong. The three visitors instantly scurried away from the room door. Their faces were pale, none of them dared open the door. The knocking became more insistent, and the door trembled. Several seconds later, the door suddenly opened on its own. There was nothing outside the door, but the light in the room suddenly darkened as if the light from the screens was being blocked by something. He san, who was closest to the television sets, turned back to look, and his gaze was directly glued to the television screens. All the screens had changed. They all turned to show this room that they were in. Other than the three visitors, the room was incredibly crowded, filled to the brim with different kinds of people. Blood dripped until the screens were dyed red. One figure after another appeared in the room, and the image broadcast on the television sets was slowly turning into reality. Ching Guang was so scared that he had already fainted. Before he san lost consciousness, somehow, the scenario from back when he first visited this haunted house crossed his mind. If only I hadn't tried to be so cheap that afternoon and used that theme park coupon that had almost expired. Chapter 1135 Xian High Branch, the dead body cart's wheels rolled across the ground. Ol Zhou hummed a merry tune and happily sent the carts of visitors out of the underground scenario. The longer he worked at Boss Chen's haunted house, the more Ol Zhou enjoyed this occupation. He was glad that Chen Gu had decided to take the few of them with him when he completed his mission at the old apartment. Now, Ol Bai had become a red specter, Duan Yu had walked out from the mist of her depression, and even the most despondent Yan Danian had accomplished his biggest dream. All this was possible due to Chen Gu. Turning back to look at Chen Gu, who was standing amid the group of red specters, Ol Zhou could not hide the smile that appeared on his face. I have already found out everything that happened. The reason this tragedy has occurred this time is because of me. I gravely underestimated your power. Chen Gu and several red specters surrounded Xiao Sun in the middle. Brother Sun looked as sad as anything. His watering eyes were upturned. Boss, I know my mistake already. Can you please give me a chance to redeem myself? Do you plan to do that? Xiao Sun crawled up from the ground and walked to the red raincoat's side. He used both of his hands to grab the red raincoat's wrist and then placed the red raincoat's hands over his heart. Big sister, I swear that whether your child is still alive or not, I will help you find him. After saying that, a thread that was entwining both red and black color crawled out of his heart and proceeded to curl around the red raincoat's pinky finger. If a baleful specter wished to become a red specter, they needed to have a heart, and a heart was made up from threads of blood vessels like this, but strangely enough, the blood vessels within Xiao Sun's body were all alternatively red and black like this. It was incredibly anomalous. Staring at the thread on her pinky finger for a long time, the red raincoat paused as if to think before lightly nodding. Xiao Sun, would you have passed your misfortune to red raincoat just like that? Chen Ge asked softly. He was really worried that this might happen. Hearing what Chen Ge had to say, Xiao Sun felt so wrong that tears came to his eyes again. Chen Ge quickly moved to console him. Since the red raincoat has forgiven you, the conflict between you two can be considered to have been resolved. But this time, you almost tore the haunted house apart. That is something that we need to deal with. I did not mean to do it on purpose. It wouldn't have really mattered even if you had destroyed the haunted house, but the problem is you almost scared that person called Ma Feng to death. The man had already fainted so many times, so why did you insist on waking him up every time? When I saw that through the surveillance camera, my scalp went numb immediately. My heart even went out toward him. The man suffered more than enough. Chen Gu was telling the truth. Fainting was the body's self-protective mechanism. The man had already fainted, but he was brought back to consciousness again and again. 
How was that different from bringing the tortured soul back to life to be flayed again and again? Xiao Sun opened his arms and said with a helpless expression, If I said I only wanted to save him, would you guys believe me? When Ma Feng wakes up and hears you say that, I believe he will probably faint again from pure anger. Chen Gu and the employees around him started to laugh. Xiao Sun always had the capability of doing the wrong thing out of kindness, but that could not be blamed on the young man. That was simply his natural talent. Laugh all you want. In any case, I do not plan to act as a visitor anymore. You guys have no idea how nerve-wracking it is to be surrounded by more than ten living people at the same time. Xiao Sun leaned the wall and looked for all intents and purposes to have given up on his life already. Actually, he knew about his own talent, but he only wanted to be a part of the big family. Xiao Sun, pretending to mix among the visitors indeed is a great waste of your talent, so I have a very important mission that I have arranged for you. Chen Gu slowly drew back the smile on his face, and his expression turned severe and serious. This mission is related to the survival of our haunted house. Noticing the change in Chen Ji's tone, Xiao Sun also stood up straighter. Brother, are you sure you wish to hand over such an important mission over to me? I am afraid I might screw it up again. You are the only candidate that is suitable for this mission. Of course, the current you is still far from capable of accepting it, so the other employees at the haunted house and I will conduct intensive training for you. Chen Gu planned to fully unleash Xiao Sun's hidden potential so that this cursed seed would grow up into a large and powerful cursed tree. Later in the afternoon, I will need you to come to the staff break room. Then, I will tell you the objective of the mission in more detail. Okay. Then, there is nothing else. Everyone, please try to recover the scenario as best as you can and then return to your own posts and prepare to receive the next batch of visitors. After giving all the orders, Chen Gu walked out from the underground scenario. Ol Zhou had already moved all the fainted visitors to the entrance. All Chen Gu needed to do now was wheel them all out. Pulling back the thick curtains, following the creaking and cracking of the wheels from the body carts, all the visitors who were gathered outside the haunted house turned to look toward Chen Gu. The warm rays of the sun showered on his body, and Chen Gu pushed out the first cart of visitors. See, what did I tell you earlier? It is another group wipe situation. Look at how peacefully they are smiling. Do you still want that ice cream? Still dare cry? If you continue to cry, when you grow up, I will send you inside that haunted house. Where have all those people who posted the thread about challenging the most difficult scenario gone? Quick, we need to split up and go bring them back. Before so many visitors, Chingu pushed out the other top haunted house designers. Uncle Su, I will need you to help me call over some theme park workers. There are more after this? After this cart, there are three more carts. Chingu moved all the visitors that had visited the ghost fetus scenario out of the haunted house. As predicted by some of the earlier visitors that knew Chingji's haunted house well, all the visitors that went in had come out on the body carts. There were none that could still walk out on their own two feet. Uncle Su had already called for help on his end, and they arrived to hurriedly take the visitors to Theme Park's infirmary. If this happened at any other theme park, it could be something that would shut the place down, but at New Century Park, it happened so commonly that most of the visitors had even gotten used to it. Even though more than ten people had fainted at the same time, the order within Theme Park was not disturbed at all. Everyone went about their day normally. Those who were lining up continued to line up, and those who were supposed to visit the haunted house continued with their tours. At most, some of them stopped to take one or two pictures or recorded a short video to keep as a memento. In less than ten minutes, everything had returned to normal. At noon, the long queue was still waiting outside the haunted house. For the visitors who had waited for a long time already, Uncle Sue was kind enough to provide them with bottles of mineral water. Back inside the haunted house, Chingu had already returned to the staff break room, and currently, there were four employees standing inside the room. Xiao Sun, the mission that I am going to give you this time is very important, but it is also very dangerous. 
Before you give me your word, I hope that you will listen closely to everything that I have to say. Chinggis sat down on the chair and waved at the space beside him. The red specter ol by understood the meaning of the gesture and placed a black, non-transparent plastic bag on the table next to Chin Gu. Our haunted house is currently faced with a very large threat. Behind the door of the ghost fetus world, we killed a demon god sent by the cursed hospital in Exian Hai. That demon god is probably being digested by Zhang Ye. That is an action that the cursed hospital will never forgive. The hospital will definitely try their best to take revenge on us. This was the first time Chen Gu had revealed the information related to the cursed hospital to his employees. The cursed hospital is situated at the borders of Exian Hai and Jiujiang, but geographically speaking, it is closer to Exian Hai. The place is incredibly dangerous because they likely have more than one demon god at their disposal. Chen Gu did not hide anything. He shared all the information he had about the cursed hospital with his most trusted employees. He would have no problem putting his life in the hands of anyone currently standing inside the staff break room. This time, there were people from the cursed hospital mixed among the visitors. The enemy's special power is very unique. It can help him avoid detection from even the top red specters. But luckily enough, due to Xiao Sun's presence, we detected them before they could do further damage. Because of me? Xiao Sun did not even know what he had done. Yes, because you turned the whole haunted house upside down to the point that the alarms went off everywhere. When I came in, I thought that the cursed hospital had infiltrated the place, so I hurriedly summoned all of the other employees to salvage the situation. To my surprise, there were indeed people sent over by the cursed hospital, hidden among the visitors. After hearing Chen Gu say all that, Xiao Sun touched his nose embarrassedly. I did not do it on purpose. Whether you did it on purpose or not is not important. The important thing is that it has helped expose your immense talent. Disguising yourself as an extra among the haunted house visitors is a waste of your talent, you need a bigger stage," Chen Gu said as he opened the black plastic bag on the table. There was a patient's garb inside the bag. The garb looked rather normal. There was not even the hospital's name on it. It only had a number on it, 101. Other than the patient garb, there was a patient's form inside the bag. There was no name on this patient's form. Wherever the signature of the patient was needed, there was only written one number, 101. Number 101? Xiao Sun, this will be your number in the future. Mine? Xiao Sun picked up the patient garb with the utmost confusion. The question marks were viewable all over his head. Brother, don't tell me you wish for me to pretend to be a mental patient? But you know very well that I do not know how to act. You not only need to act as a mental patient. You only have to infiltrate into the cursed hospital to obtain information for us. Chen Ge then waved at Zhang Yi and picked out a lingering spirit that was almost dispersing from the slightly hunchbacked Zhang Yi. This lingering spirit is the real patient 101, but he has been turned into a simpleton. His only remaining memories have been tempered with bias. With Zhang Yi's help, take it with you and practice as much as you can. Try your best to get to know it and then try to become it. Big brother, are you sure I am capable of doing this? Xiao Sun had very little confidence in himself. After all, he had almost ruined the ghost fetus scenario earlier. That is why I have found a few other teachers for you. Chen Ge first had Ol Zhou come over. You will follow your brother Zhou. I have already arranged everything. Everyone will help you together to train you to become the most perfect actor our haunted house has ever seen. Okay. Xiao Sun took the patient garb and the lingering spirit of patient 101 and was about to leave the room when he was stopped again by Chen Gu. Wait a minute. I have a few books here with me. Take them and try to read them as closely as you can. Chen Gu pulled out several thick books from under his bed. Among them, there were books on societal psychology, microexpressions, and social psychology. The best psychologist of Jiujiang once recommended these few books to me, and now I have handed them over to you. 
These things might not be directly useful to you, but they will aid you in changing the way you face any difficult problems and expand your mindset. Chen Gu handed the books that Dr. Gao had once recommended over to Xiao Sunday. The whole process had a ritualistic inheritance feeling to it. Good luck, I have faith in you. After all the ghost employees had left, Chen Gu crawled into bed to rest for a moment. The cursed hospital has already made their move on me. I need to make the necessary preparation to counter them. Chen Gu took out some paper and a pen and started to doodle on it. He arranged the things that he needed to do in order, from the most urgent tasks to the less important ones. Zhang Wenyu is already very close to me. If I work harder, perhaps I can persuade him to join us. Before I depart for Xian Hai, I need to get him to side with me. Even though he already had plenty of red specters, the feeling that Zhang Wenyu gave him was very unique. He did not have the Yin energy unique to ghosts on him at all. If he did not know it from the black phone, even Chen Gu would probably have treated him as a living person. Other than Zhang Wenyu, there are still many more famous local ghost stories in Jiujiang. Over the next few days, I should take my employees to look around. Perhaps we'll run into new friends who might have the same target as us. Other than that, I will need to fulfill the promise that I have given to help search for the backup that Chang Wenyu left behind. The siblings schemed against me at the school of the afterlife. Once I have saved them, I need them to pay me back with interest when I am dealing with the cursed hospital. Due to Zhang Ye's presence, Chen Gu could basically do anything he wanted in Jiujiang, but his overall power was still far lacking when in comparison to the cursed hospital. The cursed hospital is somehow related to me 20 years ago. They know my background immensely well, but I know so little about them. Before the Rayal fight begins, I will have to depend on the surprises that perhaps Xiao Sun will be able to bring me. Chen Gu had great faith in Xiao Sun because he had personally experienced Xiao Sun's talent. Everything is in order except what is crucial. All I can do now is wait and try my best to turn all the extenuating factors into my supporting factors. At 2 p.m., the special care unit at the Jiujiang People's Hospital echoed with a particularly shrill scream. The doctors and the nurses rushed into the sick room and saw the patient that had been delivered that morning rolling on the ground. His body was curled up in a ball, and his body was shuddering endlessly due to fear. Calm down. Shang Guanqing Hong, you have already left the haunted house. You are now very safe. You are at the hospital. Originally, the patient was only afraid, but once he heard the term haunted house, he started to wail again. Doctor, what should we do now? Sigh, it took us so much effort to cure him of his illness, but people truly are stubborn creatures. He insisted on going back to traumatize himself again. I also do not know how to comment on this issue now. Oh well, it is a good thing that it did not take that long for him to wake up this time. Hurry and move him to a normal sick room. The nurse pushed Shang Guan Qing Hong down the hospital corridor in a wheelchair and arrived at a familiar sick room. Pushing open the door, Shang Guan Qing Hong saw many familiar faces. The sick room was filled with the victims of Qin Ji's haunted house. At that moment, everyone was looking at Shang Guan Qing Hong in the wheelchair with shock and awe. Wasn't he sent out from the hospital two days ago? Why is he back so soon? Has he relapsed? Qing Hong, didn't you say you were going to teach Boss Chen a lesson he would never forget? How come? His friend only mentioned the word Boss Chen, and Shang Guan Qing Hong shivered involuntarily. He covered his ears, and his mouth mumbled incoherently, like a child who had been abandoned by the world. Brother Shang Guan, you have returned, but what about Qing Guang? That man is in intensive care. It is still unknown whether he will return to us or not. The nurse rolled her eyes at the other patients. Shang Guan Qing Hong needs plenty of rest. Do not try to attempt to engage him in any conversation related to the haunted house. Whenever he hears the term haunted house, his illness acts up. Do you all understand? Yes, nurse. The old patients looked at Shang Guan Qing Hong with pity. 
Everyone there had been scared until they fainted inside Chen Jie's haunted house. Shang Guanqing Hong was a repeat patient, and that was a badge of honor among the victims, because at least he had resisted at least once. At the time, they still had not found out about Ma Feng's situation, so they thought being scared until one fainted twice was already very impressive. At around 5 p.m., the day of business at New Century Park was reaching its end. Director Luo suddenly summoned Chen Gu to his office and placed a document before him. Director Luo, what is this? This is a contract that I have negotiated for you. Director Luo opened the document, and there was a contract inside. The boss of the haunted house in Xian Hai has completely given up this industry. Last I heard, he appears to have obtained this illness where he goes crazy whenever he hears the words haunted house, so his people immediately started to let go of his assets in Xian Hai. I remembered you mentioned this before, so the moment they started setting the sale sign, and once I saw the low price that it was going for, I snapped it up. Shang Guan Qing Hong is finally willing to give up his haunted house? Has he lost his confidence already? Chen Gu looked at the contract he was holding. Director Luo had basically used his own money to purchase the haunted house in Xian Hai and gifted it to Chen Gu. I cannot sign this contract with good conscience. Director Luo, you've used your own money, which is meant for New Century Park, to purchase this asset. If there is any income, I will be the benefactor, but if the Xian Hai haunted house loses money, you will be the one who takes the fall. This is very unfair to you and New Century Park. Chen Gu did not want to sign this contract not because it was unfair, but because he felt like he was taking advantage of Director Luo. Without your haunted house, New Century Park would have been crushed into the ground by the futuristic theme park by now. Consider this haunted house in Xian Hai a present from me to you, but I do have a very small request. Director Luo revealed a smile on his face. The branch that you build in Xian Hai must be named New Century Park as well, or at least the name has to be tied on somehow. Naturally. After half an hour of discussion, Chen Gu signed his name on the contract. Chen Gu was going to pay full attention to dealing with the cursed hospital next. His intention was to turn the branch in Xian Hai into a safe second base. Chapter 1136 Draw 30 Presents for his employees Chen Gu did not expect things to go so successfully. Before this, he had already had his eye on that haunted house in Xian Hai, but Shang Guan Qing Hong had refused to sell his own haunted house even though he was scared to the point of being hospitalized. The man himself appeared to realize how unique that asset was. But happiness always came so suddenly. Chen Gu had no idea why suddenly Shang Guan Qing Hong had changed his mind and decided to sell the Xian Hai haunted house. Perhaps he has finally realized the large gap between his haunted house and my haunted house. If there is a chance, I should go to the hospital to visit him and thank him in person. Holding the contract, Chen Gu walked out from Director Luo's office. At that moment, the theme park was about to close for the day. However, there were still plenty of visitors lining up outside the haunted house. Many of them had come from different corners of the country just to visit the haunted house, so they kept queuing up to experience as many scenarios as they could so that they would not waste a second of their visit. Among them, there were quite a lot of internet celebrities and private media individuals. Chen Ji's haunted house had provided them with plenty of material to use, and of course, they had contributed back by increasing the popularity of Chen Ji's haunted house. It was a symbiotic relationship. Other haunted houses basically would not allow anyone to conduct any video shooting inside their premises, but Chen Ji's haunted house was unique, and that was how Chen Gu had a close relationship with these people. Returning to the staff break room, Chen Gu put the contract nicely away. Director Luo wanted him to go over to Xian Hai to start dealing with the new branch as soon as he could. If Chen Gu had any needs, he should not tarry and could bring the issue up with Director Luo immediately, and the latter would help settle it. However, Chen Gu did not plan to go to Xian Hai so soon. Jiu Jiang was the place where he had grown up, he had a very unique relationship with this piece of land.
Even though this city had numerous indescribable scary stories, stepping on this piece of land, he would feel strangely comforted as if there was some kind of hidden force protecting him. Exian Hai, in comparison, was a relatively stranger city for Chen Go. In fact, the cursed hospital had possibly laid plenty of traps over there, just waiting for Chen Go to voluntarily walk into them. Before I go to Exian Hai, I must be very well prepared. I not only have to bring all the red specters with me, I have to give a notice to Captain Yen so that he can inform his colleagues in Xian Hai. I have a good history with our law enforcement after all. Chen Gu had met the law enforcement of Xian Hai before. Back when he first visited Xian Hai, he had been escorted away by the police because he jumped down from the second floor of Shang Guan Ching Hong's haunted house. He had experienced getting a ride in a Xian Hai police car. The police are the citizens' nannies. The reason I am going to Xian Hai is to help protect Xian Hai's local safety and contribute as much help as I can to maintain the serenity at Xian Hai. I am sure that the law enforcement of Xian Hai will be able to understand my point of view. Lying in bed, Chinga took out the comic and the black phone. He looked through the details of all his current employees again and memorized all of their individual unique powers in his mind. There are still plenty of things that I need to do. Furthermore, it is not me who should be worried at the moment. The cursed hospital has suddenly lost a demon god without actually knowing why. Therefore, they will keep sending people over to Jiaojiang to conduct an investigation. As long as I intercept them and deal with the people they send to Jiaojiang, I would be able to steadily drain their power. After the completion of the ghost fetus mission, the pressure on Chen Ji's shoulders had lightened significantly. In fact, one could even say that he was currently the one who had the upper hand. The ball was in his court. Xiao Sun was led by Ol Zhou to the underground morgue to conduct his special training. Other than the acting lessons, Xiao Sun also needed to study psychology, basic medicine, and psychiatry. The other employees had their own roles to complete and they were preparing in their own way for their final mission. At around 9 p.m., Chen Gu carried his backpack and left the haunted house. He took several red specters with him with the intention of helping Zhang Wenyu complete as many dying wishes of the suicide victims as he could, and at the same time, he wanted to see if he could encounter any new friends. After wandering around through the night, Chen Gu again helped Zhang Wenyu completed several wishes. Zhang Wenyu could be said to have full trust in Chen Gu. He believed that Chen Gu was one of those rare individuals in the world who would stop at nothing to help others. Actually, perhaps only Chen Gu himself did not realize this. Most of the employees around him had already noticed that Chen Gu was actually someone incredibly charming. He could bring energy and courage to those in despair and he had the great ability of sympathizing with others and thus would be able to understand things from another's perspective and quietly listen to their story and past. Is it because I have brought too many red specters with me? How come I did not run into even a single lingering spirit tonight? After Chin Gu reflected on this, he believed that he needed to change his method of working. This city is too big. The way I have been aimlessly searching for a new specter is like finding a needle in a haystack. There has to be a method that is far more efficient. Then, Chinga took out the black phone. He opened one of the apps, and a grotesque black spinning wheel appeared on the screen. Currently, my title is Red Specters Favored. If I draw another 10 specters, my title will upgrade again. If the title upgraded, Chen Gu would gain the affection of even more ghosts and specters, and it would be much easier for him to gain their trust and affection. At the same time, however, it would mean that it would be much easier for him to run into misfortune and tragedy. I really have no idea whether I can support having the title upgraded again. Speaking of which, why does the spinning wheel only reward me with specters? Damn. The rules specify very clearly that there will be many different rewards, but I somehow keep drawing baleful specters, with extremely low probability. Could it be that I am Sun Xiaojuan's long-lost elder brother? The sky outside the window was turning bright. Chen Gu put away the black phone. It is time for a quick nap. 
After I am done with the workers' makeup, I should go and visit the futuristic theme park. Their theme park has quite good feng shui. It will be very suitable to spin the wheel there. At 9 a.m., New Century Park opened its gate for business. As the body card had been used to push out more than 10 visitors the previous day, there was not one person who was there to cause trouble for Chen Go. Even the 50 Cent Army's activity on the Haunted House app had conspicuously lowered. Uncle Sue, I have something else to do, so I will leave the operation of the Haunted House to you. Chen Gu carried his backpack and hailed a cab to get to the futuristic theme park. He had purchased his ticket online the day before. When he pulled out his identity card to retrieve his ticket, all the machines at the self-ticketing counter lit up with red light. Moments later, three workers from the futuristic theme park ran over, and they followed Chen Gu like his bodyguards. Those who did not know would probably believe that Chen Gu was some kind of VIP that they had invited. Don't be like this. It is making me so uncomfortable. See how many people are looking at us. Chen Gu carried his backpack while being surrounded securely in the middle by three futuristic themed park workers. I came today as a very normal visitor. You guys should relax. Chen Ji's initial plan was to go there to draw a prize and try his luck, but being surrounded so closely by so many people, he was too embarrassed to do that. Boss Chen, we also do not wish to do this, but. One of the younger employees was about to explain when he was cut off by a warning gaze from the other older employee. Then, the three of them trailed behind Chen Go like his shadow without saying anything else. Well, if you wish to follow me like that, I cannot do anything to stop you. Chen Gu wandered his way over to the futuristic theme, Park's Haunted House. He noticed on the ranking outside the haunted house that the second place would be able to pass him with another 5,000 points, and that caused a sense of danger to arise in his heart. Since I am already here, why not go in for a stroll? After all, I have already paid for such an expensive ticket. Not using it sounds like such a waste. Chen Gu came to the control panel and randomly picked anything that caught his eye. He did not study them closely. He just scrolled through and selected any scenario that sounded interesting and then picked hellish mode. As if purposely to prevent the tragedy that Chen Gu caused during his previous visit from happening again, this machine could no longer mix more than 50 scenarios at the same time. The computer would instead select 10 random scenarios from all the available scenarios and then create an amalgamation for the visitors to tour. Under the employee's extremely guarded scrutiny, Chen Gu entered the futuristic theme Park's haunted house. He would be challenging the scenario alone. It was as if Chen Gu had booked the place for himself, that was how much the futuristic theme park respected Chen Gu. Listening to the eerie background music, Chen Gu felt like he had returned to his second home. His expression was relaxed and happy. Somehow, he made it seem like he was enjoying a stroll through the park when in reality, he was challenging a haunted house. After clearing the scenarios with ease, Chen Gu found a blind spot where the surveillance camera would not capture him. He silently took out the black phone and slid on the screen, clicking open an app. Without even realizing it, I have already accumulated so many scare points. Should I commit to a 10 draw this time? Since obtaining the black phone, I have not done something like this before. Zhang Ye should not be hibernating, and I'm currently at someone else's haunted house. Another main reason is their boss came to my own haunted house just yesterday to purposely create trouble for me. It is only fair that I come to his haunted house and do a 10 draw on the phone, right? Chen Gu slowly convinced himself. But actually, he knew very well that the drawing process was extremely safe. At least, no accidents had happened from it in his previous experience. Looking at the spinning wheel on the phone, Chen Gu sucked in a deep breath. I refuse to believe that I will draw 10 specters with 10 draws. Gritting his teeth, Chen Gu chose to spin the wheel 10 times. Looking at the wheel that started to spin, Chen Ji's heart was in his throat. The black spinning wheel was slowly dyed red. This was something that had not happened before. With Chen Gu as the center, the surrounding temperature in the room started to drop. 
Bloody red patterns started to surface on the shell of the black phone, but the patterns disappeared as suddenly as they appeared. Ghost faces flickered across the screen. These many signs all gave Chen Gu a very bad premonition. The spinning wheel slowly stopped. The black phone kept vibrating as he got ten consecutive messages. Congratulations, Red Spectres favored, for obtaining a unique baleful specter, Shergua. Shergua, rare unique specter, draw probability 1 slash 100 a solitary soul wandering en route for of the underground terminal. He walks through time. He will visit yesterday, pacing between minutes and seconds. He is a ghost forgotten by time. Congratulations, Red Spectres favored, for obtaining a baleful specter, Sugue. Sugue, draw probability 120th, he has nothing unique, going for him. He is unassuming and appears to be completely harmless. He likes to stay alone inside the quiet bathroom. He is like an old man who has lost his interest in his marriage and his life. Congratulations, Red Spectres favored, for obtaining a unique item, Butterfly Hair Clip. Butterfly Hair Clip, the item of possession, for a unique baleful specter, Gue Chodia. Draw probability 3 out of 10, this is the first present you ever gave me. I have always worn it in my hair. Hopefully, one day, you will be able to spot me through it in the crowd. You will be able to see the butterfly hair clip that you once gifted me. Congratulations, Red Spectres, favored for obtaining a unique Red Spectre, Shui Rong. Shui Rong, rare unique Red Spectre. Draw probability 7, slash 1, 0, 0, 0. I once created more than 100 breathtakingly beautiful faces until, one day, I realized I could not tell what beauty is anymore. Warning. Red Spectre Shui Rong is extremely dangerous and sensitive. Please visit the new city Zirin Pavilion Beauty Parlor after midnight. Congratulations, Red Spectre's favored, for obtaining a unique item. By Chilin's severed arm, by Chilin's severed arm, collection of resentment, the lost arm that was stolen away by the gambler has been used as the underground casino's boss prop to demand money from his debtors. The temperature inside the room had dropped to close to zero. Every message on the black phone was related to a baleful specter. The air of resentment was almost bursting out of the screen already. Ten draws, and I got nine baleful specters out of it. Chingu wiped away the cold sweat from his forehead. He was shocked by the result. Other than by Chilin's severed arm, the other nine were all baleful specters, and one of them was even a red specter. The black phone recorded the backgrounds and the special powers of these baleful specters. The specters were dispersed all over Jiujiang, and it required Chingu to personally fetch them. Of the ten draws, I only drew one red specter. Looks like the probability of drawing a red specter is still quite low. I was really lucky to have drawn Zhang Ye during my first draw. But then again Chen Ge really did not know whether he really should call himself luck or unlucky. The temperature inside the haunted house slowly rose back to normal. Just like students who had just finished their difficult finals, Chen Ge felt like he had just overcome a big ordeal, so he visited a few other scenarios to clear them and to relax his tense mood. If I manage to draw one more specter, the title of Red, Specters Favored, will upgrade. The problem is, I still have a lot of accumulated scare points, and it is more than enough for me to draw a lot more. Chen Gu was feeling very conflicted. His rational side told him that it was about time to stop, but his finger was twitching madly whenever he saw that spinning wheel on the black phone. My parents' disappearance might be related to the cursed hospital as well. In other words, they are the source of all my bad luck and the tragedy that has fallen the city. Facing such a powerful enemy, I have to fight with everything that I have got. Chen Gu thus found another blind spot. It is not often that I can come to the futuristic theme park to visit. How about I just go for broke this one time and use all of the accumulated scare points within their haunted house? If he drew one more specter, the title would upgrade, but Chen Gu had already considered it from every angle. After all, danger was already coming his way, no matter what. Since it could not be avoided, he might as well make the storm blow even harder and bigger. Sliding the screen, Chen Gu opted for another ten draws. 
Congratulations, Red Spectres favored, for obtaining a unique item, Su Yin's music sheet. Su Yin's music sheet, he was once innocent and happy, he also once believed in light and goodness. He had written all his love into his song and sang it to the girls who killed him. Congratulations, Red Spectres favored, for obtaining a unique item, an incomplete birth certificate. An incomplete birth certificate, Men Nan is a child born inside a mental asylum. The world that is viewed as twisted and abnormal is the world where he grew up. This birth certificate contains his mother's signature and is the last memory he has of her. Congratulations, Red Spectres favored, for obtaining a unique item, White Valentine's Candy White Valentine's Candy, these are candies she personally made for you. You promised you will finish all of them. Congratulations, Red Spectres favored, for obtaining a unique item, Blue Raincoat. Blue Raincoat, she bought her child a blue raincoat with cartoon characters on it. The child wearing the raincoat looks as cute as a little penguin. That night, it was storming in Liwan City. She held her child's hand waiting for the bus at the bus stop, but when bus 104 entered the station, her child had mysteriously gone missing. No one knew where her child went. Perhaps this blue raincoat will provide you with some clues to his location. After the second lot of ten draws, Chingu was stunned. I did not manage to draw one single specter, huh? This is so unscientific. Have I drawn all of the specters available in the prize pool? In terms of probability, baleful specters were indeed rare draws, much less red specters. It was already hard enough to draw a normal specter. Is this done on purpose? I'd already mentally prepared myself for the title for upgrade, but the result is that I didn't even get one baleful specter? Chin Guk considered it as rationally as he could for half a minute and then made a really irrational move. Should I do another 10 draws? His finger reached dangerously toward the sliding screen, and the strange spinning wheel on the black phone started to rotate rapidly again. Chapter 1137 I hope each of you can find happiness, the temperature in the room did not drop again. Following the vibration on his phone, Chinga received yet another 10 messages. Congratulations, Red Spectres favored, for obtaining a one-time use nightmare mission coupon. After using the coupon, it is guaranteed that a new nightmare mission will be registered when the daily haunted house missions refresh at midnight. Congratulations, Red Spectres favored, for obtaining a haunted house employee costume, Clown of Misfortune. Clown of Misfortune, they always laugh seeing me cry. They believe my sadness is their source of joy. Warning. The whole costume for the Clown of Misfortune consists of the clown's mask, a bloody makeup bag, and a human skin jester costume. After putting on the whole costume set, it will create an unknown effect. Congratulations, Red Spectres favored, for obtaining a haunted house employee costume, the food connoisseur. The food connoisseur, I am the pickiest eater in the world. I have tasted the meat of almost every animal in the world. Lately, I have been obsessed with an optimal prime cut of meat. Would you like to follow me to the kitchen to take a peek at it? Warning. The whole costume for the food connoisseur consists of the night-colored western suit and the goodnight briefcase. The suit can increase the wearer's personal charm. A friendly warning, do not open the connoisseur's briefcase when there is a crowd around you. Congratulations, Red Spectres favored, for obtaining a haunted house employee costume, The Stranger. The Stranger, a homicide with a random target is the hardest case to solve. There is no motive and no rules. The unrelated victim and the foolproof murder method, do be careful of that stranger that brushes past your shoulder when you walk alone at night. Warning. The costume of the stranger only consists of a casual outfit. The outfit can help lower your presence to the lowest. Even if the witnesses have seen your face, their memory of you will soon be forgotten. Congratulations, Red Spectres favored, for obtaining a unique item, an inscribed pair of wedding rings. An inscribed pair of wedding rings, not long after their marriage, the husband often returned late from work. On a stormy night, the husband left and was never seen again. The police searched for three days and three nights, but no trace of the husband could be found. The wife cried herself to sleep every night. 
The case eventually became an open case. No one knew where the husband had gone, and the wife slowly spiraled into insanity. She could often be seen whispering to the pair of wedding rings on her fingers on her own. Warning! As long as both parties are wearing the wedding rings, no matter how great the distance between them, they will be able to sense each other's general location. But wearing the rings for too long will have a negative impact on the wearer's bodies. Another ten draws, but Chen Gu appeared to have really drawn all the existing baleful specters from the prize pool. This time, he not only did not draw any specters, all the rewards that he had drawn were equipment, and they were not particularly rare items on top of that. Could it be that all of my luck has been exhausted on my random encounters with ghosts? But that does not sound right. I have already drawn twenty consecutive times, and there has not been a baleful specter in sight, or am I actually accumulating my luck? Will my next draw nab me a top red specter or even a demon god? Chin Gu was slowly being drawn into the gambler's fallacy, but thankfully, our main character's rationality regained its possession of his mind. Shaking his head, Chinga realized how unrealistic his thoughts were. After all, a demon god was on a completely different level compared to a red specter. After completing his 30 draws, Chinga memorized all the rewards and prizes that he had drawn in his mind and then slowly made his way through the rest of his tour of futuristic theme Park's haunted house. Quick! He is coming out. Brother Jiang. Brother Jiang. The person is heading toward the exit that you are guarding. All departments, be on full alert. Do not let anything slip past your eyes. Pushing open the last door, Chen Gu walked out from the haunted house, and he saw Jiang Ming, who appeared to be waiting for him at the exit. Long time no see. How have you been lately? Chen Gu initially thought that Jiang Ming would have nothing but a huff or a rolling of the eyes for him, but that was far away from the truth. Jiang Ming very naturally greeted Chen Gu, and there was even a trace of friendliness in his voice. I am doing quite well lately, thanks to you. Thanks to me? What have I done? You sent that idiot, Ma Feng, to the hospital. Now, even the breaths that I take in feel that much easier and fresher, Jiang Ming whispered. The management at the futuristic theme park was wildly different from the management at New Century Park. It appeared like there was much internal fighting. After Jiang Jiao was hospitalized, Ma Feng had seized all managerial power. As Jiang Jiao's adopted son, Jiang Ming had naturally suffered a lot under the new leader. Hey, watch what you're saying. I had nothing to do with the fact that he is currently hospitalized. He signed the disclaimer. Chen Gu walked away from Jiang Ming. He actually wanted to tell Jiang Ming that compared to Ma Feng, if he had really personally sent anyone to the hospital, that person was Jiang Jiao. After playing at the futuristic theme park's haunted house a few more times, Chen Gu left the theme park after collecting about 10,000 points at the futuristic theme park's haunted house ranking. Seeing his departing back, the workers at the haunted house were stunned beyond belief. Their technology like data analysis and visitor simulation had lost their uses against Chen Gu. A result of 10,000 points was something their system had predicted would only be reached after another half a year. Hailing a cab, Chen Gu returned to New Century Park. He hurried back to the haunted house and went directly to the prop room. The already congested prop room appeared even more crowded. There were many items left in the corner. If one did not take a closer look, one would not have noticed them. It was as if these things had been there from the time the haunted house was built. It somehow feels like they belonged to the haunted house, to begin with. Chenga had no idea when these things appeared. It felt like someone had pushed open a certain door inside his haunted house and then deposited the items inside the prop room. It should be my imagination taking over. Something like that would be noticed by the employees. Holding the black phone and reading the item descriptions for each of the rewards, he categorized the items that he had drawn into different piles. At around 6 p.m., the haunted house officially closed for the day. After all the living employees had left, Chen Gu took the comic and summoned most of the ghost employees to the first floor. 
If there was a lingering visitor that entered the haunted house at this moment, they probably would have their soul scared right out of their body. The already closed haunted house corridor was filled with people, and none of them had their makeup removed yet. Some of you have already worked for me for a very long time. From the initial discomfort to now becoming the central pillar of support of this place, your transformation is beyond my wildest expectations, and our haunted house is only becoming better and better because of all of you. Chenga pushed open the door of the prop room. I am very appreciative of everyone's help, so I wanted to do something in return for all that you have done for me. Boss, you are treating us like strangers. That shouldn't be the case. We already treat this place like our own home. Without this haunted house, all of us probably would still be wandering aimlessly at some corner of the city. Ol Zhou stood next to Duan Yu with a blissful expression on his face. In any case, I like working here. Here, I can feel something that I have not felt in a long time. I also do not know how to describe it in words. I personally do not feel like I am working at all. This is more like a game for me, and it is quite interesting, Men Nan said with a casual expression. At the end of the day, he refused to admit that a red specter like himself was willingly working under Chen Go. At any other corner of this city, no matter what I did, or no matter what I saw, everything around me kept on installing in my mind the reminder that you are already dead, this world does not belong to you, you are nothing but a lingering spirit that should have gone a long time ago, you do not belong here, and you are an anomaly. But that sensation has not surfaced even once here. I do not need to hide my real self, and no one has ever suspected of my real identity. After the monitor from the School of the Afterlife voiced her thoughts, many lingering spirits from the students also nodded. They were a bunch of kids without a home to return to. Before this, I never did care about anything. I only started to regret after I lost everything in gambling. I thought the world had already abandoned cursed souls like myself, depriving me of the chance for a new life, but I am glad that I ran into you, boss. Olbi had his single arm placed inside his pocket, and his bloodied body leaned against the door. Before this, I did not have the privilege of choice, but now, I just want to be a professional haunted house worker. Hearing Olbi's words, Chingu winked at him. I have been intending to do something for all of you, so I will present you guys with some gifts. Those who do not get any gifts, please do not worry. I am sure there will be more in the future. Your turn will eventually come. He waved it by Chilin. Oh bye, the first present is for you. I found your severed arm. It was used as a tool by the boss of an underground casino to scare his customers. Chen Ge handed a paper note with an address to buy Chilin. Initially, I thought about going and personally retrieving it for you, but I believe it might be better if you go and take it yourself. Leave behind every regret and officially start over with your new life. The reason Bai Chilin could become a red specter was because he had consumed Xiong Qing's heart, but he himself was still missing his heart, so even after becoming a red specter, his power level was weaker than the others. Accepting the paper note, Olbai used his remaining hand to squeeze it tightly. Even though he was now a red specter, he was still missing a limb. Normally, he could use blood vessels to weave out false fingers and an arm, but that was just a lie, a lie more to himself than to the others. The crack in his soul was due to his memory. When he was alive, he chopped off his arm, and at the same time, he had chopped off his memory. Thank you. There is no need for thanks. We are already family. Chingu patted Ol Bai on his shoulder. Probably because Ol Bai was still caught in the excitement of the moment, he did not rein in his bloody aura and blood vessels, so he splashed Chingu with blood. There are presents to receive as your employees? Men Nan stood at the door. Even though his tone was laced with derision, there was a trace of envy that crossed his eyes. Giving your employee a severed arm, that kind of company benefit does match your quality and personality quite well. Seeing how Men Nan kept mumbling to everyone around him, Chinga then walked to stand before Men Nan. Even though you are not really my employee, after all you have lent me your help many times, so I have prepared a present for you as well. I also have one? 
Men Nan's eyes lit up with joy, but he soon put on his normal, annoyed expression. TSK, I know, it will be something strange and obtuse again, right? Chen Gu shook his head. He took out an envelope that was carefully and delicately wrapped from his pocket. This is for you. Do not open it now. I'd advise you take a look at the content when you are alone. What is it? Why are you making it sound so mysterious? Is this a prank? After receiving the envelope, Men Nan did not listen to Chen Ji's advice. His childlike curiosity compelled him to open the envelope on the spot. So, it is just a piece of meaningless paper. When his eyes landed on the signature on the paper and the mother's words of wishes for her son at the back of the paper, Men Nan, who had been grumbling, suddenly went quiet. The boy who wore the red shirt stood at the door holding the paper with both hands like it was the most valuable treasure in the world. Men Nan's mother cherished her son a lot, and she had many words that she did not have the chance to tell Men Nan. Chin Guv squatted down next to Men Nan and whispered in his ear, Your mother's last wish will be fulfilled because you will only become happier and happier. This time, Chin Gu had drawn many objects and most of them were related to his haunted house workers. These items could help his employees repair the cracks in their soul, helping them becoming more powerful and perfect. After gifting a few more workers their presents, Chin Gu called Xiao Sun, who was looking at him with blank eyes. Big brother, do I also have a present? Honestly, I do not have that many friends. I have grown so old, but other than my father and mother, I have not received any gifts from any other person before. Xiao Sun was quite excited. Then I am afraid I will disappoint you. The thing that I am going to give you is not a present, but an item to help you save yourself. Chen Gu took out a pair of wedding rings from the prop room. The wedding rings appeared to be made from someone's ashes, and they had two hearts that were linked together, carved into them. Wedding rings? Xiao Sun was stunned. And then he was suddenly reminded of a certain demon god who was hiding inside Chin Ji's shadow. Instantly, he leaped back like someone had struck at his soul. He quickly waved his hands. Brother, no way, you must be mistaken. I can't take something like that. These wedding rings were made by a woman using her husband's body who had betrayed her. They are called inscribed wedding rings. The two who wear these rings will be able to sense the other person's location no matter the distance between them. Chin Gu handed one of the rings to Xiao Sunday you are going to the cursed hospital, but I will pay close attention to your movement in Xian High. This is not a present for you, but it is to help you stay alive. Even though he did not get a present, Chin Ji's words still touched Xiao Sun slightly. Chin Gu was not sending Xiao Sun to his death, but he was trying his best to help Xiao Sun come out the other side more powerful and alive. Thank you, big brother. Xiao Sun looked at the wedding ring in his palm. His heart was warm, but rationality reminded him that it was best to ask more questions. Brother Chen, are you sure that I can live until the day I am to be sent to the cursed hospital wearing this wedding ring? What are you trying to say? I mean, Xiao Sun winked and made gesture at Chin Ji's shadow, trying to express himself without being too obvious about it. Don't you worry. She is not as narrow-minded as you think. After saying that, Chin Gu ignored Xiao Sun Day. He then took out a child's blue raincoat from the prop room. He walked through the group of employees and reached the corner of the room. The red raincoat was standing alone in the corner. She had watched the proceeding silently but never once taken a step forward. When she saw Chen Gu walk toward her, she was quite surprised, but when her eyes landed on the blue raincoat Chen Gu was holding, her body appeared to be struck by lightning. I have helped you find the raincoat of your child. I still remember the promise that I gave you. I swear I will complete it. Chen Gu handed the blue raincoat to the poor mother. There was some lingering curse on the blue raincoat. I had the red high heels check it earlier. She said that the curse was different from the one used by the ghost fetus. It appeared to be related to the cursed hospital. Just as Chinga finished, the red raincoat reached out to grab his arm. Bring me with you. 
Looking into the red raincoat's eyes, Chinga lightly nodded. Of course. The red raincoat slowly let go. At the same time, the black phone vibrated slightly. Chenga took out the phone to glance at it. Inside the worker's employee tab, the red raincoat's information had appeared. After gifting almost all the presents, the employees slowly shuffled back underground. Chenga sat in the proper Malone. He took out the recorder from his backpack and pressed a button on it. The static sound rang beside his ears, and a blood figure silently materialized beside Chen Go. Without asking for any reason or requesting anything, he had never even considered the danger that he would get into by following Chen Go. Whenever Chen Go pressed the play button on the recorder, he would appear. Suin. Chen Go looked at the young man standing beside him, studying the painful and melancholic face. He pulled out a music sheet from the drawer. Chapter 1138 Look into the eyes of these red specters and reconsider your answer, Suin, this is for you. The old music sheet had many different tunes, and every note was playing a happy and lovesick song. The static noise drifted through his ears. Suin did not reach out to touch the music sheet offered to him by Chin Go. He stood silently at the side, like always shielding at Chin Ji's side. He did not say a word and was always unfazed by anything that came his way. Being lied to by the person he loved, being hurt by the person he loved, being amputated by the person he loved, it was as if Suin was no longer himself once the knife stabbed into his heart, all his hope, all his joy, all his love had been completely shattered. He had accepted the drink proffered by his love without any hesitation. He saw the person he loved the most standing beside him with a glinting knife through his blurred vision. He wanted to scream for help, but he could not make any sound, he wanted to struggle, but he could not control his body. He could only watch his beloved's face as despair slowly consumed him. After Suin became a specter, he lost his rationality. Whenever he ran into an enemy, no matter how strong the enemy was, he was charged forward like a crazy bull. He wanted to die, he wanted his soul to disappear, he wanted to end all his pain and despair, he had been actively seeking death. Someone like him had run into someone like Chen Go. Whenever he was maddened by despair and tortured until he could not recognize himself by pain, Chen Go would always be there to lend him a hand, to help his wounded self up from the ground. The way Chen Go looked at Su Yin had never been filled with disgust or terror. There was only gentleness and concern. In this world, the only person who really understood Su Yin was probably Chen Go. Take this. Compared to hoping that it will make you stronger, I wish that it can help return to you at least some of your former smile. Chen Go handed the music sheet to Su Yin, but when Su Yin touched the music sheet, the old music sheet was instantly dyed red. The love song's lyrics were instantly blurred by blood, and they rearranged themselves into new lyrics. I am a bird who has lost its voice, no one will be able to hear my tune anymore. My beloved tore away all of my feathers and plunged a knife into my heart. They embraced my bodies into their hands, saying it was all for my own good. I understood. I knew. She wanted to personally create the person that she loved. The bloody lyrics appeared on the music sheet and tore away the happiness, replacing it with something bloody and cruel. Throughout the whole process, Suin had not done anything. All he did was hold the music sheet. There is no return. Covered in wounds, the bird whose body was pierced by the knife had lost its beautiful voice. The music sheet that once recorded the joy of love was soaked in blood and slipped through Su Yin's fingertips. Before it fell to the ground, it was caught by a pair of hands. It does not matter. There is no reason to force yourself to accept the joy from the past. The current you can and should strive for joy in the future. You deserve that much. Chin Ji's eyes were shining with the light of hope. He patted Su Yin's shoulder. Compared to when I first met you, you have already changed a lot. Do not worry. I will always be by your side. After finding his own heart, Su Yin's emotions had stabilized a lot. He was no longer dominated by pain and despair, and other colors had started to appear in his world. 
One day, I will ensure that you and everyone else at this haunted house obtains their well-deserved happiness. Chen Gook placed the bloodied music sheet on the table. His gaze was gentle and filled with power. Standing before Chen Gu, Suin opened his lips but did not make any sound. Instead, his pale fingers lightly caressed the music sheets, and his body slowly dissolved into blood vessel. In the end, Suin took away the music sheet. Just as his body was about to disappear, he wrote down one short song on the music sheet. The world kissed me with pain, but I am willing to repay it with songs. Peace returned to the prop room, and Chen Go looked at the spot where Suin had disappeared. At the last moment before Suin disappeared, Chen Gu noticed a very powerful energy surging out of Su Yin's body. He seemed to have broken through some kind of threshold, and a black pattern started to appear around his heart. Has Suin suddenly gained some epiphany? The presence about him suddenly grew intense, and the presence was different from the ones released by the other red specters. The black pattern on his heart was very similar to the pattern on the edge of Zhang Ye's dress. Is it possible that Suin has sown the seed to become a demon god within himself? The items that I can draw from the Wheel of Misfortune can be so beneficial to a red specter? No wait, other than gaining enormous affection from him, the letter that I gave Men Nan did not help with his overall ability at all. Looks like it differs according to the individual. The items obtained from the roulette sealed the many specters past. Those items would indeed help the specters and red specters become more perfect, but ultimately, they were just mere objects. The biggest reason such a huge change would happen to Su Yin was due to Chen Gu. Who would have thought a ghost who only wanted to find release in death would encounter the kindest and gentlest friend in the world after his death? At 8.10 p.m., the door of a mom and pop shop in the Old City area Western Street was kicked down. Many different kinds of snacks were scattered everywhere. Soon, a young man wearing a white shirt was dragged out from the inner room. Brother Leopard, Brother Eagle, this has nothing to do with my family. We have already discussed this. I will return the money. The young man's face was bloodied, but he still tried to struggle up from the ground like he could not feel the pain. Do you think we would still believe you? The wily hare has three holes to his burrow. If you hadn't been changing your hiding place, do you think we'd come to this place to find you? Holding the broken beer bottle in the hand, a bare-chested, middle-aged man walked out from the inner room. There was a scar on the corner of his eye, and the tattoo of a leopard head could be seen on the back of his arm. Brother Leopard, give me three more days. I promise I will return the money by then. The young man knelt to the ground and repeated earnestly. Where are you going to find the money? Brother Leopard held the broken beer bottle and pointed the sharp edge before the young man's face. Actually, I noted that this little shop of that limping grandfather of yours is still worth quite a pretty penny. Tell him to sell this place, and perhaps you might be able to collect enough money. No. That won't do. This is my grandpa. What nonsense are you talking about? Do you think you still have the right to say no to us? The other man patted his waist. There appeared to be a knife hidden under his shirt. Please don't come after my place. I will find the money no matter what. Three days. Please just give me another three days. Fine, fine. In three days, if you still have not given me the money, I will take an arm away from you. Brother Leopard yanked the young man up by his hair so that the young man would look him in the eyes. Previously, there was someone who also wanted to escape from his debt. In the end, I chopped off one of his arms. The blood was squirting everywhere, and it refused to stop flowing. Would you like to see that arm? As a souvenir, I have been holding on to it. There is no need for that, Brother Leopard. I swear I will figure out a way to pay you back. The young man curled up on the ground, making himself as small as he could until Brother Leopard and Brother Eagle left. The pride of a man was abandoned fully. He wiped away the blood on his face, picked up the broken door of the shop, and fixed it back with his head lowered. The beer and bottles littered the ground, the shelves were tipped over, and a limping old man was seated in the middle of the not-so-big room. 
the elder was way past his prime. He had been hit once on the head by a beer bottle, and the blood was bright in his head of white hair. Who are you? Inside the small room, other than the old man, a middle-aged man wearing a red shirt had mysteriously appeared. Holding some cotton wipes and disinfectant, he was carefully picking out the glass shards from the old man's head wound. Why did that group of people only come after your grandfather, but not you? The man in the red shirt's voice had no emotion. My grandpa wanted to protect his shop, so he fought with them. How much money do you owe them? 300,000 renminbi, but initially, I only owed them 50,000 renminbi. As the interest continued to grow, they want me to pay them back 300,000 renminbi. The young man ran to his grandfather's side and helped to dress the wound. He held the old man's hand, and his heart must not have been as calm as he appeared. I have already paid them 70,000 renminbi, but they still want more. I really do not have any money left. Why would you owe them money in the first place? Because? Because you like to gamble? The middle-aged man in the red shirt finished the sentence without even lifting his head. I, yes. The young man did not dare speak, and he was too ashamed to look at his grandfather. Those who like to gamble will never win. The middle-aged man in the red shirt stood up. His ruby-like eyes stared at the young man. If you promise me to find an actual job and honestly earn a living for yourself, I can help you deal with your debt. You are willing to help me? The young man was at a dead end. He looked at the man, and his emotions were complicated. Thank you. I will definitely return the money to you. Can you please give me your contact number? I am helping you because I saw the past version of myself kneeling there on the ground in you. I was once in your place, but at the time, no one was willing to come and help me. The man's eyes were swimming with blood vessels. I do not need you to pay me any money. I only wish for you to take good care of your grandfather. If you dare go back to gambling in the future, I will swear to return to claim your life. The man in the red shirt walked out from the shop. The young man hurried after him to ask, where are you going? I am going to find that group of people who just left to ask them to return what they owe me. They also owe you money? Money? The man in the red sheet showed off the stub that was hidden in his shirt sleeve. They owe me an arm. Inside the VIP room at the Jiahao Night Club, several couple were grinding with lust and passion. The lights in the room flickered several times before they suddenly went out like someone had cut the wiring. F asterisk CK. There's a blackout? Where's the waiter? Little leopard. Why did you pick such a horrible place? How come there is not even one person out in the corridor? This F asterisk king blows. The shrieking background music disappeared, and the nightclub became eerily quiet like everyone's mouth had been sewn shut. Hello? Is anyone there? Mother F asterisk cur. This place is the worst. What the hell are you people doing? Get me your boss over here now. Brother Leopard and Brother Eagle followed behind a fat man. The three of them walked out from the room, and they turned many corners before they saw a man. The man was sitting in the lobby, wearing a blood-red shirt. Hey! We're talking to you. Are you deaf or what? Brother Leopard kicked the sofa to the side. Have you seen a waitress or waiter here? The man in the red shirt took a sip of the alcohol in the glass. Without even looking at Brother Leopard, he walked directly toward the fat man. This man is rather strange. What are you doing? Stop right there. Brother Leopard stood guardedly before the fat man. I owed you money in the past, and my boss told me that I need to return the money that I owe you. The man in the red shirt took out a credit card from his pocket. Inside this card, you will find the full amount of the money that I owed you. Brother Leopard turned to look at the fat man. The fatty did not ask for details. Since someone was there to deliver free money to them, why would they say no? I have received the money, so you can go now. The fat man had this sneaking feeling that the man before him was rather familiar, and coupling that was a very bad feeling. 
Now that I have returned the money that I owe you, it is time for you to return what you have taken from me. The middle-aged man had one of his hands placed inside his pocket. He stood in the middle of the lobby. Multiple blood vessels crawled down from the ceiling and pools of blood spread on the ground. What is it that we have taken from you? The fatty looked at the middle-aged man's face. His eyes slowly widened. Suddenly, his expression scrunched up in fear as a name that he had almost forgotten floated up in his mind. By Chilin. Do you not remember it anymore? The middle-aged man's bloodshot eyes stared at the three in the lobby. The red shirt fluttered like blood, and the Aravine energy raised the roof. I have been searching for that arm for so long. At 9.30 p.m., Chinga summoned all the red specters at the underground scenario. After waiting for several minutes, Bai Chilin finally arrived. The presence that radiated off the man was obviously different from before. The crack that he had from consuming Xiong Qing had been filled. There was now an energy in his eyes that forbade others from looking straight at him. Sensing the change in Bai Chilin, Men Nan grumbled under his breath, Great, yet another red specter that I cannot defeat. Yay. All right, everyone is here. Chen Guk clapped his hands for silence. I have called you all here because we are going to find and welcome our new colleagues. Who are you lying to? Bringing so many red specter to welcome new colleagues? Aren't you afraid they are going to get scared to their second death? Men Nan gibbered and then turned enviously to look at Bai Chilin. When will it be my turn to get stronger? There will be nine new colleagues in total. I have written down their information and unique background. Please memorize them lest we get the wrong person. After all the red specters had memorized the details, Chingu summoned everyone back into the comic and then hailed a cab to leave the haunted house. The first place he visited was an apartment building at the old city. The life tempo here was very slow, the tenants were mainly the elderly and children. He climbed all the way to the fourth floor and stopped before the door of the public bathroom. The old door was sealed shut by wooden boards. The landlord had even added two large locks and several yellow talismans on the door. This should be the place. Chinga took out the hammer from his backpack and broke down the locks. He pushed open the bathroom door and saw the magazine and newspapers that littered the ground. It appears like this bathroom has been vacated for a long time. Following the information provided by the black phone, Chin Guk came to the fourth cubicle. He shook the cubicle door and realized that the cubicle was locked from the inside. Turning to walk to the third cubicle, he gathered the newspapers from the ground to form a pile and stood on them. Over the cubicle wall, he used Yin Yang vision and looked into the fourth cubicle. Inside the cramped space sat an uncle wearing black-rimmed glasses. The uncle looked tired and disinterested in everything. Even though he had realized that a living person was standing next to him, he could not gather the energy to scare Chen Go. Hey! Would you like to follow me to change your life? Chen Go shouted at the uncle. The middle-aged man sitting on the toilet looked left and right before lifting his head with confusion. He extended his finger to point at himself. You can see me? Of course, I own a haunted house. Isn't it perfectly normal for me to be able to see a ghost? Chin Gu smiled kindly at the middle-aged man. Are you willing to step out of your comfort zone and start a new life? No, I am not. The middle-aged man lowered his head to turn back to his newspaper. He had no interest in answering Chin Gu. I wish for you to welcome your new life with me. How about you become an employee at my haunted house? Chen Gu flipped through the comic. The sound of pages turning rang out inside the small bathroom. Do you have nothing else better to do? The middle-aged man lifted his head with annoyance. By then, the whole public bathroom was covered in blood vessels. Soon, more than ten red specters' heads floated up, surrounding his cubicle. I am serious. Why don't you look into the eyes of these red specters and reconsider your answer? Chinga asked with some sincerity. Putting down the newspaper, the middle-aged man who was surrounded by the red specters blasted out from the cubicle and reached to grab Chinji's hand. 
I knew I could find a friend in you once I laid my eyes on you. From today, my life is yours. Air, have you washed your hands? Aristotle once said, those who sit on the toilet might not be pooping. They could be searching for the corner of human life, thinking about the ultimate secret of the universe. You are familiar with the study of philosophy? Air, well, I know one or two things about it. Chapter 1139 Welcome to the family, congratulations, Red Spectres favored, for obtaining Sugue. The haunted house has gained one new employee. Sugue, Dong Wentao, no one knows about his past, and no one knows how he came to be in his current state. I can only tell you he has very great potential. It depends on you whether you can unlock his potential or not. Chin Gu studied the new message that appeared on the black phone. He really did not expect that Sugue to directly become his haunted house worker so easily. I merely used ten red specters to invite him. Who would have thought he would accept my invitation so easily? Silently studying Sugue, who was surrounded by the red specters, Chin Gu was honestly rather surprised that the black phone had such a quiet comment for him. This baleful specter looked very unassuming in terms of appearance. He wore an old-fashioned western suit, with unkempt hair, looking like a quintessential member of the lowest rung of the societal ladder. Since he has potential, I should try to push him further. Perhaps the uncle might also find new hope in the afterlife and welcome rejuvenation. After summoning Sugue, whose legs had gotten weak, and the other red specters into the comic, Chin Gu walked out from the bathroom. This was originally a haunted house, but now that the specter has been taken away, it is quite a waste for them to abandon this place. He tore down the yellow talismans from door. He took out the ballpoint pen wrapped in tape and wrote down the following on the back of the talismans. The ghost has been taken away already. The tenants here can now use this public bathroom without worry. He pasted the talisman back onto the door. Chin Gu then dragged the Dr. Skullcracker's hammer and left the apartment building. Okay, who shall we go pick up next? Looking at the map on his phone, Chin Gu came to the third Jiujiang subway route. The black phone said that this specter is hiding on the 4th Jiujiang subway route, but Jiujiang current only has three subway routes. The fourth route is still under construction. By the time he arrived, the subway terminal was almost closing. Chin Gu stopped around the third subway route and asked any passers-by about the information regarding the fourth route. The workers there said that there would still be a long time before the fourth route was open to the public. When Chin Gu pressed for more details and the reason why, they refused to say anything, but they all had this strange expression on their faces. If Chin Gu was known for one thing, it was his power of persuasion. After much pressing and pushing, one of the workers finally admitted that the surveillance at the subway terminal would always capture the image of a strange person in the night. The person would appear on different subway trains, but he always sat alone by himself on a certain seat and the people beside him never seemed to notice his existence. As the work for the fourth route started, the surveillance stopped capturing that person on camera, but the workers started to notice a flicker of shadow down deep in the tunnel. The workers thus started to suspect that the ghost who had been haunting the subway had moved into the fourth route that was under construction. After finding out the backstory behind the ghost, Chinga silently sneaked into the construction site of the fourth route. To prevent other people from discovering him, he released a few red specters and had them scout ahead for him inside the tunnel while keeping their presence as low profile as possible. Initially, Chin Gu was already prepared to spend a lot of time searching for this specter. After all, the tunnel was quite long. However, he only walked for a few steps when he saw a young man who was bare-chested running as fast as he could about a hundred meters in front of him who was running naked in the middle of the night inside a constructing subway tunnel. This is so strange. It was impossible for Chin Gu not to notice the young man. He immediately had the several red specters go and stop the young man. The strange thing was the young man appeared to have known beforehand that Chin Gu was coming. When he saw Chin Ji's face, his eyes were filled with fear. Have we met each other? Chin Gu was rather confused by this. 
He was sure that this was the first time they had encountered each other, so if that was the case, why would the young man look at him in such a way? You are not afraid of the red specters, but you are afraid of me. Why? Do you know me? But that is not right either. If you know me, you should be familiar with the kind of person that I am. Blood vessels floated on the young man's body and weaved into a simple shirt. His face was pale, and his body was almost transparent. He was about to depart from this world. Brother, at least give me something to work with. Is there some kind of misunderstanding between us? Chingu just wanted to approach the young man when the latter dropped to the ground. He tried to retreat as far away as he could until his retreat was blocked by the red specters. Seeing as his escape was cut off, the young man crawled up from the ground as if he had surrendered to his fate. He turned to Chen Gu and said, I am willing to become a worker at your haunted house. When the young man said that, it was time for Chen Gu to be startled. I have not even stated my reason for being here. How come you gave me your promise so easily? Do you know how to read people's minds? With his face as pale as before, the young man shook his head rather helplessly. We met each other once ten seconds ago. Ten seconds ago? My name is Shergua. My power is to return to a space in time ten seconds ago. There is a huge limitation to this power. I can only use it once per month, but if I use it correctly, it will have miraculous effect, the young man said softly. The power to manipulate time? Not only Chen Gu, even the red specters around him were quite surprised by this unique power. Even though Sigua's power could only be used once per month, if it was used at the right time, it could reverse any situation. As I've said, there is a huge limitation to this power. Only I will be able to return to 10 seconds ago. It is not as useful as you might think. Sigua smiled bitterly. I used this power earlier. Unfortunately, even with the extra 10 seconds, I cannot escape your grasp. Speaking of which, how did you find out about my presence? You even brought 10 red specters with you to come find me. I am in the middle of a fight against a cursed hospital in Exion High. They have obtained your information, and they wish to enslave and control you, so I have come to fetch you before they have the chance to. Chenga very seriously extended his hand toward Sigua. Welcome to the haunted house. If you have any dying wishes or things that you wish to have completed, feel free to tell me. Shergua hesitated for a moment before he accepted Chen Ji's extended hand. By the way, why were you so afraid of me earlier? What exactly did I do to you ten seconds earlier? I cannot say. If I did, I will suffer severe counter-effects from my own power. Even though Shergua verbally said that he was willing to join the haunted house, the black phone did not send a message about him joining. That was probably because he did not fully trust Chen Gu, and the young man still had other plans in his mind. Chen Gu placed Shergua inside the comic. He situated him in the same page as Ol Bai and Ol Zhou. The specters that are noted by the Wheel of Misfortune are indeed all of great quality. This kind of special power is very rare and powerful. Chen Gu valued Shergua greatly, but unfortunately, Sigua refused to reveal any information about himself, so Chen Gu could not do anything to help him, to prove that he only wanted the best for the young man. I will have to take this slow. Thankfully, I still have time. Putting away the comic and the black phone, Chen Gu departed from the subway terminal and came to the residential plaza in the new city area. By the time Chingu arrived, it was already midnight. There were very few occupants in this residential area. Chingu glanced at the different apartment buildings, and only a few windows had their lights on. The black phone only said that the butterfly hair clip can be found in this residential area, but it did not give me an actual address. There are at least a hundred apartments here. Am I supposed to go and knock on each of the doors one by one? Chen Gu stood in the middle of the residential area and titled his head back to look at the several tall buildings. Jesus, how long this will take me? Holding the comic, Chen Gu hesitated. It was not really a bright idea to release specters into random people's homes. He had a principle that he followed closely in his life. 
If the other people did not come to harm him, he would not purposely go and influence others. I guess I'd better go and search for it myself. Clutching the comic in his hand, Chingu was about to pull his gaze away when he suddenly noted a woman with long hair standing at the edge of the roof at the top of one of the apartment buildings. Narrowing his eyes, Chingu used his Yang vision, and he could clearly see the woman holding something in her hands as she stepped onto the edge of the roof. As if sensing Chin Ji's eyes on her, the woman who was originally spacing out slowly turned her head. Her black hair fluttered away from the wind to reveal an incredibly pale face. Chin Ji's shadow was reflected in her red eyes. The bloodied mouth slowly opened as if she was telling Chin Gu something. The more she spoke, the more her emotions started to unravel. Her face became twisted with harsh emotions, and a black blood vessel popped on her face. The woman who had turned into a monster finally made a decision. She raised both of her hands and pinned the butterfly hair clip that she was previously holding onto her hair. The pair of venomous eyes stared straight at Chen Gu. She opened her arms like a black butterfly caught in fire as she jumped down from the roof as if she was trying to fly toward Chen Gu. The night breeze buffeted her coat. One wound after another surfaced on her body. Half of her body was dyed red, and all the pain had transformed into anger. The first present that you ever gave me, I have always worn it at the top of my head. I have treasured everything that you have ever given me, but you. Resentment pierced through her eyes. The woman in the half-red coat was halfway through her complaint when she suddenly saw a young boy who was grumbling endlessly appear next to the young man that she was heading toward. Following the young boy, a middle-aged man who had one of his hands stuck in his pocket materialized next to the boy. Then, the woman who was rapidly falling through the air suddenly heard the sound of static in her ears. One red shadow after another appeared next to the young man. The resentment and blood vessels that radiated from their bodies appeared to wish to bury the whole residential area alive. The scary presence overwhelmed the woman until she felt the difficulty in breathing, but the problem was, she had already thrown herself off the roof. She could no longer control her body due to the pull of gravity. There was nothing she could do but watch herself fall. Which one of you is kind enough to go and catch her? Endless blood vessels curled around the woman. She maintained her falling posture with her face facing down and dropped to a meter before Chen Gu. Being surrounded by ten red specters, she had even forgotten what she wanted to say. All she could feel in that moment was her blundering mind and thoughts. If you run into difficulties in life, there has to be a channel for you to vent. If no one is willing to listen to you, feel free to come and find me in the future. Chen Gu had the red specters pull back their blood vessels. He moved toward to help the woman up from the ground like a true gentleman. What is the name of that pig who disappointed you? I can take you to go and find him. First, she was almost scared to her second death, and now, she was suddenly touched. The woman's lips quivered slightly. He has already left this city. He has gotten married in Exion High. Exion High, huh? No problem, I will personally take you there in a few days. Are you willing to come with me? Chin Gu looked at her with clear, glittering eyes with no malicious intentions in them. The woman nodded. To be honest, she was still rather confused by what had happened. Everything that had occurred to her that night was a bit too much to process. Then we will be a family in the future. I will try my best to help fulfill your wish. Chin Gu pulled the woman into the comic and then led his employees to the next location. I am quite surprised that the specter possessing the butterfly clip is a half-red specter. She has extremely deep resentment. With some time and training, it should not be hard for her to transform into a real red specter. Scanning the map on his phone, Chin Gu walked out from the residential area. The only red specter that I have drawn from the Wheel of Misfortune can be found in the new part of the city as well. Since I am already here, I might as well take a swift detour to go and visit her. Red specter Shui Rong, she was hiding in the new city's Yi Pavilion. The black phone's comment on her was that she was extremely dangerous and sensitive. Jiujiang's newer part of its city development was not bad. 
This part of the city was closer to Exion High. It was where many of the state's smaller roads congregated, and it had a large population of outsiders. Chen Gu could not find the location of Irin Pavilion on his GPS and his phone. He searched for quite some time on the internet before he managed to salvage a little information related to this Irin Pavilion. This beauty parlor was very famous a few years ago. It specialized in high end spa and beauty treatments. It had great popularity among the rich and famous, but for some unknown reason, it was closed by the police out of the blue. The rumors about its closure ranged from everything on the internet, but the most reasonable reason was probably it had to do with a murder case. The information of the victim was not released, and it was also unclear whether the killer was caught. The victim's family did not come forward, and the whole case was like a pebble dropped into the ocean. After the initial ripples, it was forgotten by the world, which had moved on. Based on the little information he had managed to find online, Chin Gook passed through the bright lights and neon glow and came to the other side of the city. The new city, which was bright and alluring in the day, appeared particularly lonely and deserted at night. The buildings beside the road became smaller and smaller, but the air became fresher and fresher. At the end of the paved road, Chin Gu saw an abandoned garden. Various kinds of flowers grew on the rusted iron railings. Even though it was way past their flowering season, the plants on the iron rails were blooming gorgeously like rubies in the dark. It was clear that no one had been to this place in a very long time. The place was covered in wild grass, and the trees had grown out of shape due to a lack of treatment and care. Jumping over the railing, Chin Gu spotted a small path winding through the wild grass. Walking through the small path, Chin Gu could see in his mind's eye how beautiful this garden must have been in its prime. To think Jiu Jiang still has such a beautiful garden with a mixture of eastern and western style. If such a gorgeous place was abandoned just because of the haunting, it would be such a waste. Chin Gu reached the end of the path, and a bungalow appeared before him. The architectural style of this building was more western, but the Chinese character for flying dragon and dancing phoenix was written on the top of the front door. I guess I should be more careful when dealing with a red specter. Even though Chin Gu currently had many helpers, if he was careless, there was still a very high chance that the other party could slip away. Flipping through the comic, before Chin Gu summoned them out, he purposely reminded them to keep a low profile and reign in their presence. The red specters showed up one after another. There was no change discernible inside the abandoned bungalow until the appearance of the red high heels. Initially, Chin Gu did not want the red high heels to come out. What he needed her to do was take in all of the ghost fetus memories as fast as she could. If the red high heels could become a demon god before he headed toward the cursed hospital, the pressure on Chin Gu would become much weaker. But to Chin Ji's surprise, the red high heels appeared to have sensed something and voluntarily materialized on her own. To his greater surprise, once the red high heels showed up, the whole abandoned bungalow, including the large garden, started to be covered in this blood fog. Drops of fresh blood froze on the leaves like fresh dew. It looked quite strange. The red high heels walked past all the red specters. Only Xiaobu was able to resist her presence, and this was when the red high heels had not unleashed her full power. You won't have scared the target away, will you? But soon, Chinga realized that his worry was unfounded. The front door of Irin Pavilion was pushed open from within, and the heavy scent of medicine and stinging smell of blood drifted out at the same time. The red high heels strode into it directly. Chin Gu called the other employees to hurry and catch up. The interior design of the bungalow was extremely bizarre. Abstract pictures of human faces hung on the walls, and the tiles were pieced together to form the outline of human faces. Almost every piece of furniture in the room had drawings of the human body on them. This place is too scary. Chin Gu stood quickly in the midst of his employees. When I return, I need to find an excuse to persuade Director Luo to purchase this place. Chapter 1140 Those who have escaped from the cursed hospital everywhere he looked, he could see human faces staring back at him from inside the western bungalow. 
There were also pictures related to the human anatomy. It was a very strange experience walking through it. The place had been deserted for a very long time, but strangely enough, there was not even a mite of dust that could be seen. It was very clean, like someone would come and clean it every day. The red high heels walked ahead on her own. She seemed to have visited this place before. The woman with bandages wrapped all around her body walked directly into the lobby and stopped next to an indoor fountain. Be on full alert and guard all the exits. Do not give anything inside the building a chance to escape. Even though Chin Gu was standing among a group of red specters, he did not feel out of place at all. In fact, his expression was closely matched to most of the red specters. The smell of blood and medicine thickened in the air. Large blood vessels started to appear on the walls, giving the feeling that they were trying to tear down the building from inside. The human faces on the walls started to cry tears of blood, and their eyes slowly moved to stare at the red high heels. Everything inside the bungalow that was related to the human bodies appeared to come alive and reveal their true selves. This place had the feeling that it was constructed from human body parts. Throughout the whole process, the red high heels showed no reaction at all, she merely stood right in front of the fountain, her eyes staring straight at the fountain that was already dry. About several minutes later, the sound of water came from inside the foundation. Several female human skulls that were carved on the inner wall of the fountain opened their mouths. A horrible smelling jet of blood poured into the fountain. The fountain slowly filled with a disgusting smell pool of blood, forming a stark contrast to the exquisite carvings that decorated the fountain. The fountain slowly returned to normal. Blood water splashed everywhere, as if covering everyone and every object in a layer of bloody mist. This red specter intends to trap all of us, it seems, Men Nan whispered softly. Even though he was not that strong, he had witnessed many things in his life, and he had a very brilliant mind. She sure is ambitious if her intention is to trap ten red specters at the same time. The red high heels next to the fountain also noticed the strange phenomenon. She continued to move forward, and with each step, the bandage on her body would slip down little, by a little. The scary and curious black tattoo flowed on her body. It was a kind of grotesque beauty. Of the entire four-star ghost fetus trial mission, the specter who had gained the most was the red high heels. She had almost consumed everything that the ghost fetus had. After the ghost fetus scenario was reconstructed, she was the one responsible for organizing and consuming the ghost fetus ghosts. As for how strong the red high heels really was, even Chen Gu had an idea. All the beautiful faces inside the fountain started to become twisted as the red high heels approached. They tried their best to hiss at the red high heels. Any semblance that they had to humanity had completely disappeared at that moment. The curse on her body expanded everywhere. The black lines cut through the fountain before her maliciously and effectively like knives. The beautiful carvings on the fountain were easily shattered, and their destruction revealed the blood vessels that were hiding inside them. The power level of the two adversaries was not even on the same level, or rather, the red specter inside the bungalow had not even used her full power yet. In the end, you have found me after all. A very grating female voice came from deep inside the fountain. The speaker's throat appeared to have been injured before. Her voice was very shrill and sharp. The blood inside the fountain moved to the side, the ground cracked, and there was a monster wearing a red dress buried underneath the bungalow. Her skin was startlingly pale, and several blood-red flowers bloomed on her body, which fixed under the fountain by countless blood vessels. How did you manage to find me? The monster lifted her head to look at the red high heels, and a smile involuntarily appeared on her lips. My proudest patient. Patient? Chinga instantly captured the keyword within the red specter's words. He was then reminded of the bloody heart mission related to the red high heels given by the black phone. Could it be the red high heels was once a patient at the cursed hospital? And this red specter was once a doctor at the same hospital? Chinga had no idea what the red specter had done to the red high heels, 
but this was the first time he had seen the red high heels go on the offensive so actively. The black curses covered the entire bungalow. The black fog easily suppressed the blood mist. The black threads wrapped around the red specter's body and harshly dragged her out from the bottom of the fountain. The red specter did not resist, she merely cackled like she had lost her mind. Do you think only the patients being treated are in extreme pain? Actually, the real sufferers are us doctors. You guys can still escape, or at least have the chance to escape. But what about us? Once we chose to leave, the curse that the hospital director buried inside our bodies will be triggered, and we cannot even die and become normal ghosts. The shrill voice echoed in the hall. The red high heels looked at the monster before her. Her eyes were filled with complicated emotions. There was some resentment and fury, but also pity and melancholy. Chin Gu walked out from the group of people and came to the red high heels side. The red specter who was entangled in the curse also noticed Chin Gu. A blood red flower grew out of her left eye socket. Currently, she was studying Chin Gu with her right eye. A living human standing side to side with a top red specter? Earlier, the red specter had focused all of her attention on the red high heel, she did not notice there was a normal people standing amid the group of red specters far behind. Initially, she thought this was a puppet that was randomly created by one of the red specters, but from the looks of things, this normal individual appeared to be the leader of all the red specters. Now this is interesting. You were once a doctor at Xian High's cursed hospital, right? Chen Gu did not waste his time with introduction. He cut to the chase and said, if you answer my questions nicely, perhaps we can still be friends. Are you threatening me? The flowers on her body leaked blood. The red specter probably did not expect to one day be threatened by a normal living human. From what you said earlier, I surmised that once a person has been selected to be a doctor at that hospital, they will have a horrible ending. Even after death, they cannot become a peaceful ghost. Chen Gu stared at the red specter's eyes. Her emotions were calm, there was not even a ripple of agitation or stress in her eyes. Yes, the hospital director plants a seed of curse inside each doctor. The red specter was now being controlled by the red high heels. She very cleverly chose not to resist and honestly answered all of Chin Ji's questions. Can the curse be removed? Why would you want to know about that? The red specter was confused. I know a doctor who also escaped from your hospital. After he died, he transformed into a top red specter, but the next time I encountered him, he had completely lost his mind, and he was still carrying the head of his beloved in his chest. Many questions that had eluded Chin Gu earlier could now be explained. When Chin Gu heard what the Red Spectre had to say earlier, he had instantly been reminded of Dr. Gao. No one can remove the curse of the hospital director. Even if one becomes an entity beyond a Red Spectre, they will have to continue to bear it, unless he voluntarily gives up the curse or a maddening smile appeared on the Red Spectre's face. You can somehow kill the hospital director's soul. Is the curse really that scary? Chen Ji's initial plan was to wait for the Red High Heels to become a demon god, and then he would find Dr. Gao. With her help, they would remove the curse from Dr. Gao's body. He planned to use this as bargaining chip to levy with Dr. Gao, but from what this Red Spectre had told him, his idea was too naive. It is much scarier than you think. You can say that it is incurable. Several years ago, I escaped from the hospital during one of the riots and came to this beauty parlor at Jiujiang. To resist the curse inside my body, I have to keep on changing my bodies, but even so, that only delayed the triggering of the curse inside my body. The red specter's mouth burst open, and a flower crawled out from her throat and bloomed into a giant red flower. What will happen after the curse is triggered? Will your soul be torn into shreds immediately? The curse will take away my consciousness and turn me into a completely mad presence. The life would be worse than a death sentence. The description was similar to Dr. Gao's situation when Chin Gu encountered him in Liwan City. But you are very conscious of yourself at this moment. Chin Gu had many questions that needed to be answered. The appearance of the red specter at this moment was very crucial to him. Can you see all the flowers that bloom all over my body? They are the instrument that I use to temporarily suppress the curse, but once I move too much, the curse will consume me instantly and make me lose my rationality once again. The blood vessels and blood flowers on the red specter were similar to the black chains around Dr. Gao. They had the same function of suppressing the curse. 
Chen Ge then put forth a few more questions. Due to reason that Chen Ge did not understand, the Red Spectre was very cooperative, she told Chen Ge everything that she knew. Before she turned into something like this, the Red Spectre had been the best cosmetic surgeon in Xi'an Hai. Her name was Shui Rong. One day, she received an invitation from the cursed hospital out of the blue. They wanted her to come in to help with the surgery. The Hai Pei convinced Shui Rong, but when she came to the hospital and entered the surgery room at the promised time, she only then realized that her patient was not a living person. That was also the first time the Red High Heels had encountered Shui Rong. The surgery was not that successful, and the Red High Heels was taken back by the hospital. From that day, she was followed by the curse, and in the end, she was forced to become one of the night doctors at the cursed hospital, and the Red High Heels was the most important patient that she was responsible for. The Red High Heels was originally just a red specter, but the hospital valued her greatly because her talent was related to curses. That was extremely rare. After frequent surgeries that were so cruel that they could not be put down in words later, when both Shui Rong and the Red High Heels had gotten to their lot in life, the chaos that was planned by Dr. Gao and the ghost fetus erupted. Many patients and doctors chose to escape. Shui Rong also abandoned the Red High Heels on the surgical table without hesitation. She stole away the Red High Heels most beautiful face and chose to escape on her own. Most of the patients followed the ghost fetus and went to Liwan City to hide. That night, the Red High he Heels had gone to Liwan City to search for traces of Shui Rong, to recover her most beautiful face. Everything was linked together somehow, the scraps of clues were now linked. Under the gaze of the ten red specters, Shui Rong took out a book from her chest. With much unwillingness, she parted with the box and handed it to the Red High Heels. The pale fingers flipped the lid open. No one could see what was inside the box, they only felt the Red High Heels' presence had become much scarier than before. The Red High Heels appeared to have obtained the thing that she was looking for. She lost all interest in Shui Rong and slipped back into the comic. Seeing the departure of the Red High Heels, not only Shui Rong, even the Red Spectres around Chen Go all sighed in collective relief. I have already told you everything that I know. Can you let me go now? Shui Rong collapsed in the pool of blood inside the fountain. After the box had been removed from her heart, she became much weaker. I carry the seed of the cursed hospital on me. Even if you consume me, you will be influenced by the curse. Instead of heading to that end, how about we try to form a friendly relationship? Chen Gu was also deliberating over how to deal with Shui Rong. Her own body was covered in curses. If the other specters consumed her, they would be cursed themselves. Convincing her to become an employee at the haunted house was a worse idea. What if she suddenly went out of control? All the visitors would be put in danger. From the moment we saw you, you have been showing your weaker side. You have no intention of showing the full capacity of what you can do. Compared to what Shui Rong said on her own, Chen Ge had more confidence in the remarks given by the black phone. Shui Rong was an extremely dangerous red specter, she must have many tricks up her sleeves that she did not show that night. As I mentioned earlier, should I try anything too drastic, the curse will be triggered. At the time, I will indeed become so scary that I will not recognize myself anymore. At this point, the cadence of Shui Rong's tone changed. But even if I go out of control, I will not be a match for a top red specter. She has grown way too powerful. Based on the prediction of the other night doctors, a talent related to curses should be the hardest to master. A wise woman submits to circumstances. I require all the information that you have regarding the cursed hospital inside your brain. If you are willing to lend me your full cooperation, perhaps I can one day help you break away from the curse. When Chinga spoke, he did not use any special tone, but there was something in his words that could make others believe him. You think you can convince the hospital director to let us go? I was thinking about a different method. Chin Gu flipped through the comic and pulled Shui Rong into it. The originally blank page was dyed red instantly. Florets of flowers blossomed on the beautiful body, Shui Rong appeared to have gone to sleep. Yen Danian probably never imagined that so many red specters would one day be inhabiting his comic. Due to the fact that Shui Rong might go out of control at any moment, Chen Ge had to ensure there would be several red specters inside the comic that watched over her constantly. All right, it is time for us to go and fetch our next employee. 
In just one night, Chin Gu found all nine baleful specters that he had drawn from the Wheel of Misfortune. Compared to the first time he used the wheel, the effectiveness had doubled who knew how many times. When he returned to the staff break room, the sun was already up. Chin Gu pulled the curtains shut and prepared to lie down for a small break. At the same time, inside the hospital that worked together with Jiujiang Medical University, Mr. Wang sat up from the sickbed. He reached out to pull back the curtain so that the sunlight could shower down on him. Mr. Wang, are you feeling better? Swahan's voice came from the bed next to him. He was currently doing push-ups on the bed. The brain still feel a bit muddled. I feel like most of my memory is not connected. It feels like something is constantly escaping my mind. Mr. Wang took out a notebook from the drawer. It was filled with very small handwriting detailing what had happened inside Chin Ji's haunted house. Small details like at what time he had taken a sip from the bottle of mineral water were recorded as well. Something is not right. The logical sequence between the series of event is not correct. My memory appears to be lying to me. Sir, those things are already in the past. There is no point worrying over it any longer, Swahan persuaded in a small voice. You don't understand. I believe I had a glimpse of my former lecturer that night, but there is no recollection of that at all in my memory. Mr. Wang's brows were heavily creased. He was about to say something else when the door to the sickroom was knocked and pushed open. Two people from the university walked in with a police officer in uniform. Mr. Wang, the management has approved your request. You can travel to Xian High in a few more days, one of the workers said. This is one of the best officers from the local police station's major crimes unit. He was also involved in the case that happened 20 years ago. I pulled many strings before I finally got my request to get his help from the local station approved. For your information, he will be accompanying you on your trip to Xian High. Can support us, completed novel house in link below clip. Thank you for come in and love the sharing story.